Who is ready for some Sunday fun day probing some planets? Let me make sure that I finish that sentence. Guys, what's up? Welcome back and happy good Sunday. I'm feeling super cozy today. So much that I had to put the headphones back on. I know the headphones have made a return, you guys. I know I haven't worn them on stream in such a long time. Oh, that's bright. Oh my goodness. All right, hold up. I'm trying to get everything organized. Unokay, unokay, welcome back in. And thank you for the 100 bits as well, hold on. So did you remember? Yes, I remember, you finished it. So if you have at least three, wait, didn't you just tell me this recently? Yeah, of course, can you throw it in the Discord somewhere? And unokay, again, thank you so much. Probing planets, all right, a bitter. <laughs> A bitter yes, but that joke's been made like 20 times, you guys. You gotta get something new going on. How do we not have a probing tag? I wonder if that's even allowed. Oh, I don't know about that. Okay, I saw Speedy's question of the day was cold water, cool water, room temp water, warm water, or hot water. What temperature water is your favorite to drink? I gotta go with... Sometimes I like cold water, but I'm gonna be honest, I feel like room temp is my absolute favorite. You can't go wrong with room temp water, you know? The worst is in the summer when you leave a water bottle, in your car only for like a little bit you like you run into a store or something and you come back out and it's hot as hell in there <laughs> all right hold on i just want to make sure the music okay the music is in fact going also remind me to turn that off before we start the game mine's got to be cold i don't like like super cold water though you know where it just like freezes your whole soul cold water with crystal the light natural also world is the greatest thoughts of excitement the who did it magic. tire in her natural Dire. habit to pay particular have you guys, attention to the side process of have this you guys adventure. David, can I go? Okay. Um, yeah, have you guys had, okay, are you bubble water? Is it gas versus non-gas water? Is that what it is? I love bubbly water. That's my absolute favorite. Freezing water is the best. You go freezing water. I love how this started a whole debacle. All right, London, welcome back in. Speedy, by the way, I'm sitting here recording this morning and you guys are having whole conversations. Like, I know this is not new information. Bear had also gifted, I gotta scroll backwards. Bear had gifted us up to picklebacks, which I just... <laughs> The problem is like all I see when I'm recording is the sliver of chat and now I need to hide that too because I busted out laughing <laughs> and Bear also gifted us up to Tyrannosaurus, Torianosaurus Rex, which is such a fantastic name. How did you even find that? Are you just, are you just exploring the world of Twitch to find creative names or something? Jack, what's up? Welcome back in. Oh my goodness. I saw Speedy. Random combos are fun. No, I love it. I love the random questions. I really do. All right, I'm gonna catch up with this. I need more remote onlys, guys, spam remote onlys. Um, I saw a posture check by Pixie, so I got a posture check already. That was before I even started stream. Redemptions are starting to happen before I even start stream. Anon with the gift of sub to Vacant. Vacant, welcome back in. Red Phoenix. Red Phoenix, thank you for 21 months as well. I was fine with cold water until Lacklin. <laughs> okay, I actually know exactly how you feel, but I think now, I don't know, it depends on when you go through because now I think they have like water fillers. We were drinking out of like the tap, out of the hose, out back at Lackland. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, all right, I saw I eat cake. I eat cake. Welcome back in as well for 17 months. I feel like I've been seeing you for a while. I hope you're doing well and thank you for the continual support. I eat cake. It's been a while since I've had some cake. Anyway, okay, I'm scrolling, scrolling. Anon with the gifted sub to La Flame and also Massive Junk. Rain Man with the resub for 11 months. Rain Man, I feel like you've been here for two years. Kato with the resub for two months in a row. Anon with more snipes. Provoked Penguin got one. Original name guy, Matt. Magnesium, you guys, please give Anon a big thank you if you guys have gotten a gifted sub. Believe, welcome back in Kingdom. In my childhood, something, something. Sparkling water was essentially the only thing that existed, but at some point it switched to still water. As my dad's doctor recommended, still water over the gas. Is the bubbles, are the bubbles bad for you? Because I love that. Yeah. I look so bright right now. I think it's because, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but my camera is like really highly sensitive to light. I don't change anything about my camera, but like what I wear versus the coloring behind me versus the white on my headphones, all of it like impacts how the camera picks up certain things. It's super weird. So I have to like mess around, but because I'm doing blue in the background, I think it's like freaking out or something. I'm hoping because blue is on his face, like in the reflection, it's not gonna focus on him as much. Yeah, Craig, again, welcome back in. Candidate, I'm becoming a solar panel. What can I say? 
<laughs> Becca, I saw I got some much needed sun last night or yesterday as well. I got to hang out with my mom and then she left early and I got to spend some time with my girlfriends and it was just the perfect evening. I'm twinning with you today. Are you wearing it? It's the whole reason I got it was Jess got well, Anna got a mystery package and got this hoodie, which wasn't really her style. So she gave it to Jess and then I wanted to match Jess. So this really came from Jess. The blue on him makes him look like he's getting more power. Maybe he's powering up before October. What do you know? It is soothing. I kind of like the blue in the background. I normally do like, I feel like a lot of people do like reds or purples or things like that, but I like the blue. It feels like cool. Like we're getting ready. It also feels very space-esque. I feel like blue and space are just go hand in hand. No arm Sally, welcome back in. She wanted a UVA hoodie instead. Yoda, always a pleasure. Also speaking of eye rolls. Bear, that was a bad one that I gave you yesterday. The one that you clipped, oh my gosh. I could have sworn my eyes were gonna, like my, they were gonna get stuck back there. If you like, see, she really likes blue. Yeah, I like blue, that's my color, La Flame. Blue's a bit gentle in my opinion, then like the purples and the red hues. I think I just naturally like warm tones though, like blue no doubt is a little bit cooler. So I do like it to feel a little bit more like warm, but I also think that the blue is a good contrast to the orange fireplace, you know? Tumu, I see. Darth, Darth, welcome back in. Best aunties here. Mighty Sandwich, welcome back in. Bear is out here making earning. <laughs> Marks, did you say Marks of Valor? Oh my goodness. Sonia, welcome back in again. Unokay. Um, okay, so I normally don't check. Um, is it possible that you can send it through to one of my mods first? Um, just in light of recent events and even before, I just don't open my DMs, you guys. I don't even, I don't even think my DMs are open, um, but I hope you can respect that. So I really appreciate you guys funneling anything through my mods, or you can always send it to the business email as well, unokay. And Sir Shucky, thank you so much for the 300 bits. And Toucan with the Risa for seven months in a row. Toucan, Kazam. I love your name so much. Overzealous, welcome back in. Exo Hearts here, Srujin. Phil's here, Phil, welcome back in. Ready for a cozy probing stream. <laughs> the cozy probing stream. We are not going to get this nickname. Okay, guys. Adam. Adam, I haven't seen you in so long. Hi. Hello. And I see Petty. Petty, you've been showing up more. It's so great to see your name in chat more often. And B Dubs with the gifted sub to probing ducky. Probing ducky. <laughs> Exhilarated with the reset for four months in a row. Jess with nine months. Jess, we're coming up on a year soon. We have to celebrate with some DVD. Absolutely. And Anon with the gifted sub to Javon. Natty. 18 months with this amazing community. 18 months in the cold, dark depths of Cast's basement. Natty, thank you so much for 18 months of continual support <laughs> and at tier three as well and just putting up with all my bullshit, bullshit, bullshit as being a mod. And I see gray box here, Anon with the, Anon is popping off. Raj, let's go all in with the blue. Light blue on top, dark blue on bottom. All right, getting specific, Raj, all right. <laughs> All right, I saw Zen, Beat Ups is back in here, Anon with the gifted sub to Greybog, Jink, welcome back in, I see Triss is here, Triss, hi, Giraffe, there's so, oh, the names in here are fantastic, Bran, Bran, welcome back in, Kyoto, Whisper, Whiskers, I always want to say Whispers, it's Whiskers, Meester, Whiskers, um, light blue on top, you said, dark blue on bottom, okay, so dark blue on bottom and light blue on top, it should be, ooh, this is really blue. <laughs> Oh, it's like the bright pink in the front with the blue in the back. Do we like it? J Food up. All right. Tire, you're better than this. You are better than this. There's like infinitely better ones you can spam. Jargon, jargon, welcome back in. We're getting ready for winter. I think winter time we just have to do blue all the time. Euphoric here, Legionnaire, Legionnaire, welcome back in. Citizen, welcome in. Blue fire, she's a witch, but uh, <laughs> I know it might come as a shock, but I, uh, I actually do way heavier than a feather. Is that what it is? There is a Guinness World Record for wait what? For wait what what what? Streams over already. Type, welcome back in. Unokay. Um, 
you hid so many inside the surprise. Okay, please message this. Like, by all means, please send this to one of my mods because I would love to check it out. And Andre, Andre, welcome back in. Stanley, I know we have so much to get done today. You guys, I'm prepping you right now. We are doing a long stream today. I mean, when I say long, just more than five hours. But we, I want to collect the rest of our crew. I want to get rolling on this, you guys. Like, I don't have a timeline on it, but I feel like I... I'm not dragging my feet. I just feel like I should be doing a little bit longer streams here and there. That way we can get more stuff done. And I don't know. I just, I, I feel like streaming for a long time today. We'll see how I feel. But yeah, five hours and one minute confirmed. Exactly. <laughs> longer. How about that? Shaya, Shaya, what's up? Welcome. Wait, you guys made homemade Crunchwrap Supremes. That sounds incredible. That can't be too, too bad, right? That's not so hard. I should try doing that. You would just need like, um, how big of a tortilla? Like a normal sized tortilla. Yeah. Six hours of probing. Do I have snacks? Um, yes, I have my salt and vinegar almonds. Guys, I found one of the big bags. Okay. I think I had already told you guys this, but you know how they come in like the little tins? I found the massive bag of the salt and vinegar and it's so good. Rare Ghost, welcome back in. And thank you so much for the gifted sub as well to the channel and community. I see Morpheus is back in here. Classy's here. Pixie was here early. Yoda welcome back in what a great way to close out the week oh guys this upcoming week is going to be so much fun it's a little bit different because we have ginger's birthday so i'm streaming i will upload the schedule after today but we are streaming monday wednesday thursday and sunday i'm not doing a saturday stream this week how long will the bag of almonds last you probably not too long i have an addiction to anything that's flavored salt and vinegar it's bad the bag is rare i know i felt like i won the lottery Tetra, welcome back in, by the way. Mr. Chill, Speedy. <laughs> no names here as well. For every hour I get a brookie. Also, did you, did you, did no name, did you? No, wait, did somebody say something about a hurricane? 17 hour long stream for Ginger's birthday. 17 hours for 17 years. I've never done that long of a stream in my life. Zar, what's up, welcome in. Do you have a running monologue in your head of what chit chat? what chit chat what twitch chat might be saying at any moment i think a little bit of that czar i've talked about this before also grab a welcome back in thank you uh french frog the chips are fantastic but it does kind of like numb your mouth after a little bit i know what you're talking about um i guess like part of it is at this point it's like instinct for me to know when you guys are going to judge me for something because i have like been conditioned to no i just after five years of doing this i know like even even though like the chat and community have fluctuated like up and down and new people and people that have been here for years i still just know the moments in games that you guys are like come on you know it's like this intuition call it call it streamer intuition or something but it sounds abusive <laughs> it sounds like i know when my chat's gonna troll me because i do because i've been doing this for so long i also think that it's not that hard like it's it's the moments that i judge myself for like when i can't solve a puzzle in the perfect amount of time or something like that like it's like frustrating that i still like you know the one quote that i still have stuck in my head is i'm not perfect but I know my purpose from yesterday's stream. I thought that was such a cool quote and that's just stuck in my head for the last 20, 48 hours. A hurricane is hitting California. Wait, I did not hear about this at all. Holy cow, what part? Like north, like the whole side of it? Or like Northern, I would imagine Northern. Good afternoon, Rye, Rye, welcome back in. Happy good Sunday. I cannot wait for more HR complaints, guys. We are it's Sunday, it is Sunday. We should not be getting any single one. It's in SoCal. Do they get hurricanes often? I'm really unfamiliar with California weather patterns um, outside of the um, earthquakes because I think Alaska gets a pretty often amount of quakes as well. San Diego and L.A. Mm, you feel guilty when you die. Wait, what? I feel guilty when I die like in a game. No, it's not like guilt. I just feel like I can tell when I'm disappointed in myself. So I'd imagine you guys would also be disappointed. While on the phone with Virgo yesterday, I told her that I sent her bits instead of reels and I blamed Twitch. <laughs> AJ, welcome back in. Thank you for the hundred reels. Um, and it's always a pleasure to have you here, truly. I'm feeling super comfy today, Alphaba. I, there's something just like Sundays always, and Charles, hi. Um, Sundays always kind of feel like 
the perfect day to just get bundled up in blankets and put on the headphones, not the earbuds, not where I'm having to like fight my ears all day and just play games for copious amounts of hours and laugh with you guys. So Sundays were made to be cozy. I also feel like Sunday rainy days are my absolute favorite in this whole world. So fight, who's fighting? But it's 85 outside. <laughs> I know I keep bringing like cold warm vibes to you guys cold warm vibes I keep bringing like the cozy winter vibes it's just AC it's aircon I'm so thankful for it every day fairly rare since the storms move east to west upper winds are pushing this one north into San Diego San Diego mostly doesn't get hit I'm assuming I was experiencing that Sunday anxiety as a kid oh that's a good point too Sundays are either super relaxing or not um yeah I feel like my whole body and just like rhythm of what days I feel like relaxed by like my days that I'm on or off like quote unquote has just completely shifted because Monday's usually my Sunday because um, Tuesday for the most part unless I feel like I need to catch up on recordings or do more is the one day that I kind of allow myself not to touch the computer so that's typically that's why I get Taco Bell on Mondays normally Sunday is the coziest day of the week unless it's schoolwork I do feel this unkinder welcome in I appreciate it machu yeah I've had headphones for a while um, I just normally use them for my day-to-day -day stuff um, because they're wireless but you have to use them wired with my the way my computer's set up I have to use them wired no matter what and you guys thank you so much <laughs> great Berg's here classy Crate with five gifted subs to the channel and community. Guys, 33 subs. Thank you so much for all of the support. And Anons don't even pop up on those. Like, yours don't even pop up on them. And I just appreciate it so much. Like, all the time. Original name guy. Baz is here. Classy. Split. Wait, Spilner. Spilner, welcome back in. Crate, thank you. I missed it. What'd you miss? What do you mean? You missed the beginning of the intro? I barely got any sleep last night. You've been on a Texas Chainsaw grind. Oh, okay. So I will say that I want to do a Dead by Daylight night with you guys here soon. I was reminded recently. Here's looking at you, Cyanide. You're that more of a crack it has more been a while crack since I've done shot. one. <laughs> Falky, I can't assume that it's you anymore. I've assumed too many times, and it hasn't been you. Yeah, we gotta get like Jess. Shadow, you got to get in on this. Fat Cyanide needs to get in on this. And I think how we're gonna do it in the future, guys, just to um kind of make it more manageable with conversations and things like that is we're going to do it as a stage and the people that are in the game will be the ones that can talk and then anybody's willing to like observe but I think that's how we're going to try to do it and I want to do that sooner than later yes limpy dead by daylight I have not played it in so long goosey goosey welcome back in bear with the gifted sub two trying to change bear you know this by now you've been here long enough you know that we don't Taco Bell on Sunday it's Taco Bell Mondays come on Come on, get with the deal. Is there a Taco Bell Monday? I see the Sunday. Maybe there's a Taco Bell Tuesday. Zealous. You have. <laughs> I can't be. Mr. Welcome back I've in. I've been very well behaved lately. So you've got to promise not to be mad. So that was very well behaved. Overzealous. Thank you so much for the donation. I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like you guys have been really well behaved recently. No, that's prevented. Don't do not do it. Overzealous. If that is what I th do not never play Dead by Daylight on Kinder. It's so much fun. Zealous. I'm I'm serious. B-dubs. Verse, Vess, Vess, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row. Anon with the gifted sub to Need for Speed. I'm enjoying the less chaotic intros. <laughs> It's, uh, I'm able to actually capture some of you guys, I feel like now. Clout, Clout, welcome back in. Brian, time to crank this to 11. No, no. Zealous. I'm serious. Blue Train, we've always been well behaved. Do not do it. I said don't do it. Do it, I mean don't do it. Do it. We need to get like an alert that says that. I need to, oh, Anna had recorded Race You. Anna recorded Race You for me. Lock lurks, well behaved, you say. Hold my margarita. You guys, please. Anon with the gifted sub to Lady of Prawn. No, it's Lady of Pawn. <laughs> Lady, how many times have I done this to you? Every single time I say Lady of Prawn. <laughs> I've got shrimps on the brain. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Lady, thank you so much. <laughs> I don't know why I'm always thinking of prawn, the prawn princess. <laughs> I've got seafood on the brain, okay? Sonia, again, welcome back in. Alpha Vysol, Sergeant, welcome back in. Jess, I'm so happy to have you here. I'm ready for fall, winter, October. Joshua, exactly. I'm ready. Did you see the last episode of FF16? I'm not secretly transforming my entire wardrobe into bean plaid. I don't know what you're talking about. It is seafood Sunday. Oh, I never thought about seafood sundae. I do love shrimp. Well, my mom made, my mom yesterday made this shrimp thing. I, she said it was some kind of French thing. Um, but she made that last night. And I think that's why I have prawns in my head. I know. I bought you bloody fries in Paris and you still can't call me prawn. <laughs> I did really love the fries. They were fantastic. <laughs> you did. And I'm just... <laughs> Bought fries for me and still called a prawn. I please, <laughs> it would be a really great name change. The lady of shrimp. There is a Texas shrimp. <laughs> Bonnie, it's so great to have you in here today. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for the bloody fries. The bloody part was the ketchup, right? I know. Uh, classy maybe? It was, um, uh, so it was shrimp with celery, onions, some greens in it and it kind of to me it was like almost like it went over top of rice so it almost was like some type of soup kind of thing it was shrimp six days after monday i'm not exactly sure what it was called i actually have the recipe downstairs it was not aioli no i want some shrimp now <laughs> they're really good i'll look at the recipe i will she left the recipe card downstairs i just finished her playthrough my playthrough oh wait, wait, wait hold on i've got to catch up to that so actually holly calls me prawny <laughs> it seems to be catching I think just the way that sometimes our brains auto-correct words. Like, pawn isn't a word that I think of often. Prawn? I use prawn pretty... I feel like I use the word prawn more than I should. Like, I have no business saying prawn that much. <laughs> we gotta do a cooking stream sometime. I think, like, my goal would be... Retro, welcome back in, by the way. Um, so, I've always wanted... So, like, kind of more in my heart what I want to do. Darko, hi, too. Is I really like ranch style homes. And so I'd love to do like a ranch flip and try to like flip a home almost. Not, I guess flip implies that you're going to like, well, yeah. Um, yeah, I just kind of want to like. Are you serious? Sell it. We don't know how long any of us will ever be here. Life's short. But I've learned that the more you give, the more you receive. And very few individuals deserve it as much as you do. As always, love you. You... It just kicked me. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Zealous. <laughs> I just don't get how you guys can keep doing this. You can buy a lot of prawns now. You are so beyond generous like i don't even think that generous applies to you guys as a community anymore i just ranch flipper incoming <laughs> zealous more than anything your kind words and just you're right i really truly believe that just being kind and generous always finds a way back maybe not initially but i just I can't. Core. Nivler, welcome back in. Thank you for an entire year. Came from nowhere. No, Zealous did not. I, I also do. 
<laughs> Never dare a person named Zealous. Actually, your name is so fitting for you. It is so fitting. Yoda. As... I just... Overzealous, thank you so much. Like, thank you so much. You know I'm just gonna flip that right back and I'm I'm gonna give that generosity back to somebody else. Like, I don't know why. You guys, like... I truly believe with what you say. It's like paying it forward myself as well. So I will do that and thank you so much just for everything. Maribel, welcome back in. Jules, welcome back in. I genuinely haven't. I don't. A wild Julesky has appeared. Sounds like we're getting a lot of HR complaints. Zealous, now you're... <laughs> I love breaking you and making you cry. Duramax, welcome back in. No crate, absolutely not. Like my never core with 45 months of continual support <sighs> jules goosey with the gifted sub to the channel <laughs> billy billy sprung <laughs> let's make that 1020 aj This is going to make me cry, isn't it? I can't top those wonderful donations, but just wanted to say we love you so much. You will forever be my favorite streamer. You deserve every bit, every donation, every sub in the world. Girl, what are you doing? My <laughs> no name. FKB, welcome in. How to make your streamer cry. Wait, this isn't Google. Uh, I didn't do eat. <laughs> Zealous, what have you started? <laughs> AJ. Y'all, thank you so much. And no name. No, this isn't Google. <sighs> Billy, thank you so much. Clout, what is guys, sir? Clout with a hundred. Cloud, <laughs> cloud, you guys, y'all know. Eldred, welcome back in. Sir Shucky, thank you for the thousand bits as well. Speedy, <laughs> you guys haven't seen all the Michael Myers alerts. <laughs> Michael, hey. You know more than anybody what that button does. Sir Shucky, welcome back in. What does this button do? Gart, anybody that's gotten a gift at some from Cloud, please give them a big thank you. Gart, with five months of continuous support. My, <laughs> my heart can't handle this. Kemp, welcome back in. I think for my first time in my life, I've just been speechless. And Lock Lurks. I want to be like Casta and chat when I grow up. <laughs> and what are we like, Lock Lurks? What are we like? Billy, thank you for the posture check chart. I almost said posture <laughs> chart. Clout, you are bananas. Tommy. Sean, a bit. <laughs> I gotta this get into the game. I gotta get into the game. I feel like I wish I could do more. Never feel like you would, guys. I never want you guys to ever feel like I, I, I'm asking for this. <sighs> I 
out here. <sighs> Reaper. Hey chat, I just got here and saw Caster crying. What are we up to? Turn. Much love, Maggie. You deserve it. <gasps> Guys. I asked for a mode only mode. Clout. Reaper. What are... <sighs> Peta. P. Peta. KW, thank you so much. Sean, thank you for the five gifted subs. You guys. I just... <laughs> it's so far behind. Is it doing individuals? You've broken it, Cloud. <laughs> Cloud. <laughs> Cloud, you've broken it again. <gasps> Reaper. I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm trying so hard not to cry. I just, I. <sighs> oh no. Cloud, thank you so much for the hundred gifted subs and ensuring that more and more people get stuck here and Reaper. I just... Ertie. Ertie, you can't just come in and try to join in on this. And Bear. Surely now you can afford a jetpack. Hold the line, I need to hold the, <laughs> hold the tears. Reaper, Bear, also Tonios with the thousand bits. I don't know what I have possibly done in this life to have deserved the generosity and your time that you give me, you guys. And I'll never feel worthy of it. Like, I hope you guys know. I know you guys say that I deserve it, but I will never feel like I've done enough to say thank you to you guys. Never. <laughs> it's never going to get to that donation. Frost, thank you so much for the $40 donation. Ertie, thank you. Reaper, Clout. DC Bear Tonios KW Locklers DC with five more gifted subs. <laughs> Enough money for the jetpack monopoly. <laughs> Is that what I have to do for you guys? <laughs> I have to get a jetpack. I really am not. Like, I just. <laughs> Bane on, thank you for the gifted subs. And London. <laughs> London with the 2,000 bits for jetpack. <laughs> it really wants to grab Michael. It's not me trying to be That's modest. Said. Like, it just, it doesn't make sense. Michael. <laughs> like, it just doesn't make sense. Who played it? Who did it? Who did it? <laughs> when? It's never about what you're doing, it's about you being you. About you making people smile, laugh, and feel less alone. <laughs> Bear. <laughs> At least a jetpack emote. I, I think we've got a jetpack emote working for you guys. <laughs> Thanks to none other than London. <laughs> Bear, thank you. 
and Philo, thank you so much for the follow and welcome. I will always, as long as I can do this, I will try to keep making you guys laugh. <laughs> Even if it's at my own cost. Like I know sometimes I look like a complete fool and if it makes you smile or laugh just one time then I've done my job. <laughs> Brian, thank you. Mel's here. Mel Darpas with the gifted sub to one million dollars. <laughs> Guys, I don't even know where I left off and it kicked me and I don't remember what I was saying, but are you guys ready to play some games and get some more this HR complaints? Fine. I'm okay with the events that are unfolding currently. <laughs> Bruce. Brucey. Aye, aye, Captain. Mel. Mel. Mel with the five gifted subs to the channel and community. Something about prawns. <laughs> I always say this, but maybe all of our laughs will be so long because of all the laughters we've shared together. Like, I just... <laughs> Mel's voice. <laughs> Niv, Niv with the 10 gifted subs as well. I think you guys officially broke my alerts because nothing's popping up anymore. <laughs> Pro come on, it's like a term of endearment now, prawn, pawn, <laughs> lady. Niv, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs as well. And Brookalizer with the six months, Brucey. Maggie's crying and taking some people have focus, been going off focus. the rails. There's pizza on your focus. Okay, so I'm not ordering pizza. I don't... <laughs> I'm actively trying to get healthier and you guys are trying to make sure that I stay. <laughs> like... I don't know. I guess it is bulking season. It is coming up to winter time, so it's it's bulking season all year round. Um, all right, you guys. I again. I just, <laughs> thank you all. Let me go back. Overzealous started this. Overzealous started this. Um, you <laughs> pour your remaining energy down the drain. The tears give you energy. <laughs> I'm an energy vampire. Bulking season to be like Anna. Oh my goodness. I could only hope. I could only hope. Also, Siri, welcome in. Siri with the raid. Wait, didn't you just follow too? I think, or wait, did somebody gift you a sub? Royal Wolf, welcome in. Guys, we're getting raided. Siri, thank you so much for the raid. What were you just playing? My chat has just been flying off the handle. Welcome in. I'm sorry, you guys are coming in as like I post cried. Siri, welcome in. Guys, please go check out Siri. What were you just playing? It's tradition. If somebody breaks you to do what? <laughs> I see Vac. Vac, welcome in. Dojin, Royal again. Thank you for the follow. And and anybody that's here for the first time, welcome in. Variety streamer. I like cats, Taco Bell, and my chat enjoys breaking me on the regular. Um... And I'm a variety streamer, so you'll find pretty much any game here. I pretty much enjoy everything and anything between, but we are in our year of space, so I'm doing Mass Effect right now. Love dad jokes, so here's one. Did you hear about the shellfish that couldn't breathe? It had prawn chitis. It had br prawn chitis. Raj, that one was really good, actually. I love that. Ninja, welcome back in. Siri, wait, wait, okay, hold on. I'm trying to catch up where it said what you were playing. Rare ghost, with everything going on in my life, I can't contribute like everyone else, but I want you to know that you'll always brighten my day. Rare ghost, I just want all of you guys to know that never feel like you, ha like, I hope even the people that are giving you never feel like you have to or anything. Like, I only ever, and I never want you guys to give beyond what you guys are are willing to and have means to you know like never ever feel like you have to do more than just simply being there like that is the most important thing bear to dojin bear to muzi and also royal wolf and guys if y'all are popping in i'm sorry it's a it's a bad time but we are about to get started on the game watching the stream is more than enough are you kidding me ruin Gruen, welcome in. Falky, I'm new here. What's your favorite game of all time? You just love rubbing this in my face because you also enjoy Fable, but you also love the fact that Witcher 3 has usurped it. 
This is not nice. Tiara D, welcome back in. I am so sorry. Can one of my mods tell me what Siri was playing? I'm so behind on this. And also, if you have to raid and dash, I totally understand. Guys, we're just about to get started on day five? Five, four? Day four of uh, Mass Effect 2. Baldur's Gate. Oh, you're a Swedish streamer. Okay, awesome. I will definitely have to come check you out. I gotta, hold on. I gotta do this. I will definitely pop by. Hold on. Let me find you. I'm finding Yoda and Prods. <laughs> you never look like a fool. You just seem unaware of how much positivity you bring to people. Don't, don't do this to me. All right, I'm gonna pop by sometime. I've been, my chat has been talking about Baldur's Gate for a while now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna play it anytime soon, but I am looking forward to eventually one day, hopefully taking it on. Oh gosh. I bought Baldur's Gate just to support the devs. I don't normally play RPGs. Wait, that's really sweet. I don't know if I've ever had you guys kind of talk about something like that. And Boston, welcome in. I appreciate it. Dear Agony, <laughs> where are you? All right, guys, let's get started. Because otherwise I'm going to descend into further sadness or joyfulness. I don't know what it is. Joyful tears, joyful cries. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any joyful news to bring to you guys. I don't know if there's anything. Ginger's birthday is on Wednesday. As a reminder, we're going to play some cat games in honor of her. Um, come around on, on, on Wednesday for my cat's 17th birthday party. 17 years. 15 minutes early. I'm starting before the hour mark. You guys tried so hard. But only in the end, it doesn't even matter. Mohammed, thank you for the follow. I'm have to science the shit out of this. I wish I could turn that one only on. Like, I just want that to be able to... We should also edit it to be Matt Damon's voice and say, I'm going to have to probe this. <laughs> Raj! Yoda, are you? Are you really? Okay. You guys, freakish. Hi. I was so confused and somebody pops up. Wait, I, you were so confused when somebody does? I thought, no, we're not doing Simba. Do you guys want to bring back out Simba? So many of you guys are not even aware of Simba. What do you mean I don't have to give? You made it pretty clear that <laughs> you would only play at me if the bribes were large and frequent. I had to take out a loan. <laughs> and I'm also saying the same for Metal Gear as well, Ernie. So <laughs> I did. This is it. Oh, I saw Ernie's message. I saw <laughs> Bear with the gifted sub to happy tears. Happy tears. They're happy tears. Cast to play the Stray Cat game. I did. I was weirdly not the biggest fan of it. It was fun. I liked knocking everything over because I really feel like if I, I were a cat, I would just run around causing chaos, which is any kind of cat, but... Uh, Casta is so kind. She wished she didn't date Liara because she wanted Garrus's thigh, but she couldn't get a threesome. She let Caden die. Chat thinks she is blind, but Casta is so kind. <laughs> Lig. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> what? <laughs> She couldn't get a threesome, so she let Kaden die. <laughs> so every once in a while, whenever I see, so I love my friends so much. Um, you guys know Anna, you guys know, like I have fantastic friends from streaming. And so they understand because they play games. There's nothing quite more comical than trying to explain to your friends that none of them, like none of my girlfriends play video games. But they are so kind and they try so hard to be supportive. Like my one friend, she's like my number one hype woman. And uh, she, they try to ask like how games are going. And so trying to tell them that you got rejected in a game when you propositioned two people to join you on a threesome and then in turn you nuked the guy in response it just doesn't ring and have the same like it didn't it wasn't it yeah it just doesn't come across it doesn't translate as well to people that don't get it you know it's the same way as like my mom she's like how is how's work honey and i'm like mom I have 16 HR complaints. I'm sorry I'm disappointed you. Dishonored to you. Dishonored to your cow. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's not... 
I gotta start really finding different ways to describe what I've done in my day with you guys. I <laughs> the classic, my, <laughs> uh, yeah, so today at work, uh, I was playing Fable and my husband divorced me and left the entire region of Albion, mom. I don't know what to tell you. Don't think you're getting grandbabies. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm an utter disappointment. <laughs> This is just... She probably does. What is happening? Okay, let me make sure to turn off Spotify. Otherwise, you guys won't let me hear the end of this. What kind of games are you guys playing? <laughs> well, my one friend, she's hilarious. She, she never picked up a single game in her entire life. And she was like, so I feel like all of a sudden I want to start playing video games. And I was like, what? And it was like that moment that you were like, oh... I feel like I just learned more about you than I care to. Farewell, Otis. So we kicked him in the daddy bags and kicked him out. It sounds like fun. <laughs> All right, guys, bear with me. It's loading. We are loading. Um, as always, though, we do need to buy fuel and probes. I <laughs> My dad left to go buy fuel and probes and never came back. <laughs> okay. All right, Mass Effect 2, you guys. <laughs> it's the perfect conversation. You asked Maggie how it's <laughs> Like, there's so much to roll off of into a conversation. And then, so uh, most of it, this is actually, actually, now that I think about this, this is wild. So, like, uh, except for one of my friends, all of my girlfriends are nurses. They're, like, travel nurses or uh, PAs or, like, in the medical field. So we have vastly different conversations about what's going on like their traumatic situations are very different okay than mine. but i think they also just love hearing the stories of how ridiculous it gets koji what's up welcome back in how's it going i see gravel as a self-employed artist i can relate when describing my job to people since it consists of looking at naked digital people all the time maddie like how do i describe this hmm well, have you ever heard of NSFW? You know, like, <laughs> all right, all right. Even if it's sarcastic, <laughs> if you were never here for Fable 2, let me just tell you that Fable 2 is a gold mine of not only HR complaints, but also the most horrible quotes you'll ever see come out of my mouth. Or they're definitely, okay, in my defense, they're, they're definitely taken out of context, you know? Gravel, thank you so much for 10 months of continual support as well. <laughs> it's so nice to have you here, and I'm just glad to see you're still enjoying the channel and community. <laughs> I've done two contracts of travel nursing. I can relate. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, my best friend, she's a travel nurse, and she hates it. So, yeah, but it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's so interesting to hear their stories, and I also just applaud anybody in, like, any sort of health field because I... Like, it's like taking a retail job and then maxing it because people are unhappy or they're sick or they're unwell and then you have their family and things. And she has more patients than I've ever seen in any individual in my entire life, truly. So, great. Thank you so much for the gifted sub to Koji and Ernie with the gifted sub to Metal Gear Solid Five. <laughs> MK, thank you for the follow as well. Tanium, and I got a hydrate from Merman. I've got a stretch and then we are good to go. Um, you're like, I totally took on the Legion horde and saved the day. <laughs> They're saving real lives and I'm over here saving games and characters and games, or no, I'm actually getting more lives killed in games. Oh, that was actually really good. The plain black loading screen that starts the game was created because they wanted to create a loading screen that matched Caden's personality. <laughs> Euphoric, is this the same way as like, is this the same truth that came out when you were like, oh, the person that was writing his dialogue actually was so boring that they fired him or he was sleeping on the job? Soaping in, welcome in, by the way. I laugh when I see it coming up because my job is basically all that. Exactly. Exactly. It's all taken out of context. I don't know what you're talking about. Snicker, welcome back in. No, if you guys haven't been here for a while or very foco, welcome in too. Um, I have these headphones. Um, they are fantastic and it just kind of depends on the day. So sometimes I like wearing the earbuds because I will say that the sound quality on these is so much better, but I like not having like the heaviness. I have a small head and I feel like the headset is just kind of, it, it ends up hurting my head after a while. <laughs> I know that sounds ridiculous, but it's the same way as like if I have my hair up for too long, my, my head starts to hurt. I don't know. 
You also don't charge them. I also use, no, but I use them during the day mostly. So like whenever I'm running around my house and stuff, I'll have them on and I'll be like listening to a podcast or something. I nearly use them every day, which is why they always run out of energy. And I'm so bad, like guys, if y'all have come from the YouTube or you have seen a YouTube video or you just know me, I'm so bad at charging things. I live my life on 5% on my phone at all times. I never know. The headphones hurt my ears after a few hours. Yeah, the earbuds are a little bit better, but they don't stay in my ears because I just feel like the squeegees. I can't find the perfect squeegees um, and they just fall out of my ear. I think also the reason why this one always falls out is I have a, I have a, a piercing that I think pushes against it. And so it just is like trying to kick it out. It's like, get out of here. There's only room for one of us in here. <laughs> I'm enjoying the Walking Dead playthrough. Are you watching that right now? Well, obviously, um, but the Walking Dead playthrough is one of my favorites. I mean, all of my playthroughs. I love every game I play. I'm sorry. I love them all. You need to go home and rethink your life. Um, Vloot with the gifted sub. Vloot with two gifted subs. I also have another hydrate and Anon with the gifted sub to Darth Bane. Guys, thank you so much, Vloot. Except for ME1. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Shea. Because of cauliflower ear, you can't wear your buds the same way because the pods would fall out. Inter I never thought about that, but that actually makes complete sense. Yeah. Did you do wrestling or um, I guess I only know like M MMA does that? You saving NPCs lives makes me smile when I'm home from my ICU nursing. I didn't know you did ICU nursing, Darth. That's amazing. Or maybe you had mentioned it one time before. No, I think somebody else had mentioned it. I feel I know we have we have a decent amount of vets or active military and we also have a lot of people in healthcare. Like seriously, thank you guys for everything y'all do. Um you need better headphones then? These ones? No, I love these headphones more than I it doesn't matter. It's my uh, I think I just honestly have headphones in too much in my day to day, like between recording, streaming. And then if I'm like uh, going to the gym and stuff, I feel like I just try so hard not to have as many things like. I don't know, eating up space in my ear. I don't know where I'm going with this. Zeke. Welcome back in. All right. I'm feeling weird. I don't know what to say. Zook. Thank you, Zook. Zook, it has been awesome having you be a part of the community, and I look forward to seeing your thoughts on Wednesday in the book club. Zook is such an avid reader, and it's so cool to hear all of your like thoughts and perspectives when it comes to our books. Okay, it's eating up your space. Because there's only a limited amount here. The Skull Candy reviews seem to be good. I love my little earbuds. It's my, my ears are the problem, not the headphones, I promise. Yeah, bees khakis, yeah. If you guys, so I just, actually, that's a great point before we get started, and I'm also gonna give you guys the recap, but we just added it. So in the Discord, if you go down, um, most people should be able to see, add me, it's like a, Fuchs, what is it called? It's a new section where you can actually go in there and you just have to react and Fuchs or one of the admins will add you to the book club because we just didn't want to bog down other people's discords that aren't interested in the book club. So it's just an extra spot and it's a role that you guys can get added to. So Cheeto, welcome in. Wednesday, I have not started the book either. I'm planning to just binge it here in a second. No, wait. Yeah, no. I'm trying to prioritize finishing Thrawn. Like I still have to finish... I will get there. Jedi, after a bit through my ears started burning. I'm, un I'm un apologizing for enjoying every game. I've accepted, like, I'm just not the person you're gonna, kinda, gonna come to for an unbiased review of a game. Like, I'm my enjoyment bias, my joyful bias. It's called the bias, it's the bias of joy. I enjoy everything I do, and that's all you're gonna hear. Glory should be on the 12 games of Christmas game when she reaches 50 plus hour complaints. If you guys ask, if I get 50 HR complaints and you guys ask for Quarry, I will. I need to, I would enjoy it. I'd love it. I'd love it. Do it. Do it. You won't. You won't chat. Okay. You wouldn't. <laughs> All right, guys, if y'all are new here, welcome in. I know I missed so many people. So just if I have missed you guys, welcome back in. Thank you for being here. Um, as always, like, thank you for commenting. And if I missed a comment, um, I'm trying to like work through it, but I really appreciate you guys not only being here, but commenting, keeping it funny, lighthearted, and just making this community something I look forward to interacting with every single day so with that last episode was yesterday and we started the quest to get the professor so we are finishing with that oi yes we are fin ginger ginger okay i think it's people coughing that sounds like ginger um 
Wilkinson, thank you so much for the reset for three months in a row. And Blue with another gifted sub. Blue, it sounds kind of like coughing and... Yeah. Uh, anyway, we are picking up Dr. Morden Solis. So we are really close to reaching him on that. What I'd like to get done today is doing this. We're going to probe a few planets. And then we also are going to, I hope, pick up the rest of the crew as well before we start doing other missions. But there are some side assignments for our crew that I'd like to be able to do. But I think we should prioritize finding everybody main mission, then going from there, and then working through some side missions. Also, we picked up the new Krogan. We do not have Rex, but we have a replacement Rex, which is Grunt. So we just picked up Grunt last episode too. Wes, hi. And I see Patrick, thank you for the follow. Flute, again, thank you so much. And Wilkinson, I'm glad to see you're still enjoying the channel. Maddie, I see. Wait, wait, I saw X. XX, welcome back. Quarry is that bad? I really liked Until Dawn. I loved Until Dawn. Not the same games, okay? Not the game, not the same games. I also have died a lot. Uh, Zen went back and found all of the deaths, and then Zen was at 18 deaths. Can do you, uh, can somebody make one of my mods? Can y'all make a command for how many deaths we have so far? And it will be a death command in the chat, but it just won't pop up on the screen. The deaths will be separate from HR complaints. The Rex placement. It was a Rex placement. Okay, we just talked to these individuals, so we are headed back out. Mm-hmm. That means we don't have two favorite companions in the whole series. That means we still don't have the two favorite companions. Oh, I have Garrus. Jonathan, hello. I'm I'm loving it. I mean, the first one was the first one was good, but it just felt like it was like laying the foundation for the series. This one, amazing. Everything about it, I'm in love with. Wait. Oh, there we go. Just takes a little bit. Shepherd. Shepherd. <laughs> kind of the frog kind of yeah. That kind of works with it. He also says Shepard the same way that Rex does, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. I felt like the Rex and Shepard thing was our thing, but now Grunt's using it, so I guess it wasn't our thing. I know. Sarah, what's up? Welcome back in. And Bear with the gifted sub to Garrus's Bay. This guy's out, that's out. That's what I say when I see Garrus. Um, all right, let's go over here. That's hardly brother. <laughs> we never have, we never see the word brother anymore. I can't do it anymore. Like, I, I, maybe I just stopped doing it, period. There was a period where I feel like I did it every single time. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> brother. Okay, let's see. Hostiles are clear. Nice. Oh, also, by the way, on this mission, they definitely told us before we started this mission to only take humans because um, any other species is vulnerable to getting this illness. And so I proceeded to take Grunt with me. <laughs> so don't know how that one's going to play out. We will see what happens. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Those mechs. 20. I have 30 more. I, have th I need to. I have 29 more. That I can, okay, 29 more. I gotta make my HR complaints count. If Grunt dies, we riot. I know, everybody more just walks out. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. I forgot that we had taken out the horde before, so we already killed them. There's no way somebody would kill them as commander. That is fair. Brian, by the way, I genuinely want to add Mimir's brother to my vernacular. How does he, brother? Oh, he does it very, yeah, brother. No, it's not the way I'm trying to do it. I'm doing, it's not, I don't know. I know I can, if I can think of it in my head, but I can't even try to mimic it. He says it the way I'd say it normal. I know it has an accent to it. That's why I'm like, I, I, I don't, <laughs> I'm not trying to kill Grunt. Grunt will be fine also, by the way. I do need to work on weapons here soon. We need to take on weapons. Homo sapien, welcome back in. When are we getting the caster gobble back? I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I can't, it doesn't have the same range. Like, it's not happening. I gotta go hunting to like revive it or something. Turing impatient. Parachute, welcome back in. Say hell yeah, brother. Regularly, I see no problems with Sorry, it. Sorry, too busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. I know, Morden's probably back there. And all these sick people. Hmm. Bear is so mean baiting Casta. 
that's not saying that term is not an HR complaint because I said it before and didn't get an HR complaint for it. Bear with the gift of sub to skies out, thighs out. Uh, they have that on a shirt at the company Chubby's. Does anybody know the Chubby's company? They have that on a t-shirt and I want to get it so bad. <laughs> Utopia, welcome back in. Cyrus, Cyrus, thank you so much for the reset for 17 months in a row. Thank you. And it's here too as well. <laughs> I'm glad to see you're still enjoying the channel. Okay, we're doing this. Morton saved my life. I owe him everything. Mm hmm. Batarian. Just trying to get your mind in the right place. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. Everybody thinks I'm looking for trouble. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick. The Batarians really don't like us. Oh my, oh. Oh. <laughs> that scares us after I sexually harass him. He's just sitting here like, no. <laughs> after he hears all of the HR violations that I've had against him. Oh no. Broken. <laughs> Use Milano, plenty on that. Almost as good. Oh, Causes no. panic. Vegetarians. Supplement with butemerol. Brown there and butemerol. Hmm. Horn is several people's cats. favorite companion Arms, in the whole series. Uh, Spazzy said that last time. Why not Haplicor? That's Two not HR. Consistent results. Demazine better option. No, no, no. Demazine toxic to humans. Not an option. How is that count as it? I said that that itself was. <laughs> Fine. I'm just keeping all my thoughts inside of my head. You have a, re a restaurant called Chubby's Tacos? Oh, no, no, it's like a, it's a, I mean, I would say it's kind of like a frat brand. This should come in handy. It's like a very preppy brand for swim trunks. I only know because it's my, <laughs> it's my brother's favorite brand. And he asks for it every Christmas. And I tell him, I'm like, dude, they should not make swim trunks that short. I just, you, I spe you, there's no business making swim trunks like two inches. What is going on here? Very trigger happy HRs. I feel like these are some bosha bosha bosha. Here he is. All right, Morden, ready? I gotta respect him. It's like speedos. Professor Morden Solis. Broken cure. Supplemented with neural blocker to avoid blood rage reaction. Excellent. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh. Now to greetings, human. Curious. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees. No mercenary uniform. Quarantine still in effect. Here for something else? Vorcha? Crew to clean them out? Unlikely. Vorcha a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No, no, no. Too many guns, not enough data. For the love of God, take a breath. I came here to find you, okay? I'm Commander Shepard. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? I love him! <laughs> This is how my brain is working. It just doesn't come across that like he's not only speaking really fast and his brain's moving a mile a minute, but he's actually able to articulate it as well. That's like what's happening on the inside of my brain, but I just come out and I'm like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like I'm just tripping over my words. Uh, <laughs> I thought you said you were going to respect him. I was just asking. I saw it. I wanted to use it. Okay. It is what it is. That doesn't mean I'm being mean to him. Just because you're a renegade doesn't mean it's bad. I'm just trying to tell him to calm down. Take a breathe. Take a breath. He uh, sounds like he's on like intense Adderall or something. Mm -hmm. Also, Kikan, thanks for the follow and welcome in secret organization. It's a covert and privately funded human group. Related to plague. Doesn't affect humans. Human centric interest. Few human groups would know me. Equipment suggests military origin. Not alliance standard. Spectres. Not human. Terra firma too unstable. Only one it's option. Me on a brookie. Cerberus sent you. Unexpected. Oh. The inhale with the... You've heard of You're them? You're very well informed. How did a Solarian scientist hear about Cerberus? Crossed paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Solarian aid? Reaper. What? I don't... Erty with the gifted sub to Cax. Wait, Cax, welcome back in. Reaper, holy cow. I don't get where all of this generosity comes from. But thank you so much. Another 10,000 bits. Reap what he sows. I guess you do reap what you sow in the best way. I feel like that's more of a negative way to say it, but I feel like, yeah, in a positive way. 
best written character in the game. I know, I know. Reaper, thank you so much for everything. Do you see with the gifted sub to weak thumbs? No, classy. No, no, I was saying it. I was in my brain. It was what I was thinking. Reaper's trying to convince you not to stop them. Reaper's working against us. Hold on. This is all a plot to make us lose in the end of the day. It's how he talks. It's because he goes like, do-do, do-do, do-do. It's the, the cadence of the way that he speaks. That sounds so wild. Reaper only talks and... <laughs> Reaper, thank you for everything. It is a coincidence that Reaper shows up and causes chaos now that you've started playing Mass Effect. <laughs> I dare say I haven't seen a Reaper before this. Um, and wait, Cax, Twitch recommended to me Mass Effect's one of my favorite game series. Well, I'm so glad to see. I remember you from yesterday. I remember you following me from yesterday. So I'm glad to see you return for another stream. And I hope you continue to enjoy it. And I hope this continues to feel like a cozy spot for you. So, all right, back to back to Morton though, you guys. His cadence. You do miss him. His cadence. <laughs> Colonies are vanishing. We're here. The Collectors are kidnapping entire human populations. We're gonna find out why and stop them. Collectors? Interesting. Play kidding these slums is engineered. Collectors want a few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll take care of it. Why can't anything be simple? His, I'm assuming it's his voice. I'm assuming he has a voice actor. And then it is slightly changed to sound like all um, Solarians. All Solarians have like a similar, the same way that um, Turians have, and all of them. I'll get in and deal with the. They all kind chat. of have a defining. The vocal modulation is definitely applied. What the hell was that? Forge has shut down environmental systems. Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take play cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from Dead Blue Sun's marks may come in handy against Forge. One more thing, Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Forge territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. I'll keep an eye out. He's probably dead. I'll keep an eye out. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go, but he's smart. Bright future. I hope. I met a sick Batarian. I found a Batarian plague victim near the entrance yeah. to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorcha still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. I see why so many people are like polarized him, but also I just, I love everything about it. He's, he's like, I've, <laughs> I feel like I'm being, I, I've never felt this way when I met somebody. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit funny. This feeling inside. I don't know. A plague? What can you tell me about this plague? It's mm, some advanced it's not... design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Yeah. Why does it sound. Why does it make sense? I feel like he's like my spirit animal. Yeah. Grim, absolutely. <laughs> He's our inner, it's like an internal monologue. Oh, his speech satisfies people with ADHD. <laughs> DM, welcome back in, Shaggy. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Hmm. Possible goal of virus, testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. No, it's not like he's, I wouldn't say he's nerdy. He's just knowledgeable and well-spoken and he speaks fast. And that's like a really, really rare, um, I just, I don't, I can't remember the last time I've maybe seen like a character like this that vocalizes everything, but also sounds so sure of himself, which can be dangerous as well, but sounds so sure, speaks so fast, speaks so eloquently, also just articulates everything perfectly. It's so well, yeah. It's insane. Morning is one of my favorite ME2 characters. Yeah. You have to start talking like that if you're going to keep up with chat. <laughs> I'll start practicing. His species is 40 years. It's out 80 to 100. Ours. Sounds like a catch. Morden is the best. Orca. What do you know about the Vorcha? Vorcha. Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but 
theory fits evidence. Assistant. Any idea where I can find Daniel? Daniel? No. Heard infected batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Speaking of Wanted Elton to find John. him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. Attacks on clinics. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Suns came for humans. Made threats. Killed them before for things car escalated. Commercials? <laughs> the Solarian car commercials? <laughs> oh, he is absolutely joining the group. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Mm -hmm. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Solarian Special Tasks group. Can handle myself. Advantage of being Solarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. I love him. Okay, that's it. All right, we'll go do this for him. And yes, he joined our group. And I'm definitely bringing him on every trip. It's going to be him. And it will toggle between... I, I feel so bad. The humans always get sidelined by the aliens i just love i don't know I, I like getting to know them more there and these ones there's some great humans in this one like i actually really like jacob's character i love miranda but they just make i mean they're so much more cool and their dialogue is more interesting and entertaining let's head for the environmental plant i know mickey i don't want to talk about it i didn't do it <laughs> Already with the gifted sub to Scientist Salarian, Anon with the gifted sub to Dodo and to Jonathan. Anon, thank you so much. It's perfect reading in the disclaimer of a medicine product. Exactly. Or he's working at like um, an auction house too. He could do so many. I want to tell him, yeah, after he's done with all of this, if he ever wants to, like, he's got so many other job applications or opportunities. Are you kidding me? I like Jacob. You're probably the first person that doesn't find him boring. Oh, no, we don't like Jacob after last episode, though. Elaine, Elaine, welcome back in. Russ, hi. Um, he could... There's no way. Has anybody tried to, like, put his voice to rap god? I feel like you could totally do that, and that'd be hilarious. The only knockback, or the only knockout of MME2 is the huge cast to choose from. Yes! Give me more slots to bring with me. More than another character you haven't found yet are my two favorite. I cannot wait to have all the characters and we can talk about. I definitely want to know what, which two you guys enjoy the most. Yeah. All right. M6 Carnifex hand cannon acquired. The following squad members are now able to use it. Shep, Jacob, and Miranda. So I'm probably going to be keeping that. Yeah, Jacob rejected us pretty hard um, yesterday. So don't know if I'm going to be pursuing that one. It's feeling like Caden 2.0, but not as boring Caden. All right, so we need to put this on myself. Let me talk to him again. I just want to hear him speak again. It's not even like I can never predict what he's going to say. I also love the way that their their bodies like structured. I don't know how to describe what they look like. It's just it's interesting. Yes, it's Shepard. not an need something. I just want to hear him talk Let's more. Let's head for the environmental plant. Yes, good. Restore power. Release no, not cure. in like an we'll HR way. It's like the way that they're, I don't, it's the structure of Solarians as a whole. That does not count. That's just absorbing something in the game in a non-HR complaint way. Iridium recovered. He has so many cool things. Element zero. Is it kind of amphibian? The way that it's slanted kind of bloody? Also bloody eye. 100 credits. The scoliosis, I believe is what you're looking for. Attack you, hi. Ben, welcome back in. Ben, thank you so much for the kind words. And you're a part of that. Like, you guys say this as if y'all aren't a part of this community and what makes it so great. Sean, welcome back in. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for stopping through. Most of the new characters in this game are some interesting, well-written. I can't wait for you to meet the rest of them. I think that's what we'll do for the rest of the day is meet all of our new characters. If it's even possible at my rate. Uh, Mr. Welcome in, by the way. I chose, I chose Ashley in this one. Yeah, she was with the Solarians. And actually, now that I think about it, maybe Solarians are my favorite characters because I loved Hold the Line guy. Not enough to remember his name, but I love it. It wasn't as simple as Morden. Wait, you start college tomorrow? Wait, that's amazing. Using the GI Bill and it's so excited to meet new people. Ben, that is incredible. Congratulations. One, I'm going back to school. That's huge. And I wish you best of luck. What, um, if you don't mind sharing, what undergrad are you going for? Morden's around mean? here somewhere. Uh, go Captain. talk to him. We need all the help we can get. All right, so let me look at the map. I won't let me look at the map. Let me go over here. Get the environmental control systems, deliver the plague cure into the air supply. Uh, hold on. I'm trying to see. 
there we go, objective this way. I love that they added that too, because I don't think that was in the first one. Karahi. Yes. Morton, I feel like installing the game again just for him. <laughs> He's so awesome. I didn't realize how good things were in the district before the quarantine. Yeah. I thought I'd miss the blue suns. Laj, thank you for the posture check. Cyrus. Whose laugh was that? Cy oh, no you. Cyrus, thank you so much for the two gifted subs to the channel and community. A conversation between Morden and an Elcor? That, I would pay to see that. I would. Up front! Wait a minute, when did I change my weapon? When did I change this? I'll put them down! I hate that I just, I'm like, I don't know, I just feel like I'm sticky and I cling to every wall. Can I see this real quick? What am I? Fire a bolt of electricity that can arc between. My stuff's in, oh, it's the, oh, I'm using the hand cannon. I didn't realize it automatically applied. Okay, that works. I want to get these headshots off. Uh, Bree, Bree, what's up? Welcome back in. Hi. I gotta message you back. By the, way. the blue tack. The, oh, they got a Krogan. Oh. All right, let's charge him. Did the Krogan charge? think that you're gonna do a lot more damage, but it's actually gonna cost me because I decided to headbutt a Krogan because that's a smart thing to do. <laughs> it's a hand cannon, more like a mini sniper. I think it's gonna work a lot better than the pistol for me. I don't know what compelled me to do that. It sounded like an evil bone. Oh, uh, it is low ammo. You do, yeah. There is smart. <laughs> Exoid eye. Welcome back in. I don't think that it's going to be better in the long run, though. Oh, no, 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 I do like that as a shotgun better. The Geth, yeah, like that better. M6 over the heavy pistol. Do I even have ammo for the grenade launcher? They have a cave, Krogan. <laughs> they have a cave troll. And they call it a mine. A mine. Okay, let's go back to it. Incoming. <laughs> they have so much armor, though, I have to say. Hold on. Let's go back to M6. Why were my weapons flipped like that? I saw photography. I'm going to scroll back up. I'm going to have to... I'm going to see that in a second, Ben. Can one of my mods pin Ben's message real quick? And also, James, thank you for the follow. And Ernie, with the gifted sub to uh, Mr. Yeah. Passion and getting an associate's in commercial photography. That's so cool. Have you always been into photography? Thank you, Zen. Mm. I'm like going into a blind again. It's a mess. I need to make sure I'm actually doing this. All right, let's mess up the Krogan with Power down. Cryo rounds. I'm gonna switch back to... No, it's back to the shuriken. I'm gonna go shotgun. Loading back! Burden. All right, do this, do shotgun. There we go, should have been killed. Impact shot! Tell me what's up, welcome back in. Oh, let's see. You got into it during COVID? Like, commercial side of it? Have you always been interested in the commercial part? Egg, what's up? Welcome back in. Okay. Mm, let it recharge a little bit. This is no mine. It is a tomb. And they call it a mine. This is quite the shootout. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Probably not the best decision, but we'll try. Okay. Oh. 
He goes, you're done. I know I had said that, and then I proceeded to take Jacob. I accidentally took Jacob for the record. One does not simply intentionally take Jacob. It's My shields are down. Oh! Now that will not buff out. I think there's still some behind me though. Yeah, there's still one over here, I think. Go, 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 go. Uh, really good. We are, we just met Morden, Igneal. We just met him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Got into it for the first place. I got you outdoors. That's so cool. It's gonna be film photography. I feel like that is an extensive and complicated class to take too. Cause it is, there's so many techniques, right? I'm really, I will tell you like more than ever, I've been so interested lately about looking at how games, how games shoot cutscenes. Like ever since FF16, I realized that there is so much like cinematography and they have to think out and probably be strategic about every single shot before they design the scene. Like, I just want to see these storyboards. Does anybody else want to see storyboards for video games? That's like the one thing I would kill to see. All right, I'm gonna charge. Wait, I think there's one more Krogan. He needs to get it. Get his time in while it lasts. He's, he's about to get hard benched. Get over here. Mm. They're like full movie productions. I really believe that. Absolutely. Charge. You've been into the development process lately? I think every single year that I have the opportunity to do this. <gasps> no, no, no. I can't save, I'm trying to save. <laughs> I feel like I'm trying to take in more of games than just the story. I think it's so, like when, I'm when I was younger, I cared just mostly about like killing and this story. And now I'm trying to like actually identify all the work and separate parts that go into the development of a game. It's development diaries. You can watch. Wait, really? I'm sure that's why. I think that's a little bit of that you kind of see in like the making of Kratos, right? Target down. You can find a bunch of stuff on YouTube. I've never thought to. Yeah, raising Kratos. Yes, Mr. Chill. I haven't seen it yet. And Kevin, hi. I'm gonna start a hack while we're doing this. You guys. Uh, there's one part. I need to do that. I, well, because I had planned to watch Raising Kratos with you guys, or at least record myself watching it, so that it could be kind of like a. A reaction thing because that's what you guys had kind of asked for and I just haven't made the time for it and I need to carve that time out because otherwise I'll forget all of God of War <laughs> by the time I get back to it. Ryan, have you ever tried Taco Bell breakfast? Uh, when I was at my old job, somebody had brought us Taco Bell breakfast and it's not my favorite. If I had to go with fast food breakfast, it's so bad. I love the like gross, super sugary, pancakes from McDonald's. They're probably like my favorite fast food breakfast item. It's Taco Bell with egg in it. Sausage and egg, I think. As someone who's gotten into animation, it's truly incredible how they make every frame count. Especially, um, Atashi, have you seen some of FF16s? Oh, I saw that. Wait, can you, um, Zen, can you pin Core's message? Freakish, hi. Something about insurance is a real thing now? Me liking sugar? Shocking, I know. Everyone in the setting uses translators, but Morden is one of the few aliens that are confirmed to be canically fluent in English. Oh, and we've actually read the translators. Yeah, um, but some of them, some of them have it actually implanted in them, I believe, right? I think we had learned that or read about it last time. Bank terminal? Don't mind if I do. Mickey D's breakfast is kind of solid. It's like my preferred hangover choice of food after some nightly pickle bags. The sausage sheep, Mr. McMuffin. Mc, McMuffin. McMuffin. Program, thank you so much for 10 months of continual support as well, and welcome back in. I can't remember the last time I've had breakfast from there. It's all about uh, location and what's closest. Look, oh wait, how could I forget Chick-fil-A's breakfast though? The chicken minis, the minis. Everything's cuter and small. In smaller form. Mm, this one. How many, did, oh, because I failed one, it canceled one out, or it, you had to start over. Ah! Okay, so it kicks you back out. I see. Okay, I've never tried to do this. Uh, it's right here. There we go. 
Master Sub Muffin, welcome back in. Wait, did you say you're moving to college? You said you're moving? Chicken and a biscuit. Chicken and a biscuit. Their chicken biscuit's really good. Thank you. Chicken biscuit. Um, Igneer, thank you for the follow and welcome in. A monster and a tornado from the shopette. A monster and a tornado. Oh, and a t what's a tornado? I know a monster. Is a tornado a breakfast thing? Please. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came Daniel. here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your mm. bag. No, those vials Feels contain like the cure. Please, you have to believe me. We have to save him. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your. Look out! Daniel's gonna be indebted to us forever. That's One all. Step Junior, you. your friend. Nobody needs to die. Pull that trigger and you're breathing through a new hole in your head. Let him go and you walk away. Oh my gosh. Oh god. You must think Batarians are stupid. What's to stop you from killing us if we let him go? Let him live, I let you leave. Kill him, I do the same to you. Let him go. Let's be honest, the renegade has the funner options. The funner, go? the more fun. You can go. No, I can't trust you. We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Hmm? Thank you. I thought they were gonna, gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? He needs you. The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Uh, thanks again. I owe you... Well, well everything. everything. Hmm. Joshua, welcome back in. Black, I see. The renegade options, um, I find when it comes to like a situation like this where we're just like trying to get somebody to stop doing something, I like the renegade options better. It's more sass, it's more funny, it's just more enjoyable. So I don't care about getting the renegade points if the dialogue pays off for it, you know? Domino, Domino, thank you for three months too. You lurky turkey, I really appreciate it. So grape on a sausage biscuit wasn't a thing. I've never heard grape on a sausage biscuit. Grape on a sausage biscuit. This is as horrible as, actually it kind of sounds pretty good. Like grape jelly on a burger. <sighs> is it not grape jelly? Sorry, no. Um, what is it? Grape jam? No, um, not grape. Jalapeno jelly? Jalapeno jelly. Yes, but what kind of fruit do they put with the jalapeno jelly? I don't know where I was going with the grape jam. Ignore me, ignore me. I was thinking of the grape. I was thinking of the great. <laughs> I was thinking of my great grape escape to the UK earlier. Kiwi jalapeno? Mm, I think they could put anything with it, right? Did you say it does matter the Renegade versus Paragon stuff? Because I feel like that's... It does matter in the long run. Legendary, by the way. Hi, and I also saw your post in the Discord. Renegade and ME2 is funnier and more badass. I think I use it sparingly enough, though. Grape jam is a thing. Vild, <laughs> Vilstage, yes. Uh, the great escape. The great escape. I can't believe I siphoned it into those little vials. I'll never live that moment down. I'm going in. Not ideal. Gotta hurt. Also, let me switch to this. The grape escape. Jam versus jelly. The eternal bell. What's the difference? Is it just how you say it? Peanut butter and jam burgers are pretty popular. Also, uh, I remember like the last time I had been to Texas, which was a while ago, to be fair. They had a donut shop that did donut burgers. Like the buns were donuts. I don't know how I feel about that. That feels too sweet. Marmalade. Oh, I love Marmite. I actually do like that. Gunslinger, welcome back in. Who did it? Can I go in this way? No. Black, have a good night. Thank you for hanging around. Rocket. Rockets. Multiple. All right, fire. Have a nice trip. <laughs> nice, that should have been headshot kill. Hmm. I feel like Raging would try that though. I feel like Raging's already tried that burger. Nice, dead. No, not. Burgers are overrated. I still my favorite burger to this day. 
goat cheese jalapenos oh that's it goat cheese is unreal i'm on a goat cheese like kick right now what is the difference between jelly and jam one is <laughs> me over here one is made mm. do you step on the grapes which part of omega is this this is an omega uh no this is part of omega isn't it oh megan fox welcoming um which uh oh we're inside of we're inside of that one place the part of omega what's the um the jellyfish it's the jellyfish looking thing that rocket's gonna hurt yeah that rocket was gonna hurt i knew that Ooh. Kill the turret, or kill the... Mia, yeah. I just have Garrus on my brain. Wait, what was that already? It sounds great, but what? Get over here! Incoming! I'm out of ammo. Switch to shuriken, just to shred him. A little strong for a burger. So it was, I think the jalapenos with the goat cheese, and then it had bacon jelly, bacon jalapeno jam, bacon jelly. I think that that was what kind of brought it all together. My shields are down. And you can't have like too, too much on it. Because you could easily overload it with too much. Mm. Jam uses the whole fruit and jelly basically just uses the juice. Now I don't. Now I don't know how I feel about that. Now I'm thinking back to what what do I usually use? I usually go to like a farmer's market to get fresh jam. And honeys, like I always get my honeys from local distributors. I think they say that that helps with your allergies, right? There we go. I like this last stand, like... Yeah, what? Oh... Your honey. <laughs> what about the preservative? That's what I'm saying, like the preservatives. You're close. Smack him. Nice. Run back behind tier. Anti-chat allergy. <laughs> Anti-chat allergy, honey. What a preserve is. They say that it may help. And I'll do anything I can to help my allergies. Are you kidding me? Even if it's not a confirmed solution, I will do it. My antihistamines don't even help all that much. What is going on here? Who are you? Incoming. Where are you? What are you doing, Jacob? <laughs> Jacob's just hiding in the corner over here. I've got it. All right. All right, don't mind if I grab those. Kill the Rocketeer. Kill him. What was that shot? I aimed over there. Oh, he's doing that thing again, isn't he? He's doing the thing again. I hate that I get stuck like that. Wish me luck for my local beehive. You're going to get local beehive, honey. Hmm. Do it, Elder. The more that I watch you play, the more I want to buy the legendary version. You used to play me. Oh, so you've only done the, the base games. You've never done that. Okay, what I will say, though, is if you guys are considering buying it, they often are going on sale. So definitely, if you can wait a little bit longer, try to find it when it's on a really good sale. And I feel like that would be awesome. But definitely... <laughs> yeah, I knew I was taking that one out. Probably going to do myself a solid and run over here. Plant boy, what's up? Welcome back in. Kano, welcome back in, Sue. Oh, is it part of- you're right, I'm- it is part of Game Pass. If you have Game Pass. Oh! Blue, thank you so much for the gift of to Osmosis. I think we can get up on the second floor. Blue with the snipes today as well. It's free on Game Pass. I have Game Pass, but I think somebody had gifted this to me years ago. Or a while ago at least, so that's why I already had it. I haven't really streamed a game from Game Pass yet. Have I? Um, okay, hold on. Do this, switch to this weapon, and smack that. There we go. Should do the trick. And there's still one more guy left. I don't think that's close enough to actually hit him with that. It's extensive for a single, simple remaster. 
Do you have battle pass crate? I forgot about that. Star Wars? No, we didn't. We didn't do that for battle pass on Star Wars. Remember what I had to do for Star Wars? Do you guys remember? That was a whole mess. Um, Manuka honey from New Zealand is the best honey there is. I've heard of Manuka honey of don't... I think I've had it on like acai bowls. I also, they have bee pollen on a, a acai bowls, acai. PS3 servers are still alive. For the PS3 servers for this game? Wasn't that for ME3? Wasn't ME3 multiplayer? Swims, by the way, welcome back in. I think... I thought I played it from a disc for Star Wars Unleashed 2. Didn't we kick it old school and get a disc for that? That was the great debacle of Unleashed. Do, 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 do. And you can dance if you want to. All right. Only ME3 is multiplayer. That's what I was thinking. Because you guys have talked about that. Yeah. Do you think right that that's you. maybe... Maybe because they were developing a multiplayer at the same time. Do you feel like that's maybe why 3 doesn't hold up? Not hold up as well, but maybe isn't as beloved as 2? Could it be possible that they were spread a little too thin with that one? Or they gave too much attention to the multiplayer and not enough to the story? Mm. Three is better. Oh. Krogan income. Wait, Krogan, 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 Krogan. I can't charge him. I can't charge him. Yes. Oh, bad news bears. Oh, he did get hit. Okay, run back, run back, run back. Oh, that was bad. Multiplayer was minimal. Wait, multiplayer was amazing. Mm, survey says. Charge him. There's something so satisfying about freezing and then charging him. I just feel like your charge should actually cause him to die. Like break him. I mean, three had very good multiplayer. Loved multiplayer. It was kind of weak. Mm. Oh, please no directives, tricks, or spoilers. Okay. Oh, we, oh, we welcome back in. In conclusion, ME3 multiplayer was a land of contrast. A land of contrast. Okay, keep going. Let me see, I guess I can't map this, can I? Hmm. The lamps, the lampies. I'm not loving this weapon. I just feel like we're not able to hold as much close ammo. Close to the environmental controls. Let's get that cure in. I don't like having six rounds. Already with the 400 bits. I was, uh, I really think people were just upset about the ending. Bioware oversold what was possible and then later partially fixed the ending with a patch. Okay, so by the time that Ellie hit it, the patch is already in there, so if you've only you played this, you'd enjoy here. it. We shut down machines, break fans, everyone choke and die, then collectors make us strong. Everybody choke and die, then collectors make us strong. They're doing this for the collectors. Mm. What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague. You work for doctor. They did bring Turn it. Turn on machines. Put cure in air. We kill you first. Ah. Trouble. Once again, being used by collectors the way that the Geth were used by the Reapers. <sighs> okay. My precious. I actually didn't think this had to do with the collectors, but Taking we fire. were sure it wasn't the humans. Well, we weren't sure that it wasn't the humans that did this, but we didn't think so. So it's Get nice to see shot. that it was confirmed the Vorka, Vorcha. I'm sorry, but every time I say Vorcha, I think Doncha, and then I just think, don't you wish you could. Like, that's like the only thing that I think of every time I say Vorcha, and I can't get out of my head. I had to share it. His voice reminds me of the lizard guys. The lizard guys. Already. Artie, thank you for the another 400 control piece. system is in an alcove in the center of the back wall. Don't you? You can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Okay. In the back of the wall. 
Bioware originally sold it as every decision you made throughout the entire trilogy would give you a different ending. People's expectations were too high for what was possible. False promises? I was born on false promises. Okay, after Fable, I will always think that I will always have trust issues from devs. Are you kidding me? Mm. This is totally spoilers. Yeah, let's probably try to like tone it back a little bit. Yeah. Borcho wish you Hot like a borcha. No more Emmy. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I know. I, I know. I get ahead of myself. I started thinking about this stuff. And then I got to remember to just be patient. I see Castor was definitely a 2000s kid. <laughs> what gets stuck in my head? But then all of a sudden, what did I break out in song to? Uh, I think it was one of my last recordings. Oh, time of the season. Great song. It's the time. Doors locked in. Once we get okay. the fans going, we should be good. Of the season. Reaper. I Darko, I hope you have a great night. Thank you so much for hanging around. You guys are trying to kill me today. Just let your love flow. The just Reapers are trying to get you to their side. Don't do it. Don't know. I don't even think Reaper expected. I don't, I don't know if Reaper even thought about this with the Mass Effect. I don't know. <laughs> Reaper. Bear with the gifted sub to fear the Reaper. Thank you so much. Bear. <laughs> How are your cats? How are your cats? Thank you so much for the 16 months of continual support. Reaper, I don't know where all of this generosity is coming from, but I just appreciate it so much. And thank you. This is what Sovereign did to Saren. Is this what's happening? You don't realize it's happening. Reaper just wanted you to pause the game. They went to the bathroom. <laughs> I think my favorite part is all of these. Suspicions on this. Reaper, thank you for another 10,000 bits. I'm being indoctrinated. I have located the fan controls. There are two, one on either side of the room. Uh, Alright, we gotta break through this. I'm being indoctrinated. That's like the most terrifying thing possible. We're considering doing Dragon Age series. Not directly after Kex, but um I would love to do I would love to do the Dragon Age series at some point. I really would. Rocker, by the way, hi. Reaper, thank you. In Incaptrinated? I just... Uh, gone for a nap. What am I doing? We need to do the sides of these. I need a different weapon or something. Or I'm just gonna go in. I'm just... I'm, I'm. Anyways, I just started blasting. All right, back up over here. Whoa! He's not happy about this. All right, get behind into here. Mm. Hold the line. Anyways, I just started blasting. That like, um, unfortunately, not for not like anytime soon. I don't have any immediate plans. Um, I just kind of like I try to set expectations as well. I very rarely will play games right when they come out to begin with because I do. I know it's been a couple weeks, so I know anybody who wants to play it has already started playing it. But um, I also just am not in the business of pausing a game to switch to it. And the rest of our year is kind of planned out. I think the only one that I'm consider I don't, I don't know how. The only one I'm considering, like maybe adding in, is just I. Part of me wants to just try Starfield. I know it's gonna be a mess when it comes out, but part of me just wants to try it. Like, I'm so in this age of space right now, and there's nothing more appealing than Starfield to me. I don't know. My shields are down. Oh, oh, fiddlesticks. Um, charge him, just charge him, just charge him. Do this, do this. Run! 
Run to the side. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are talking about it. And you're just like, I know I'm gonna get FOMO for it. I'm going to get, it smells like barbecue. I'm gonna get FOMO for it. Uh, but I will tell you that before I wouldn't have even thought about playing Baldur's Gate. And now I actually am considering it in the future. It looks like something. I'm also actively trying to get into D&D to begin with, so. Brenta needs more battle tones. <laughs> You took a week off for it, legendary? That's what you like to hear. The staycation, I love it. All right, so we need to do the West Fan next. One down, one to go. Let's go. Reaper's been real quiet since Shepard learned charge. <laughs> the charge is fearful, okay. Fearsome. Let's see. I've never played Death Stranding and I have not yet. That's how that guy's like, don't, don't worry. We, uh have games for years. I don't intend to go anywhere. Take this out. I hate this weapon so much. Have you enjoyed it? I'm assuming you've played it, Gats. No, I didn't. One more. Great, what's going on with your internet lately? Didn't you just move? Is it the new place? Or was that when you... <laughs> The Reapers were quiet since we boiled Sovereign as the space squid. I'd hardly say that Reapers are quiet today. Mm. On target. Yeah. I'm gonna chime in. Baldur's Gate will consume you. I wasn't planning on playing it, but I did get FOMO. Great. Great. With five gifted subs to the channel and community. Also, Mako, thank you. Mako Chini. Thank you for the follow and welcome in. You got consumed in it? I Wait, I haven't seen it. Hold on, I'm just gonna scroll back for a second. I didn't see Ollie Trips, but speaking a little bit. Mm, that's, okay, so another big reason why I haven't taken on something like Baldur's Gate or I'm trying to think, like Diablo, those kind of games is, even though there's endless content and there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of grinding to it, I'm not opposed to the grinding or anything. I just, um, I really do like to finish any games that I've started. Like, it's killing me that I even started Banjo Tooie and I still have left that untouched. And, um. No shield! I just don't know how I would feel. Like, I would basically get consumed by it because I'd have to finish it, you know? Okay. Great. Thank you so much for the five gifted subs. And Laszlo. La I'm rewatching what we do in the shadows, and now I just think of Laszlo whenever you say, whenever your name pops up. Laszlo, thank you. It's not grinding. You can't compare to a game like Diablo. It's completely different. Um, well, I'm comparing it in the sense that they're both massive games with both tons of content. But yeah, I guess I don't know for a fact that they're grinding or not. But I put them in the same category because they're two games that I've never thought of playing. I'll put them down. And they're both extensively long. It's not as linear as normal games that I play. Isn't it? Aren't they both CRPGs? Are they not? Baldur's Gate, Starfield, Dragon Age. I know, Nitz. I know. And Final Fantasy. Herman Munster, welcome back in. Hi. In my head, I uh, I do a lot of compartmentalizing, so I just like lump things together, which isn't a good thing, but it just happens. Both fans are up. That should be it. Died from falling down the stairs. <laughs> Diablo is an ARPG. Okay. Environmental systems engaged. Oh. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Fortune Lysons. retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you from me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. I guess you could miss For finding Daniel. there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. Pixel remaster? It's a pixel game? The early ones were pixels. Okay. Closing out this conversation. BG3 is really great. I've had a lot of people that um, have been around for a long time or like close friends that have also said I'd really like Baldur's Gate. Whereas I think not as many people thought I'd enjoy Diablo. So there is something that is alluring about Baldur's Gate to me. But I think with all of the things that are coming out and stuff, they're only one that I would consider trying, like just doing like a trial on would be Starfield, but I don't even know. There's lots of sex in Baldur's Gate 3 because that's what I'm... I mean, I can't say anything because I'm playing Mass Effect because that's what I look for in my games. <laughs> Laker, what's up? Welcome in. 
Yes, we met him. He's so amazing. I love him so much. He's my new favorite character. You can miss finding Daniel and he'd end up dead or something. He, yeah, I assumed he'd definitely end up dead. Six out of ten game, though. Diablo is more a looter or shooter. They're both top down. Baldur's Gate is hardcore RPG, story driven, character building, different endings. That's what it is. So, despite playing League of Legends for so long, you guys, top down view is not as. Um, I don't know. It just. I, it's so. I don't like it. I just don't like it. Something about it makes it feel like it's going to take a. I don't know. I don't know how to describe what top down does. Maybe it reminds me of the Aram Grimes, the Soul Walk. I don't know. You gotta try this. Mmm. I'm scared of heights. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just not my preferred thing, but I guess also, as far as next year, that would be something new to get me out of my comfort zone. You can zoom in. Did you say you can zoom into third person? You can zoom in BG3 and play it third person. You can? Does mo I feel like any time I popped into somebody streaming it, it's always top down. Can't really compare top down to something like Diablo or LOL, especially because the combat in the third one is different and turn-based. Yeah, maybe I'm seriously out of line with comparing it to any of those, but it just is being lumped in those categories, which is probably a disservice to it. So with that, I will definitely take this feedback and I will think about playing it next year. Um, because it always helps when you guys say that, especially for people that have seen a lot of the different content I've put out, they're like, no, you would enjoy it. I really do consider that heavily in my decisions missing daniel is only possible if you actively ignore exploring all the rooms and i got no respect for that kind of gameplay anyway xori is hi i didn't know you were here you're lurking in the shadows it's not true a third person just from over the head king goal well, zoomed in it's not a true third person okay i see what you're saying to be honest when you zoom in it i wouldn't call it third person it's just a little bit closer than the full top down DAO, Dragon Age Origin would be perfect, good transition. Maybe, and that's, I think I need some kind of transition between the two, you guys. I don't think I can go straight to it. London, thank you so much for the gifted sub to Herman. And wait, 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 wait. Lore, you are right. And I know it. And that's why I probably was holding off from energy drinks. The caramel apple Alani knew is about to come back in like a month. And I'm telling you right now, guys, I we'll be drinking one every single day and it's not healthy and it's not good and it's gonna like i'm gonna regress from all the progress i've made this month but i love caramel apples so much they're my favorite thing in the whole world ever since i discovered them last year texas shrimp with the risa for 30 months as well love seeing the channel grow nearly 10 times in the time that i've been here for 30 months that is so true as well i was texas. tempted for a minute Thank but in you. the end i figured they didn't deserve to die Just merciful of you risky would have killed them myself. Oh. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. You're a doctor. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Also go check out my person that I told you guys about. Please. Please. Save him. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. Good kid. Bit naive. He'll learn. <laughs> Cynical penguin, welcome in. Thank you for the follow and dark with the hydrate. Um, when you put it like that, then that means I probably would enjoy it thoroughly. It is true. Either or. Will you join me? That's a really nice way to, to close out Morden's story on this planet as well. It's not a planet, but whatever it is. Um on this station because then he can just leave it to Daniel. I like that too. I would feel kind of evil taking him. I feel like as the player, it'd be horrible to just take him from all the work that he could be doing here. They aren't getting nutrition and water. They need to help the kidneys. Don't forget our deal. We've cured the plague. Just ask him. Are you ready to help stop the collectors? Yes. I'm expected to be working with Cerberus. I feel Many like he's surprises. dry skin. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. <laughs> it was the inhale. He does that sometimes. He like takes a big whiff. FF16 or Mass Effect, which is better. Those are two wildly different things. Do not make me choose between the two. He would be a little bit older, isn't he? Simonia, yeah, he probably would be older. Stay. 
Should I stay or should I go? We're heading out. See you in the Normandy. Ah, he's old. He's an older Salarian. I guess he could moisturize a bit more, though. He probably didn't get into skincare until a little bit later, so it's been harder to kind of reverse the effects. Has to take a deep breath after saying 5,000 words in a minute. True. <laughs> yeah, we did get the hand cannon. It's been awesome. And now that we have them, we should be able to get other weapons as well. My blackout curtains are not doing their job right now. Mike, what's up? Welcome back in. Need to breathe sometimes between all those words. Or is he snorting something to keep up with that? 1,000 level earned 10. Recruited Dr. Morden Solis for the team. Examination of Omega Plague Cure confirms Dr. Solis's expertise. Can also work on Omega as a leverage against Aria if necessary. Also so true. I didn't even think about how she'd probably resurface later. And Darth. Mm hmm To help him with his slow and <laughs> to help him being slow. Because <laughs> he speaks so slowly. All right, I think we got to see the Carnifex hand cannon in action firsthand, so I don't feel like we have to read this. It's the Brookie Dust. <laughs> yeah, if that's how he is normally, just imagine, yeah, the kinetic pulsar. Use the research computer in the Normandy's lab to build this upgrade. Weapon upgrade, squad bonus plus 10% assault rifle damage. Look, do we love assault rifles? No, but do we have them on our team, so do we might as well do the upgrade? Yes. This upgrade strengthens a weapon's mass effect field generator, increases the velocity of each slug fired. Also med gel capacity. All modern combat armor incorporates a first aid interface. Microprocessors in the interface monitor vital functions and release small localized doses of med gel to accelerate the healing process. And now this means that we have one increase. So love that. 44,000 credits and 500 Element zero, and I need to probe some worlds so we can max our element zero. We unlocked the professor. Welcome to the Normandy, professor. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. I guess I probably should have stayed and then sent somebody to help. I should have helped that Batarian, shouldn't I? Maybe that was what I needed to do. I needed to go back. I didn't think about that. Legendary, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. I don't know if we helped him out in the end or not. I guess I probably missed that opportunity. Dang. I didn't think about it like that. Make me think of the Departed movie. You got ship of grades. I know. I feel like... Yeah, I think he probably... Well, the vent... Would the vents have not have cured him? He might have already been dead before the vents triggered. Mm, would I find out at any other point? If I asked for a floppy pickle, would I have found out? This is what you get for not exploring. I was, I explored Normandy. <laughs> Various companions will offer certain upgrades for Normandy when you talk to them. Yes, yes, I found that out. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm talking like Morden. Everyone hates Batarians. No loss. No big loss. It's where he says it. It's how he, it's like whenever, like I always get made fun of when I say like two words, like North Face or Flip Flops. Like something about the second wave, the second word, like the emphasis on it. Anna was telling me that too. Uh, it might be in the quest log. Or also, it might tell me in... I might get an email from him. Ah, he does not look, the Batarian does not seem like the type to send an email to thank me. I'm asking you a question, but I'm not. But let's finish this conversation and then we'll find out. Generally makes them happy. So confirming that humans are indeed not trustworthy. <laughs> Was probably comforting for him in his final moments. <gasps> to prove him wrong in the very end. Oh no, because I would have, yeah. I proved him right. Yeah, it's something I don't know how to describe it. You have to like listen when I normally would say it. Like not when I'm trying to say it for the case of that. Master Da Vinci, welcome back in. Wait, where'd you go on vacation? All right, you know the illicit man. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now, still hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Service hasn't changed. Human colonies are vanishing. Services are human colonies are vanishing. Don't kid yourself, <laughs> Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes, but this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. 
Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. So true. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Oh, Solis. that's going to be a if fun combination. Lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? Him and no. Choco? Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? Uh, the ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. Oh. The collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. He's so cute! I love him! <laughs> It's so funny what characters I feel like are just like cute versus characters that I like. I it's so I don't know how to describe it. It's like I think it's infectious people. Just you just like want to you get like cute aggression. It's like come here, you're so cute. You're so fluffy. Um Alright, so we got a bunch of research. He's so cute. <laughs> He's kinda like a hairless cat. <laughs> so one of the naked cats. Is that what it is? <laughs> it's the squeeze. I know. I think also it's fascinating just why. I think that's why I go so quiet when he's talking because he is quick to the point. He also doesn't waste words. Like while he talks a lot, all of them are intentional. Like none of them are, unless he goes on one of my moments where I like use Paragon or Renegade against him. He's just, but they're still not wasted words. It's just him thinking out loud. I would, a uh, Morden plushie. Oh my, I think he is my favorite. Wait. Why can I not? There we go. Yeah. The munchkin sphinxes. I haven't seen a munchkin sphinx. You just want to squish more, didn't you? You're so squishy, but <laughs> loyal freak. What's up? Welcome back in. I also saw Flu. Flu was here. I'm sorry if I missed anybody else. Oh, I see Kelly. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> squish is the only character when you see Brucalizer. <laughs> Brucey. The squish. XVS, what's up? Welcome back in. Happy Sunday. And Fortes, Fort, welcome back in. I think I've only played this when it came out originally, so it's such a joy to watch you experience it for the first time. <laughs> I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it, too. Yeah. I keep the warden voice actor was paid by the word. I hope, yeah. For, I wonder what else he's been in. Obviously, he wouldn't have the similar voice, but I want to look up what else he's done. Boomerman, thanks for the hydrate. Mmm. It is. I'm like in my golden retriever. I have like a golden retriever mode. <laughs> Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. What just happened to his mouth? Can somebody clip that? Did you guys see that? What just happened to his mouth? He also liked Kratos for not wasting words. That's so true. He does speak way less. Do you always see that? I wonder how many takes the VA made to get the lines right. I bet a lot. Mm-hmm. Everyone should touch a hairless cat at least once in their life. It's weird. Play on board. <laughs> I have not touched a hairless cat, but I will add that to my list of things to do before I die. Factor, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I don't know what just happened to his mouth. I wonder who's the main game protagonist? Or is there a silent one? Oh, the silent one speaks the least. Hmm. I do have a, for whatever reason, I really do like characters that say very little, but speak volumes when they do. Answer the man. Do you want to get friendly? <laughs> Ernie with the 400 bits. Also, Factor, you just followed. Factor, thank you so much for the prime sub. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel and community. Thank you for the support. And I hope you enjoy the emotes as well. Mm. I did not trust that mouth. You don't want to be friends? I just want to show an interest in the crew. Let me know if I go too far. Yeah, that was a bit tight. Sorry. Cerberus makes everyone suspicious. 
It's how people stay alive. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay. Guys, I'm not fraternizing with him, okay? I have my eyes set on somebody else. Any family? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. Catalina's face. So you're single. You and Miranda have history? No Mrs. Taylor waiting in port, Jacob? I'm surprised. Don't be. Easier that way. Cerberus keeps you mobile. Aside from guarding you for two years. Not the worst job I've had, that's for sure. Where are you going with this? <laughs> that was so bold. I know you and Miranda work together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. Oh. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Excuse me? All right, we're, nope, nope. Red flags, red flags on the field. I'm out, just seeing if you're free. You're right, let's drop it. Consider it dropped. I trust you to keep everything professional, Jacob. Thanks. That always bugged me about the Alliance. They didn't let people handle their own problems. Cerberus isn't any better. They just put more effort into hiding how much they spy on you. Well, I'll tell you what, Alliance oh, didn't seem to mind fraternization either. <laughs> we'll give them a show. I'll have something to see by the time we're done. Mm, the no neck doubt. check. <laughs> right in the middle of whatever goes down. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. I don't know. He's hot and he's cold and I don't know what's going on. I'm not seeing the clear signs here. I feel like I move two inches forward and then five back. Better be romancing Grunt. <laughs> it's a red flag. He doesn't want to talk about it. No, it'd be a red flag if he talked about it so quickly, but I asked the question. So I feel like it'd be different, right? If it was like unsolicited and he was just like, yeah, so anyway, Miranda and I hooked up the other day. I would be like, uh, red flag. But the fact that I asked him and he was like, that's none of your business. I'm like, okay, well, I'm out. I'm out. Don't do it. I heard he's bad. <laughs> I heard he's bad in bed. <laughs> Who needs Jacob when you have Morden? Morden! <laughs> as much as I love Morden, and I have so much respect for Morden, I can't believe we're gonna have this conversation. Gren is like two weeks old. Gren is like two weeks old. That's not just... Maddie, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. I Yeah, uh, I imagine the pillow talk with Morden. I feel so cold using the computer. <laughs> Michael Beattie, who's voicing and wait, supporting in background bowls and animation like the Lorex and Despicable Me. Inspiration for Morton's face was Clint Eastwood. Wait, what? I don't really look at Morton and think Clint Eastwood, but uh, maybe I'm off on that one. Can you blame him? It's Miranda. Yeah, well, that's the other red flag is that he had a thing with Miranda. I like, well, then maybe him and I would have something in common. Maybe. That could open up. Never mind. I'm not going to waste any HR complaint here. Mm hmm. You're out if you don't. <laughs> you're out if you don't hear the salacious details. <laughs> no, I just something about Jacob. I feel like it's just not. Uh, they're pushing it too hard almost. I feel like we're super quickly going into the narrative and I actually just want to get to know him. We already know that Morden is quick. With okay, not finishing that part. Morden is an old man. Maybe Shepard's also not like a spring chicken. All right, Shepard has some years under her belt. Maybe she likes an older man. What's wrong with that? Okay. Johan, <laughs> thank you for the follow and welcome in. And Anon with the gifted sub to Dragoon. <sighs> it's really about the cook. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Jacob so, is passive Bradley, aggressive. How are you going to spend your next furlough? You really think we'll have another shore leave? Of course. Shepard's forming the best team this galaxy has ever seen. Aww. Look at the kicks in the ass. I'm sure you're right, Matthews. Wait, they're so sweet. They're also sucking up because they totally saw me out of the corner of their eye. Are you kidding me? There's no way he's actually just saying that. Nope, we are not bringing up... Nope, we're not bringing up that aspect of Morden. Axe, welcome back in. Hey, Nan, thank you for the gift of sub to Axe, by the way. 
Contemplating. Oh. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh. All right, let's go collect another person. Guys, stop thinking of romancing teammates and think about the new teammates that we could romance. All right, let's see. Unread, healing of your facial scars. What? Commander, I've done further investigation regarding your facial scarring and the old adage of mind over matter holds true. Negative attitudes and aggressive actions create adverse reactions with your cybernetic implants. <gasps> While peaceful thoughts and compassionate actions promote healing. If you maintain a positive outlook, I believe your facial scarring will heal on its own. Otherwise, there is surgical equipment we could use to insulate your cybernetic implants and accelerate your healing regardless of your mental outlook. I've updated plans for the new medical equipment in your research terminal. Wait, I'm assuming that it would be Paragon and Renegade options. It's like Fable. I felt like my scars were healing. I don't know if I'd have enough. Yes, I feel like they've healed a little bit. That's so cool. It's giving me, yeah, it's giving me like the Fable horns versus the glowing blue skin. Positive thoughts, me, never. This was inspired by, inspired, inspired, inspired by Knights of the Old Republic, yes. Yeah, I didn't realize that it would impact your choices, though. Knights was backup guy. Thanks for the fall. <laughs> Welcome in. Need to moisturize more. Also, sir, sir, why am I? I'm mixing up all my words. Sir Shucky, thank you so much for continuing your gift to sub from Sweezes. Oh, dude, is Sweezes here right now? I don't know if they are. All right, we got our team. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what do you mean he doesn't have it? I can't put him up in the RGB. Come on, why did these characters not have cool new outfits? Morden, yes. He just is like, so cute. You know what? I feel like I can see Clint Eastwood in it. I feel like, is it the eyes? Is it the bridge of the nose? I don't know, but I feel like I see it now. So sexual healing. Every time I think of sexual healing, I just think about Left 4 Dead's mod where you can have it play <laughs> sexual healing. Every time you heal your teammates, the mods in Left 4 Dead are some of my absolute favorites. All right, we talked to Jacob. Um, It's the cracked skin. Are you talking about Morden looking like Clint Eastwood? Yes, that's what this, somebody said. No messages for you, Commander. Or Elder, was it you that said that? All right, Kelly said no messages. Mmm, I smooth. Welcome back in. All right, let's go talk to. Oh, let's go talk to Miranda. We haven't talked to her in a while. Zed has more in common with Clint Eastwood, but the face—it's something about the face. I don't disagree with it. Why is everyone crowded around Miranda and this guy's off on his own? Dad, dad, dad. Miranda, Commander, what can I do for you? She's gonna reject me again. Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. <sighs> That's why I want her. I'll let you work. It's... Of course, Commander. She doesn't want me back. It's it's a tale as old as time. Rat dog. <laughs> Rat dog, thank you so much for the two gifted subs to the channel and community. I see Nexus and Garden Beast, guys. I hope you'll enjoy the sub and the emotes. Rat dog, hi. Want you back. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Hey, man, Miranda. Talk to you later. I'll be man. here if you need me. The people that, the one, the person. <laughs> Maybe that's why I didn't like Jacob, was it? It was just too easy. I'm seeking the toxic relationship. <laughs> ah! It's because I don't, I didn't want to do romance runs to begin with. So then the only ones that we're going to do are going to be. Access to the AI core is restricted. I thought he was going to go to this lab. He's not going to this lab. He's going to a different lab. To the lab. I must be on a different floor. I see HR violations coming in. Mm-hmm. Morden is on combat information center. I didn't realize that. Oh, let's go see my two favorite people. I definitely went for the toxic relationship. <laughs> the intrusive thoughts are coming out. <laughs> Did you hear that we are sharing our deck with a Krogan? Oh. Well, ain't that peachy. That's it? 
No daddy bags? What can we do for you, Commander? Carry on. Will do, Commander. <laughs> Will do? Uh, we need to go see the Krogan. Grunt. Like a moth to the flare. Port cargo. Here we go. Simply Dave, it's been a bad couple days, okay? It's been a rough. <laughs> Have Shepherd. you seen the teammates that I've had? Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo. Then focus on engines. Shepard. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. Any other human imprints? You have no reaction. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarians, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. He's making jokes now. It's awesome. Aw, oh, he's coming so far. He's coming along so well. Garrus will never be a specter, but he could be. <laughs> Not one of my proudest moments, but I will say, um, not wrong. Not wrong either. <laughs> it wasn't right, but it wasn't wrong. It wasn't so. <laughs> you have no reaction. Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I'm a proud mom. Suffering the dead, and I think weak. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching. When he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. I can do what I need to. So you started small, but you became what you are. Not everyone gets that chance. I'm mm. built for strength, but didn't earn it. I just am. Those dead were strong enough to try, even if they lost. The perfect Krogan, ignoring what made me. No strength in that. I'll take another look at what happened to the Krogan. Find a reason to care about it. Oh. I have a feeling I'm really gonna like Grunt's story. Three, three, thank you so much for seven months. Where have you been? I hope you're doing well as well. Thank you so much. Hi. Um, Gren has some really good, yeah. I, he's the one that had said I'm not perfect, but at least I have a purpose. I butchered that bit. So good. Or he was like, I'll never be perfect, but I do have a purpose. Universal Conscious, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Guys, I gotta change my outfit. I'm not liking it. And then we're gonna head on for the next person. We got lots of people to collect. Bronx, thank you for the follow and welcome in as well. Oh, do I have new armors yet? <gasps> I did, I got the Terminus armor set. Tell me that's not so, well, I'm not gonna lie, I like the carbon fiber. I just don't like these little circles on the back. Like not even in, I'm really trying not to be in like an HR way. I don't understand the purpose of them. You know? There's like no part of me that understands. The helmet's sick. I do prefer this armor because of that line and the N7. Brog, seriously welcome in. And I'm glad to see that you're enjoying. Um, and I hope you continue to. Yeah, first time playing them. Uh, I know that you guys might have some tips or tricks, but right now I think I'm still sticking with no support. I do have a different chest plate. They're padding? I guess, I guess they could be padding in case I'm getting knocked on my butt. You shouldn't just collect them. People are not cards. They're not Pokemon. If you knock, if you know, yeah, I guess if you're getting knocked on your butt. Extra padding. I kind of like this though. Increases storm speed by 10%, increases shields by 15, increases all weapon. Yeah.
You like the default N7 colors? Oh, I love black, white, and red is such a sleek color combination. Are you kidding me? Absolutely. But I want to change. No, I don't have the Dragon Age armor yet. I don't think. No. I haven't run into it yet. I don't like any of these. I don't like that one. I don't. This one's hurt. I guess this is the best we're going to do. The casual clothes. Mini jetpacks on the butt would be better. <laughs> All right, let's go see who we're going to get next, you guys. Mm. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub. And Dr. Kimpino, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around and have a lovely start to your week. Um, I will be on normal Monday schedule and then the schedule will go up in the Discord and will be reflected on Twitch after today's stream. Uh, but to, this week is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Yeah. I gotta go find Morden. Yeah, I'm just gonna peep who we're gonna get next, though. The convict, the council. I do wanna do that. The master thief. I wanna go get the master thief. The price of revenge. Let's do master thief. Convict? Jack. Wait. No, let's do Jack. Let's do the convict. To purgatory. No last name known. Exceptional biotic ability. Criminal background currently in custody. Jack is rumored to be the most powerful human biotic ever encountered. Very little additional data regarding Jack is available, except that the subject has a history of violence and should be approached carefully. Currently, Jack is being held on the Turian prison ship Purgatory. That should be an easy quest too, if they're being held in a ship. I have not been to the Citadel yet, no. Like I said, I've actually been going straight into the main quest stuff pretty quickly, opposite to what I did before. I don't like the default dark gray on the N7 armor, so I changed it to actual black. I haven't found out how to change the colors yet, Django. Hmm. Violence? Jack's gonna fit right in. So he is somewhere on here, let me find him. Yes, you didn't want things to be perfect, you hated the things they were. No, that's not the one, no, that's not it. That's not it. It was, no, it was one that talked about, but at least he has a purpose or something. All right, here's his lab. Morden, a baby. Shepard, how can I help? Investigate. Upgrades. Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Yes. Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Okay. Armor upgrades. Okay. Ship enhancements, prototypes. Weapon upgrades? Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh. Microfiber weave for Krogan vitality. This is not expensive at all. Well. Oh yeah, this is all like, we just have to probe planets to be able to afford this stuff. Yes. Is making Shep pay not cool, dude. <laughs> um. All characters, missions, and stories are optional, but makes you feel like it's a main story because it's so well done. Oh, yeah. I guess you maybe don't even have to collect more people, probably. Like, Cerberus Assault Armor? Cerberus Assault Armor is designed for shock troops who are expected to turn the tide of battle against creatures or forces that would dec decimate normal soldiers. The troops demanded three things in design shields, an armor thick enough to last against a superior foe, and a rechargeable pack to extend a heavy weapon power cell. The only drawback of the armor is that it's weight, which troops call carry as a point of pride. They have a saying, out of shape going in, in shape coming out. <laughs> it does look like it'd be kind of heavy. Um, an excuse to do more probing? Absolutely. I'm going to get all these upgrades. Increases heavy weapon ammo and then increases shields. I'm going to 5,000 palladium. Palladium is pretty easy to come by, I think. It's so hot out and it looks like... <laughs> do you... I Oh, not land. We talked about this. So you don't have aircon. You haven't found out how to change the color armors? I see. Yeah. I won't fall for that bait, but it's definitely not rocket science. Oh, well, I appreciate that. Um, I've been too busy looking at other things, apparently. But definitely is no one's favorite in the trilogy. This one is your favorite? The Cerberus armor? I feel like it'd be really... I have to see it on female Shep, because the model's only on male Shep right now. And Corbs. Happy one year. Thank you for being here. I know I only lurk most of the times, but being here and is just the best. Corbs, thank you so much for an entire stinking year. 
Oh, what were we doing a year ago? God of War, right? Was it God of War Corpse? Thank you regardless for a year of continual support. And I'm just so glad to see that you still find comfort here and happiness. So thank you. Wasn't that the crap Tony Stark hired to add on his chest? Rhodey, welcome back in. I'm gonna buy it. Research it. Unlocked scientist. Shepard, how can I help? And then upgrades. Any ideas and then we'll have a conversation with for the collectors. Workers are ideas. the best. Yes, expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Mm. I feel like um, more lurkers is like a sign that it's just like comfy and cozy here. You know what I mean? Like lurkers are the the backbone. Uh, prototypes. There's more prototypes, but weapon. Oh, oh no, but I don't have a sniper. But assault damage. Iridium. We'll do it. Research it. I will say that there's one thing I really don't like, and it's that it kicks you out of the menu every single Shepard, time. How can I help? Lurky turkeys, childish panda, what's up? Welcome back in. I have window units, but it's still 82. Oh, my heart. Does it ever get super cold Any where you're at? ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. There might be a way to not have it back out or something. It just means we can talk to him more. Childish, I saw. Or maybe you're just scary and people are afraid to talk. You know, when you put it like that, probably true. Mm. We can't do that yet. We're needing more for that. Hey, I think it was God of War. I think it was. <laughs> Wait. What? Wait, is that not... What are you doing at... Wait. What you doing? What's this acronym? Bear. What is this acronym? Or is this not an acronym? Is this somebody's actual name? It is somebody's actual name. W... Wait, Bear? You... Not a troll sub? Such a feel-good stream. W... Thank you for the kind words, and I'm sorry I thought you were a <laughs> Where? W, thank you for the kind words. Bear with the gifted sub. Thank you. And here I was upset that it's 88 degrees outside right now. I feel like 60s is my favorite. 50s or 60s. Just putting words in chat. So technically not a lurker. Spear, just uh, throwing something in here to say that it's not just lurky turkeys. Spear, welcome in. Young, love the FF on YouTube. Keep up the good work. Young, thank you so much. Yeah, you guys, I think um, this week you guys will see the changes of the like play style and some things as well. So all the things you guys had recommended in the past couple episodes. It's heavy rain over here. Don't say heavy rain. People are going to start asking about the game, JP. Come on. The hurricane though, right? JP, isn't it? Guys, thank you for the kind words as well. Are you planning to do Starfield when it comes out? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still in the middle of this game. I don't know. All right, ship enhancements. About ship. Oh my, Whew. great balls of fire. All right, dermal regeneration. I feel like I need to take these as they come. So we can't afford it right now, but obviously it's nice to know what you can save up for. But for now, let's go to armor, tech damage. I think maybe that. Anon with the gifted sub to Sarah Tornin. Sarah, I haven't seen you in so long. Bear with the gifted sub to JP as well. JP, it's been great seeing you pop in more frequently as well. And thank you, Bear, with the gifted sub. Kansas, it's 110 there right now. I didn't know that it got so hot in Kansas. Kansas. Squad bonus. Element zero is hard to come by, though. I'm not sure if I want to spend that. That has to be a Is that like a work or a family trip, Major? That seems like an odd place to go. Heavy rain is V, as V. JP, I hope that you guys are safe. Seriously, hurricanes are no joke. I don't like the N7 hoodie. I do. I do. I just. I don't know why it feels too lax. I don't know. It it seems like the the boss that's trying to be too much of like one of the crew. It just comes across a whoa. The collector's main weapon uses the same principles as a human assault rifle, but its organic components clearly set it apart. Its power source seems to be an internal organ with biotic... Wow. Capacitance? Capacity, basically. Its ammunition resembles pellets of metallic enamel that strips shields off enemies. That sounds so cool. I don't know if it's... Wor oh. Oh. Collector armor? Ooh. Regeneration bonus? 
Why would we have collector armor though? There's no way I could actually put that on. Could I? Don't answer that. There's an HR feeling to this weapon. Nobody was thinking that crate, just you. Dangerously hot condition temps with heat index values. S screaming black flag. HR feeling. <laughs> All right, guys, let's see. Oh, Morty gets 20%. Oh, I should, I should. Yeah, let's take care of him. He's the one coming up with all of these prototypes anyway. Let's take care of Morden. It does look really cool, but something about it I don't like. I don't know, it doesn't feel like me. Probably because it's not. Probably because it's a collector. Morden gets plus 20% tech power. Morden built his own Omni tool and can make significant upgrades given the proper materials. Let's do it. There you go. Shepard, how can I help? Any ideas on other Sorry, ways? Sorry, I've done what I can. Focusing on studying collector tech oh. now. Wait, I was maxed out. Oh no. Dang, he told me he's too busy right now, basically. Is the lab working well for you? I didn't know. Quite satisfactory. It. Found a few surveillance bugs, destroyed most of them, returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples, mm. more collector data, Swashing tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Find new tech. Wait, Atachi, I didn't know that. I want to talk to you. Wait, I thought they were working on the Star Wars game. I know they're working on that one too. I didn't know there was another one with Subnautica vibes. Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Any word from your assistant? Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with Plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. Any word? Okay. Work in limited facilities. Special. Yeah, let's ask him about that. His dress and jeans and leather jacket. It's the best casual outfit. Oh, like jeans and a leather jacket would be sick, Phil. Exactly. And Giffy. I know you've been here for a while, but Stu Way, we don't talk about the choker. I wish it wasn't a part of this outfit, but it is. I can't do anything about it. Tell me more about the Solarian Special Tasks Group. Respected organization. Clandestine. Handles difficult assignments with limited oversight. Recon, analysis, occasional wet work. Identify problems, have neutralization options ready should need arise. Model for Council Spectres based on Special Tasks Group. Very similar. How so? Similar in what way? Solarians lack numbers, brute strength, military prowess, have to rely upon stealth, intelligence. Agents trusted, given wide operative freedom. Spectres similar. Given goal, told to accomplish. Mm. Better funded, of course. <laughs> Didn't have to buy our own weapons. I know, it's ridiculous. Trust me, Morden, it is ridiculous. I know. I know. Uh, let me ask more about it, maybe. But I think I want to do this one first. Complimenting the lab facilities, this might be Morden flirting. I was thinking that, actually. <laughs> now, what is Morden's flirting? What is his way of flirting? The sternoclavicle. Oh, I was not looking at her. That's really strange. What is going on there? <laughs> like her collarbones are not look. I don't know what's happening there. I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that you shared that tag. Oh, I can't unsee it now. I don't know what's happening. It's gaps. <laughs> Miranda did some shoddy work. Imagine that's the only thing they screwed up was my clavicle. <laughs> Server screwed up Shepard's reconstruction. Work in limited. It must have been frustrating working on Omega with such a limited facility. No, loved it. Limited facility presents challenge. Save oh. greatest number of people using limited resources. Security threats, gangs, mercenary groups add additional difficulty. Quite enjoyable. Plague stretched abilities to limit. Couldn't have asked for more. Also. Enjoy. Saving people, of course. Helping the helpless, greater good, all that too. Nice. Retirement after SDG work complete. Oh! That is- I love his mindset too. He's like, that presents more of a challenge. That's so cute. Um, yeah, we're gonna go change this right away, Bronx. You said you were in the special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert. High risk, served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. I met him. That makes so much sense. Actually, the song stuck in my head too, Ollie Germs. 
Karahi. I worked with an STG captain named Karahi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaca, though. Hold the uh, line! speeches. Hold the line. Hold Personally the line. prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Oh. <laughs> Reason for study is hold the light. I love it. Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan Rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as Rachni attacks. Mm -hmm. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. Prepared how? What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked, population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions, needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon, nothing to worry about. Hmm. He doesn't seem like he's talking nearly as fast though in this segment. Yeah, I made the uh, MO two streams ago, I think. Let's ask about the genophage. Morden reminds me of Sheldon from Big Bang Theory. But more endearing and less annoying. <laughs> yeah, my, actually, side note, yeah, my scars are healed a little bit more. I'm noticing that I'm seeing less glowing underneath. My RGB isn't as intense. What can you tell me about the genophage? Bioweapon designed by Solarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Mm. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. I see. I met Carrie here. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for it. Yeah. Nice talk. I should get back to work. Need to study. So much data. Here if you need me. I think I skipped mine, but we did already get quite some things. Rubber duck, hi! How's it going? And singularity welcome back in. I now get it. I now get it. Mm. All right. I like that that interacts every time. So I'm pretty sure Shepherd, I'm just going to try one more. Yeah, no. But I do just want to talk about Have you him. got a minute to talk? Not at moment. Think oh. I've unlocked collector interest in humans. Wait, no. Only Never one mind. Heart. Krogan have two. Scratch that. Anything else? Okay, I'll bye. Let you work. <laughs> we'll be here if you need me. But this is good. We have another mission that we're going on and whoa, whoa no, 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 no. Wait, research terminal. Never mind. I see. He just was exhausted by me doing it directly through him. But you can do everything over here. Nice. All right, let's see what else we want to get. I take it especially coming from a vocalist. Yeah. This is how I was supposed to research. Well, they gave me an option using him. Dern and my <laughs> blue train as well and Jime. Yeah, I'm... <sighs> Mm-hmm. Collector assault rifle. Microfusion array. Inferno armor. Built specially for Cerberus field officers. The Inferno armor has VI dedicated to recognizing signs of stress and medical trauma. This application helps assess soldiers, but can be useful in high risk situations. The Inferno's microframe computer also manages biotic amp and omni tool power. The micro service helps the wearer's movements to counteract the armor's weight. Holy cow, I love it. It's Iron Man. It is. It's giving insane Iron Man. Oh my, enjoying Mass Effect 2 so much, Rubber Duck. And it's so good to see you. That was so cool. Uh, character gives you options for his upgrades. The character gives you options for his upgrades. So that's why I was like, I, that's why I saw his stuff and not my own. So if I go into it, I think the outfit that I just bought was for him. Yeah, not this one, but this one's for me. The more upgrades you buy, the more probing has to be done. Oh, and we're gonna get every single update or upgrade. Don't you worry. Don't worry. Ship enhancements. I still can't do any of them. So I'm gonna hold off on that. Weapon is just a sniper rifle, but I don't think the person that I'm taking has a sniper, unless I'm taking Garrus. Mm. Yeah, we got Morden. Eat armor upgrades. I would say we should do both of the armor upgrades. Yeah, it's just requiring platinum. 
collector armor looks like the Witcher Netflix Nilf Guardian armor. The collector armor. Hold on. Prototypes. Really? I'm not seeing this one, but I. <laughs> but it's been a while since I've seen the Nilf Guardian. Gwent? Shall we Gwent it? The question is, will you research the prawns? <laughs> Poor lady. Oh no, Zavatron, welcome back in. The prawns. We're probing every single planet in the galaxy. Well, naturally, what did I do last time? You know? Shotgun, Krogan. Microfusion. I guess I would say that we should go with armor upgrades. Always stuck, and it's so great to have you here. Why do I keep hearing MILF Guardian? <laughs> Because I used to say that. They had the Dragon Age armor. I think it's DLC though. Yeah, you guys have brought this up a few times. I just don't think we've had access to it yet. I'm assuming we might need to do a quest to get it or at some point along the line, like we'll find it. I'm sure, maybe it's just not available right away. Measuring the percentage growth of these HR complaints. <laughs> DC, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you for hanging around and I hope I see you tomorrow um, and have a great day at work. I know I'm, yeah, just thank you. It should be unlocked from the start. We'll see what happens. Krogan Vitality. Squad member upgrade. All Krogan squad members get plus 25% health. A scientist named Okir designed a retrovirus that matches the Krogan genetic code. Modifying the gene sequence of the virus and injecting a small amount into the Krogan can introduce a change in the genetic code. Let's do it. Get the 2500 for microfiber and prototype it. What? Reaper. Reaper with another 10,000 bits. I don't know what I've done to have this generosity from you, and I just can't thank you enough. The Reapers are up to something. You're trying to break me single-handedly. Holy cow. Reaper, thank you. What is Reaper up to? Is everybody suspicious of this? I just, yeah incredibly generous <laughs> they needed me to pause the game to go to the bathroom reaper thank you for another ten thousand bits and just everything to me to uh, all the creators you've supported especially since we're playing at me I just, this is actually a perfect time for me to just run to the bathroom real quick and also just get water it's a bad it's a lot of bathroom breaks <laughs> Right, yeah. Ra Reaper, thank you. Jason, Reaper is either, <laughs> or, all right, I just, I need like a second, you guys. Today has been unreal. Ryan, thank you for the Hydra. Okay, I'm, and also, I don't know what's going on right here. I'm, my, I need new blackout curtains. Check for fleas. Yeah, the resources are mandatory because upgrades page must be empty. OCD is too strong. That's kind of where I was going with all of this, Weema. He's going to harvest us all as she reaches the final of Emmy. <laughs> I need a bathroom. It's the now the bathroom command is, is a Reaper. The power with that, no. Reaper, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I will be right back, though, because I do need to run the bathroom. I got to grab some more water. Um, Thank you. Just thank you. Okay, I know I'm gonna need a plan. Hold on. All right, you guys. I'm sorry to say I tried to get Ginger, but she says that you guys won't get to see her until her birthday. That's the only day she's gonna come on stream today. I'm sorry. I tried. Ow, I feel like my head is already starting to hurt. A l level five, you guys. Bear. Great. Everything but, uh, 
and demon souls. Everything but that and demon souls. She'll never notice as you guys have started a hype train. Fair. Great. Great, you said you were gonna stop. Da Vinci, London, Erty. The terror, what was it? The Magnificent Seven, is that what you guys had said? You guys, Bear with the Gifted Sub to act natural, Ernie with the Gifted Sub to pretty chair. That just makes me think of pretty bird, pretty bird. Ransom, thank you for 11 months as well. Derek with the posture check as I'm getting comfy and cozy. You guys, Twitch snitched. You guys snitch, you do. <sighs> okay, if Bear gifts the sub to don't, <laughs> nobody did anything, what was it, act natural? I think I'm not gonna see it. We appreciate the try. <laughs> London. Was this all started from Reaper, though? Was this real? Does the hype train started from Reaper? Ransom, thank you so much. Our bird's heads are falling. Guys, thank you for all of the gifted subs. And if you have gotten one, also, is that me that's causing it to sound like this, or is this happening in the prototypes? Like the kind of like sound that's going on. London, hype train must be another Twitch bug. London, thank you so much. It's the game. It isn't me. Although I feel like I just stopped hearing it. I've been robbed by a lady. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Candidate, sorry, what? Singularity. It's is Pretty Bird from I've never seen Dub and Dumber. I don't know where I got that. There's I think there's a couple things where the bird's like Pretty Bird, Pretty Bird. All right. I feel like I'm just gonna do these so that we have them, but I do want to make sure we're reading. Let me go ahead and get the sniper upgrade for our boy, performer. I don't know what it is, but there is something about your streams that keep me coming back. It's probably because you're so nice with a big heart and you respond to chat and a lot of streamers don't do that. <laughs> performer, thank you for seven months and it's tier three the whole time as well and the kind words. And of course, like, I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you guys. I will always try my hardest to respond to you guys. Performer, thank you so much. It's Dumb and Dumber. I've never seen it. We have to watch it. I've never seen it. Guys, thank you for another hype train and all of the, all of the support. Performer. All right, increases damage by 10%. You guys are going to relax, all right? We've got lots to do today. It's like every time. <laughs> it's like you guys know how to derail the stream. Um, Dumb and Dumber's from your childhood. I don't know why I've never seen it. It's Jim Carrey. See, I haven't seen a lot of Jim Carrey stuff. I think my parents didn't show me a lot of Jim Carrey. Like I never saw, what's the detective one? Or The Mask, I've never seen The Mask. Yeah, you gotta watch it, Lewis. <laughs> Another movie night. We need a Jim Carrey month. Increases damage by Plus 10% improved sniper rifle for your entire squad. Squad? Um, just, yeah. I hope some people that are that are in chat currently got gifted a sub, by the way. Split, Ace Ventura, that's what it is. Yep, never. I know, Lahore, liar, liar, I've been seen. The only one I've seen. I think part of it too is that when I was a kid, I watched the series of unfortunate events with him and it terrified me and so I didn't I just was like scared of Jim Carrey I was terrifying as a child Bruce Almighty mm -mm. child's play I'm not the biggest fan because I feel like it seems silly that it's like a it's a doll but I really liked the re uh the reboot the tv series reboot that they just did was actually pretty cool yeah all right, so we got the sniper rifle. Now we have sniper rifle upgrades from, okay, hold on. Hold on. Oh, I was like, am I getting canceled out of this? Jim is so funny. I just haven't seen a lot. I, I saw him in like his terrifying role as a child. Comedies are not really for kids. His serious stuff, yes. Oh, the Grinch. He's terrifying as the Grinch to me as well. Tio, how are y'all doing? I also vote yes on a Jim Carrey-thon. <laughs> I just don't know what it is. I think, well, also my parents didn't show me a lot of like films growing up. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of stuff that I wasn't allowed to see that I felt like all my friends got to see growing up. Ace Ventura, I think, is fine. Isn't that a kid-friendly one? Maybe not. 
Maybe not. Wait, wait, does the impressions Jim Carrey can do famous actors? He does a Clint Eastwood one. He was funny in... No, wait. I feel like I've seen him in one other thing. What have I seen him in? Wasn't he Ventura? I guess I've only really seen him in Grinch. I thought he did a pretty good job as Grinch. I just don't like it. I didn't like the live action. That was like the only thing. Guys, y'all are derailing this. What are we talking about games now? Ah, Nick Buzzin. We're talking about movies. So if you haven't seen D and D, then why did you get? Where did you get Pretty Bird from? Pretty Bird. Pretty Bird. Maybe somebody else makes fun of it. Artie, thank you for the four hundred bits. No, no. I. I. It's on like the. I don't know if it was like at a pet store that had a bird, where it did that back to me. I don't know. That had to have been a cartoon or something. He was getting Bruce Almighty. Okay, I'm not. We're getting back into this. The Chucky dolls when I was a kid scared the crap out of me after the movie dropped. I feel like it's the same way that like Jaws, when people saw it, it was super jarring. Or I mean, I would still say that The Shining's terrifying to this day, but I know for my mom, that was her. She saw that and she saw Jaws and then she like never watched anything else scary again. Those two specifically. All right. So let's go ahead and do the heavy weapon ammo, which is plus 15% heavy weapon ammo capacity. Power cell technology used by the heavy weapons is fairly old, but can be improved by rebuilding the core with more modern components. These improvements allow standard power cells to yield more shot per power cell and allow for more total shots to be fired. Nice. Crayol, thank you for the follow and welcome in. Here's Johnny. I saw The Shining. I didn't think it was. It, it's. I don't do well with psychological stuff, and also the fact that it was their father. You know, like it was a father. Sue run. No, we're getting derailed. <laughs> if you were using a jetpack, of course. Ship enhancements. I still can't get, but I do want to get the thermal regeneration. I'm gonna have to. I mean, I think it's standard. Oh, this is what I was gonna do. Med gel capacity increased by one. And then the other one too. London, thank you for the gift of the TO. You sold my dad bird to blink. Wait, I, wait, so, well, oh, is that the quote from it? Hannibal? Mmm. One that freaked me out was Saw. I can't watch Saw. It feels like I can't do gore porn. I just don't like anything that's overly gory. Pato. Pato, thank you for 11 months as well. All the lurky turkeys resubbing today. Thank you so much. I think you should really do a floppy pick on the ship enhancements. Mm. Not yet, just because I am going to, I haven't even read these and I'm gonna read it first. Not yet, but I will keep, take that into consideration. Yeah, but eventually. I think there's a lot of things that I'm not gonna realize even as I'm going along. Like it's just some things fall into the cracks while I'm playing and reading chat and talking and everything. Let's do the tech damage. Hold up. What is that? Unity heals your squad to full health. But I can't do that yet because I need this to be a higher level. Oh, I can I can up this again. Requires one more Medigel capacity upgrade to unlock it. For 5,000? Yeah, let's do it. And then that means that we go into armor upgrades and now we can do trauma mode emergency shielding i haven't even touched the surface when it comes to upgrades have i unity heals all of them that's gonna cost 15 platinum but i'm gonna probe so many planets let's go we're okay we're oh no i we're picking up the crew but we're also gonna probe and get all of our upgrades the ocd in me has to get rid of all of these this is gonna go down a dangerous yeah this is gonna be like oh no Squad bonus plus 10 tech power damage. Once tuned in this manner, the Omni tool is almost unusable by anywhere but the wearer. I am her upgrades. So to do this, it requires one more tech damage upgrade. Hmm. Just talked to Saren to death. <laughs> We're gonna do everything. Cost, hi, cost, welcome back in. I have a passing interest in Mass Effect, but it looks huge. Oh, I mean, I feel like for what you pay, you get so much content. And this was back in the early 2000s, holy cow. What was this, 40 bucks? Was it 60, was it still $60 for a new game back then? I don't remember. Was it 60, 50? Maybe it was 50. 
40? Did they? It was still 60 all the way back then? I was thinking 50, maybe. 40 doesn't sound right. It was 60 at launch. Still. Pick up and rat dog, please. All right, let's just go ahead and get these. No, because I, I have limited palladium. Palladium. Iridium? I'll buy this. Okay. 2180 shotgun or eviscerator is a human civilian design and has a unique ammunition generator where most modern firearms shave off chips or pellets from an ammunition block. The M22 shaves off serrated metal edges, wedges designed to fly aerodynamically. This dramatically improves its armor piercing capability and its tight groupings help wound ballistics. Um, wound ballistics at longer ranges than standard shotguns. This design also violates several intergalactic weapon treaties. So the M22 is not distributed by military. Okay. I guess let's get it. Let's do it. Consoles and games are 60. PC games were about 50. Oh, did, was it 50 more when PC first started out? Console games haven't been 50 since PS2 OG Xbox days. It's amazing. How much were games back when N64 happened? Because I wouldn't have been a part of buying any of them. Jsonic. Wait, Jason. Hey. 60? N64 was still 60? That's... It was always 60. No wonder my parents didn't let us have a lot. Tio, thank you for the follow, and I'm glad to see that you're enjoying the channel and community. Yeah. Blue Ranger, no, that does, that's not what I mean. With inflation, it's closer to 80 now. Uh, now it's finally gone up to 70, I think, on... But PC ones are still typically 60, right? R, thank you for 14 months as well. R, you guys, thank you for all the continual support. Gaming was kind of expensive. Yeah, I realize now why. Like, my parents only ever let us have one system for all three kids, and then, like, we would only get games at birthdays or Christmas. Like, we never got games just when they came out. It always had to be for a reason. 60 back then is almost 100 compared to the early yeah captain thick rod hi yes and also bacon sir bacon hi all right guys i think i want to go on another mission we will have more prototypes i might as well go ahead and deplete some of my resources oh the missile launcher rapid fire missile launcher with seeking projectiles effective against armor shields and uh, biotic barriers don't mind if i do okay so for these i need to one more sniper rifle damage upgrade to unlock okay so upgrading within my okay so i just want to test something so going to squad i have four points oh shoot i do want to put it into that though yeah your shockwaves power strengthens have become biotic freight train swatting aside everything in a long path recharge time six seconds number of shockwaves 12 impact radius 2.5 meters remember miles <laughs> impact force 700 newtons that's so nice. You unlocked full power. Unlimited power. My brother would buy the game so that 64s were free because you'd get the leftovers. Mario or Mega Man. So the times I was just... We still have our N64. It's actually really cool to like see all the old games and everything that we had. Med Here we go. Based on existing technology, the ML-77 is a rapid fire missile launcher using seeking projectiles. Each projectile features a friend or foe recognition system, ensuring it will find a hostile target mm. even if the user's aim is not completely accurate. The weapon excels at taking out snipers and other entrenched enemies in dense urban environments. This makes it popular with mercenary groups, particularly the Blue Suns mercenary That makes band. sense. Missile launchers have been appearing with increasing frequency in the Terminus system, but their point of manufacture is unknown. Oh. Legal duplication of missile launchers is difficult due to fabrication rights management, FRM, technology. FRM. Huh, so they're being distributed from somebody. I wonder who it would be. Um, trying to think what group would stand to, could it be from the collectors? No, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't seem like a collector thing. Perfect gun for you. <laughs> Jason, what's up? Welcome back here. Wait, Jason, you've been here. What am I saying? You've been here. All right, guys, we are doing the convict. So we need to go to purgatory. And then we're going to come back here for more upgrades later. We're going to probe a few planets on the way. And we have a new heavy weapon. 
so we're gonna mess around with that too. Yeah, I would say that the <laughs> perfect weapon. Mm, I think I gamed on Star Wars pod racing. I remember playing pod racing whenever we'd go up to see our cousins and we'd all do the pod racing. That was also where I heard chocolate rain for the first time. I just, oh, and oh, also old Greg, yeah. Great memories back then. Rain Man? Yeah, you just got here. <laughs> Shotguns. Alright, so anytime we need to see our upgrades, we can just go back here if I have, in fact, missed something. Healing on our facial scars, we already read, so I don't know why it's doing that again. Team status. Okay. He only has two different cycle. Kind of feel like going back to our normal. I don't know. Grunt was gonna stay. I think they're good for now. I think for us, we need to do something real quick. We need to go back up and get rid of the thing that's showing What's my clavicle. I don't like it. I hate it. I want it gone. Yes, we're gonna go get the convict. Oh, believe that sounds awesome. Have a good time at volleyball in the gym. That sounds amazing. I don't know. I'm so drawn towards the darker armor sets, it's not even funny. I just am not getting a lot of love from this. Remember old PC game of all time? No. <laughs> this is so cool. Guys, I have to go with the Terminus. I just, I love everything about this. I'm not a big fan of the helm on this. The cheeks. Yeah, I wish you could... Oh, I wonder. Oh, the only one that you can alter is this. I wish you could take bits and pieces. Also, wait, when did I... Oh, I did get the visor, didn't I? I wish you could combine them. I did get a new chest... Well, we've always had a new chest plate. I'm gonna go with this just for now. I don't know what it is. I'm not... I'm not loving it. Oh, and I didn't change my outfit. I'm still wearing the one that shows it to... Oh. Helmetless? I always go with helmetless, yeah. Always. Casual appearance has to go, you guys. I'm sorry, we're gonna go back to this one. Okay, we're gonna do it. I don't love it, but we're gonna do it. I feel too relaxed. I'm trying too hard to be part of the ship, part of the crew. Ice, what's up? Welcome back in. All right, so combative center to purgatory. Probe a few places on the way. And I think we have, how many, hold on, wait, let me pop back over here. Do we have six more people to add? Two more people. There's two more people we need to pick up and then I don't know how we'll find the other people. I started with an Atari, played OG Zelda, Metal Gear, yes, Final Fantasy. Wow. My kids are spoiled now. I <laughs> Having two PlayStations, Xbox, Switch, movies. Yes, private, they each have their own Xboxes. Well, you know, you want what's better. You know, you want your kids to do better than you, right? Isn't that it? You're just being a good, a good parent. Back in my day, we didn't have all these. <laughs> all right, let's get out of here, y'all. Skedaddle. Oh, okay, wait, no, I'm not gonna wait. Let's get a uh, refuel. Nice. We need to, but wait, what do you mean I can't buy more probes? Okay, I can, it just looked like it was X'd out. I always preferred to put my own armor together. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of what the solid set so far, but I can learn to deal with it for now. Sugar Bear, welcome back in, hi. Six more possible sources of HR. <laughs> uh, purgatory. I'm ignoring you guys. We need to go to the mass relay. Help, Zaid. I love that it shows you. That's the master thief. Recruit the convict. We're going to the hourglass nebula, y'all. Kids these days. All right, let's get this bad boy out. So we went to the Amada system. We are now in Osun. All right, so we're in Osun. I'm gonna put this down over here. Bear with me, you guys. I have to write everything down to make sure that we find everything. There are six more possible sources. <laughs> if they're gonna buy me stuff, I only want them to do better if they're gonna buy me stuff. <laughs> the purgatory is right here, but we're actually gonna go ahead and explore some of the planets that are in this system. So we've got this one. Mm. 
this is mixing up. Alokan. Alokan, or Sky Harvest, is a standard gas giant composed of hydrogen and helium. The spacefarers from Erlin er er gather helium-3 from here rather than Oranmilia, as the atmosphere is much more predictable. Start the scanner. Do it. I was so proud of this chat for not letting it slip that you could speed boost in the Mako. In the first one, that was impressive. I've never been more impressed with you guys for not spoiling something. Oh, I'm getting my... I'm picking up good vibrations. Oh, oh, right there. Launch it. Probe launched. My parents made sure I was an outdoors kid. Yes, no, 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 that makes, that's not aging you at all. I feel like a lot, my parents were like that too. Like we only got a certain amount of screen time and it was not a lot. It was like one League of Legends game, are you kidding me? I also feel like I got into more, like looking back on, I just feel like <laughs> we did some wild things back when I was younger. Mm, cool again. Palladium, palladium. And nice. Ken, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. Um. Oh, okay, we do need iridium. But that's not the strongest output I've ever seen. Bobby, Bobby, hi, and I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I have so much to thank my parents for and how they raised us and everything. I'm just really, really, really fortunate. Um, Probe launched. I think they just instilled really good traits and habits, like I have to be honest. I can only hope to ever be half as good of a parent in the future as them. There we go. Launching probe. Although don't get me wrong. It was just different. I feel like it was different too. Like <laughs> there were also some oh gosh. The memories. Just imagine your regular citizen on these planets and some random probe comes flying on. I wondered what it looked like from the planet's side, you know? This is like nobody thinks of the rats in Plague Tale. What does it feel like to be a rat in the middle of the tumble? We <laughs> like the tumble just going. Uh, A9, thank you for the gifted sub to Flannel, to Thomas, to Meg, and Miro. At London with the gifted sub to Mega and Miro. Guys, thank you. Thank you so much. No, I think it's even, I think that is something that I will say I need to be better at spending more time outside of, like outside and just, that was like those three days that I spent on that, that farm, that Airbnb. I just felt so good. And um, yeah, I need to be getting outside more. I'm gonna pick up a sport. I'm gonna do it. I know I avoided softball. We talked about it, but I'm going to rejoin a sport. The hen chasing. Exactly. I know. All right, let me. Oh, wait, that was a good. That's decent. That's decent. We'll take it. Launching probe. Everybody's been talking about pickleball lately. Dead moose meat. Thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Gar Monty Python. I feels anxious taking a step back from established ideals let me to turn an eye to too many people wait what do you uh what do you mean by that taking a step oh i see what you're saying taking a step back from it i've heard so many people talk about pickleball when did the rise of pickleball happen hasn't pickle been pickleball has been around for a while though this planet's pretty meek so let's get out of here hen chasing could be my sport let me write this planet down too golf i don't see myself as a golfer I don't hate it. I like putt-putt golf more than anything. Floppy pickleball. <laughs> Just put your PC outside. Streamer is going outside. Imagine. I try to as much as possible. Um, Lumzine, thank you for the follow. I'm also laughing at the dead moose meat because we've definitely talked about what happens to the moose that get hit in Alaska. How there's like a raffle for it. So that's great. Great name. Wee wee Ooh, Ajinju. Ajinju. Aginju. Frisbee golf would be okay, frisbee golf could be kind of fun. I only know about pickleball because I took care of someone who had a heart attack playing pickleball. Is it that intense? I work in orthopedics. I see about 10 injuries a week. How does it differ from tennis? How does it differ? <laughs> Ultimate Frisbee would actually be cool. And I used to play soccer as a kid. I'm leaning towards volleyball though. Like, like, um, I don't know, like volleyball seems fun. 
redeem points off. Redemptions, some of them are on cooldowns, Gar. Some of them might be on cooldowns, but they shouldn't be completely off. Taco Bell is outside. You bring up a good point. Smaller court, faster ball. Okay, I can see how, yeah, I can see the injuries flooding in from that. So much Frisbee goal. Streaming at events, since all there are, wait, wait, since all there are recording things? What do you mean since all there are, oh, since I only do recording things? No, I, uh, I take a pretty strong stance on not doing IRL streams or things like that. I just, I still need to have things outside of this. Like this can't be as much as like, I put my heart and soul into it. Like it can't be my all consuming thing. Like it can't be my identity, you know? Like I care about this more than anything, but I still have to have things outside of it, you know? Cause this might not, this isn't gonna be here for forever. I just think it's so important to have your identity, identity be separate from your job, your career. Yeah, I met other IRL streamers. I know, <laughs> did you see me in, uh, uh, when I was in the background of Zara's, so I was like, I gotta go by. <laughs> Absolutely. I've never, I just, I, yeah, I can't in good conscience. I've never done just when, like I put my heart and soul into everything I do, but I like to have different eggs in different baskets, if that makes sense. I do the hand-eye coordination for volleyball. I think volleyball could be fun. I somehow always miss it. I'm better with hand-eye coordination than my feet. I feel like my feet, it's like, it takes too long from what I want in my head to happen to my feet, if that makes sense. Savin, thank you for the hydrate. Yeah, and I feel like it's like, it doesn't mean that I care about it any less than people that do, but I just have to make this healthy. Like this has to be a healthy thing for me. Putting your heart and soul into everything like HR complaints. <laughs> mm. You don't need strong thumbs. I think you do need strong thumbs for volleyball. I really do. And kicks back with some more gaming. No, I don't really game as much in my off time anymore. Yeah, I kind of do. I just do it with socially, like with friends. Exactly. Several universes in your life. It kind of, yeah. I think I'm going to look into volleyball. Walking distance from a driving range. I'm not a fan of golf, but just whacking a ball as hard as you can is pretty fun. I, for the first time, had done one of those things. Um, this is what happens. I listen to this music and then I could talk for hours with you guys about anything. What is the... The driving range. It's called... It's called the, the, the social driving range. I know what you're talking about, though. Top golf. Yes, top golf. I can always forget the name of that. <laughs> Yeah, Top Golf was actually a lot of fun. It is just fun to just schwack it. And the Angry Birds version, so much fun. Mm -hmm. You have to position your thumb in a certain way with both hands to properly hit a volleyball. And these theme, these themes, these thumbs were not meant for smacking. All right, and Anjuj, Anjuj, Anjuj. It's an extremely large rock planet with a thin atmosphere of hydrogen and carbon monoxide, abundant in both copper and platinum. <gasps> okay, this is perfect. We need platinum actually. Uh, the crust has been scanned by mining bots from Aaron Lee, Aaron Lee, Aaron Lee. But the specialized equipment to work on Andrew's heavy gravity has created prohibitive costs. So it's largely unexplored. Well, let's check out that platinum. All right. Happy Gilmore hits with friends. I have not. We happy Gilmore hits with friends. I haven't seen happy Gilmore. I know the horror. Another one. I'm just disappointing everybody. I think I would actually like golf if I actually went. It has to be anything that's social. Probe launched. Is fun. And I, I get like, I totally know, like just saying, okay, well, sports are social, but there's levels to it, right? Like if I'm playing volleyball, I'm not having like nice, good, in depth away. conversations. I feel like golfing is nice because you can actively have good conversations while, like, it's not just about the golf. You have a lot of downtime in between to just kind of hang out with the person button mashing in ff16 i hate that it exposes it and it shows you guys what i'm hitting in ff16 you can see it see i didn't do the softball uh, i'm i didn't do the softball for i ended up not doing it for multiple reasons the softball i was really excited about it at first but the time slot that my friend had picked she was trying her best to coordinate like like not as much as coordinating D&D &D things I get, but she was coordinating a lot of people's different schedules and it just so happened that it worked the best on Sunday right when I start stream. And so that was another reason why I, I ended up backing out of that. Probe away. Really talented. A bit off, but really talented with it. They said it was high in platinum and I'm not really picking up a lot of large 
deposits of platinum here. I have done paintball. I actually, I love paintball. I'm terrified. Oh, I spoke too soon. Oh, there. Probe away. Yeah, it was a softball beer league. It was. It was. Zeon, what's up? Welcome back in. Um. Let's see. I think that's mostly all we're going to get from it. I need to find element zero if I can. It's not so bad. Let me back down here. Raphael, what's up? Welcome back in. You got to not repeating that one classy normal golf and i really love to just chill yeah and talking between it yeah okay maybe you guys might be i also just want to start trying more things i think that as a kid it's so exciting because you're trying all of these different things like my parents would have us try instruments try different like i did so many different types of dancing and i feel like that's kind of gone as i've gotten older i'm just not maybe i'm just getting stuck in my ways where i like it's a combination of being so content in my schedule that I don't want to mix it up by doing new things but I feel like it's so important to keep trying new things and I think that's why I love this so much is I get to try new games on a constant basis is mayonnaise an instrument it's a whole new world I think that's gonna be it for this save the council and let the politicians pick the ambassador on me too <laughs> did not save the council all right I'm getting out of here yeah I gotta get back into the piano you ever seen Kevin Costner? I worked at a golf course for the first- Wait, 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 wait. He has a golf course? There should be one more planet, I believe. Don't be an element zero. Be an element hero. I have, Machu. I've really wanted to get into photography. Your photos? Wait, were, they were your friend's photos of you, right? Uh, I used to be a dancer. No, uh, I used to do dance, but not um, the one that stuck. My mom tried me, tried to get me to do every type of dancing possible. And the number one one that stuck was Highland dancing. Like Highland Scottish dancing was the one I wanted. I don't know why. <laughs> Oren, Oren Milla, a medium sized gas giant. Oren Milla is close enough to be a parent star to suffer massive changes in temperature during its day and night periods. This leads to powerful convection currents and storms throughout its hydrogen helium atmosphere. Gathering helium-3 to refuel is possible for the hardiest of exploration craft, but lesser ships are nearly always lost in the attempt. Ornan, Oran, Oran Milla is within the frost line of its solar system, where icy cord gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it is believed that an extra solar planet captured by its star gravity. No, you guys have tried to do this before. Still no chance at a Highland Dance Room. No! <laughs> absolutely not they know how to break it down it's a good choice but people always confuse it with um the irish dancing not to be confused with irish dancing london thank you for the thousand bits as well thank you so much no no dancing i haven't done it in so long guys my knees my knees would break all right let's scan oh massive platinum deposits the kilts I do love a good jig. Love a good jig. The jig is up. Okay, this is actually kind of, ooh. I know that's not a lot, but to me that's a lot. It's a decent, it's a good size. Scanning. Scanning. Oh, palladium. I think I should go before we head into the, oh, nice, 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 nice. Ooh. There it is. Probe away. I have Joker knees. Oh. I don't know what it's from. I'm kind of worried about it, but I'm gonna get it checked out this week. I'm sure it'll buff out. That's fine. <laughs> it's normal for your knees to be breaking at 20. How old am I? 26. How? Old? I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. <laughs> you have to make it special, Rain Man. Have I ever been to a Kaylee? Absolutely. Well, it depends what, like a formal Kaylee or just kind of like a, I guess a Kaylee would be really, it would be informal in theory, like in nature, right? Like something that a friend throws. Like we've had friends that have thrown Kayleys before. 
Just like we do Burns Night Zephyr. Uh, launch it. Launching pro. I, I actually, that's so funny. Four years ago this time, I was at the Fringe. Is it called the Fringe? The Fringe Fest. And I saw the... Correct me, Falky. Forgive me for I have sinned. Um, what? <sighs> the tattoo. The tattoo. I just got the pictures that popped back up. Your knees would break. I know, I know, but that's what I'm saying, Blue Rangers. I don't, that's what's concerning is the fact that my knees are hurting at this age. All right, let's head to it. That's the prison ship. We're going to do the planet first. And also, oh, hold on, let me back up. Nothing that sounds like a Rice, Kris Rice Krispies should be happening at this age. Or on Mila. Mila. She didn't say floppy people. Bam. <laughs> that is true. Pat, what's up? Welcome back in. I don't know why they're always complaining about how easy it is. <laughs> Nothing sounds. I, I haven't made Rice Krispies in so long and you just reminded me of that. Speaking of knees, do not bring up, do not bring up blue knees. Mm -mm. Every wedding had a Kaylee, so you don't have to worry about bringing the best dance moves out. Good point. Good point. Plus, there's just something. I there's something so nice about just the the sound of a bagpipe at 5:30 in the morning because <laughs> your dad has no respect for your time or your sleep. Ah, oh. something, something, blue knees. <laughs> oh, ah. Uh. As a 26 year old, I confirm 90 year old knees at this age is more common than you think. I just run mine in track. Yeah, running. I didn't do a lot of running though. That's the weird part to me. And Aaron Lee. Okay. I'm not saying this right at all, but Aaron Lee. As a garden where, oh, this looks cool. As a garden world in the last stages of hab hab habita habitability. I hate it. some of these words. It's a bit of a While his soil still supports architecture, agriculture, what is my brain doing? Its animal biodiversity has fallen to record lows, and the most successful remaining life is toxic blue-green algae, an insect-like pest species. A large Salarian colony is trying to restore biodiversity to the planet, but setbacks are a fact of life. Mineral and fuel mining remains lucrative, however, and Aaron Lee has been thriving in a spaceport that refuels many ships by passing the Terminus system. I'm starting to notice this pattern that when I record before I stream, Probably about away. three hours into stream, I have a really hard, like, it's like I forget how to talk. My point just, it's like my mouth is like tired at that point. It's like Watch tired of bro. talking. So I guess it's possible to get tired of talking. I go over here. More. Oh, <gasps> element zero? Your old friend Amnesia. Bear with the gift is. Didn't you just gift? Was it a month? Has it been a month, Bear? The gobble gives out. That's why I had to stop doing the gobble. My face is tired. <laughs> it's the talking. It also doesn't help when I have like large radiation. I had massive. Oh my great. Launching probe. I was reading a lot today in Final Fantasy. It was my own fault. I did eat. There we go. Launching we need a Maggie to English dictionary. <laughs> Probably do need some snacks. This planet is so rich. Launching probe. Mafioso, thank you for the follow and welcome in. You are single-handedly keeping Blue Knees as a sub for three years. I'm going to see them be a sub, but they're going to finally come in after three years and it will say is resubbing for 36 months. There's so much element zero on this planet. Probe away. I ate right before stream. It shouldn't be low blood sugar. I think it genuinely is like my mouth's tired. I'm moving. It's like stop talking. That'll do. That'll do. That'd be a dream come true. Great balls of fire were the words you were looking for. <laughs> it's always so nice when there actually are. Oh. Probe launched. Since you're not drowning in energy drinks, is it because I'm not having them? Probe launched. Green bar. If you can't keep getting more, what's the part? The point of a green bar if you can't keep getting more? 
There's no way. I shouldn't be looking for Palladium. Savin, Savin, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row and welcome back in. Thank you. I'm so glad to see you're still enjoying the channel. This is incredible. Palladium. 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 Honestly, there should be a whole video dedicated to the most simple of words that I clearly missed. <laughs> like, there are some words that just nobody should be mispronouncing and I'm out here like finding new ways to be incorrect. Is Den looting? <laughs> oh, do you think I can probe the planets in Witcher? Guys, this planet might give us everything we need. Habitability. Habit it's like sea anemone. B T T T B. So, okay, hold on. I think I've taken most of the. Oh, I mean, I'm gonna try it for science because it is so high. But I don't think you can get past it. Hold on, where was it? Where was it? It was here. Incinerary. Incinerary. Probe away. See anemone. Yeah, you can't go beyond it, but that was fun to think about for a second. Yeah, Lufa, I'm playing with controller. Am I missing stuff when it pops up? I'm picking up good vibrations. All right, exiting, and now it's time to go get our character because I need to collect two more people. Does the controller vibrate every time that there's minerals popping up? Yes. I mean, I do see, what's funny is uh, I'm not actually paying enough attention to that. You have been getting more? Okay, maybe I'm only paying attention to the, I think I'm only paying attention to the vibrations. <laughs> Real quick, um, back into the map. Andy, what's up? Welcome back in. I don't know how to properly pronounce palladium, palladium because of the Cypress Hill song that talks about honeys at the Palladium. Palladium? Pal <laughs> Ignore me. My brain is mush. Prison ship purgatory. Here we go. Pretzel. <laughs> Prophet, what's up? Welcome back in. Owned by the notorious Blue Suns Mercenary Company. The purgatory was once an ark ship. Used to hold archaeological... I... Did my brain also autocorrects agricultural animals. Now it is used to hold prisoners. Whether taken in battle or sold by unscrupulous politicians under the name of subcontracting and outsourcing, rumors abound that the Blue Suns turned skill or fit prisoners over to the... Oh, Batarian slavers. But few have ever seen transactions and lived to tell the tale. Its population is listed as 4,350, but independent journalists estimate it to be nearly three times the period of overcrowding. The ram is full. <laughs> Palladium. Palladium. Palad Palladium. Palladium. All right, let's go to the prison. Let's take Morden because it's Morden. Enough said. And also bear with the gift itself to palladium, palladium, palad, uranium, palladium, dium. I gotta remember the dium, palladium. All right, let's go. I know. Thank you guys. Thank you for helping me overcome this issue. No, I'm just kidding. We're gonna go Morden and Garrus, my two favorite. Mm hmm. Two points. Well, Gryffindor. Do can. Oh. Wait, we do have all points for him. I forgot about that. Salarian scientist with Morin. Strengthens Morden's combat skills, weapon damage, health, and shields. Done. And what do we got for him? Palladium. Health 25. So we have genius or savant. 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 25, 25, 18, 25, 18, 25. So basically shields or weapon damage. We're going glass cannon. Why you gotta pass on my boy Grunt like that? I do like Grunt, I just took him on the last mission uh, and I just got Morden, so it is what it is. And Garrus, 
guys, we haven't seen, I know, Taco Bell actually sounds really good, but no. No, I actually need to order my meal prep. Lay is in, I lay beside I lay beside Ginger. I need to go grab her. Is that pink? The coloring is making it look pink. Grunty has to rest. He didn't get sick though. So I like that there was zero impact on not bringing a human on that mission. I'm in control now and we will get all of our characters. I wonder if we'll recognize any of the future people. This feels weird. Oh, this feels so weird. Can you not remove the helm? You can no longer remove it when you're on mission. I guess, oh, I guess you have to have your helmet on in this area. Or maybe this outfit is like an all or nothing? Don't actually answer that. Jalapeno, hi. I take him on one mission and I give him the play. <laughs> yeah, I order a meal prep service, yeah. Whoa. I don't know how to interpret that. Mm. Imagine it. Welcome to the purgatory, Shepard. Your package is being prepped and you can claim it shortly. That's a As Turian. this is a high security vessel, you'll need to relinquish your weapons before we proceed. Palladium, but with an extra A. Palladium. Palladium. General, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I'll relinquish one bullet. Where do you want it? Everyone stand down. Commander, I'm Warden Kirill, and this is my ship. Your weapons will be returned on the way out. You must realize this is just a standard procedure. I'll keep my weapons. It's my standard procedure to keep my gun. Ooh, the stare down. Let them proceed. Our facility is more than secure enough to handle three armed guests. Yeah, right. We're bringing Jack out of cryo. As soon as the fun's clear, you can be on your way. I don't if know. If you'll when... follow me to out processing for the pickup, Commander. Let's go. Oh, the more I do a local one. Yeah, I, I haven't. It's been a long time. I used to do, like, the HelloFresh all block those. two. I, As you can see, we keep tight control over the population. Oh. Each prisoner's cell is a self-contained modular unit. I've blown a few out the airlocks as an example. The ship is made up of 30 cell blocks identical to this one. We house thousands of criminals. We can put the whole place in lockdown on a moment's notice. That's so... Nothing goes wrong here. Are you sure about that? All right, we'll ask her about Jack Hamilton. What's up? Welcome in. Hold on, Hamilton. What's that? Oh, wait, wait. Falvo, you were offline. I hope you don't mind. Uh, wait, I'm not familiar with that. I'm not familiar with that at all, but welcome in and thank you so much for the follow. And yeah, no worries. Welcome to the live side of things. And I'm glad to see that you're enjoying the channel so far. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't recognize. I'm so bad with any like TV shows or anything. Why you got to say it like that, sir? Yeah, I don't, we picked this armor up. This is the ter Terminus armor, right? We picked this up in, oh, where did we get this armor? Now I can't remember it. I kind of see it. Dan, by the way, welcome back in. Stupid and Erdy, thank you for the gifted sub to her, uh, Hamilton. See, I see your name and I think Hamilton. A-L-E-X-A-N-D-E-R, we are meant to be. All right, let's go explore. Fence first. I don't want to go straight. Size and space can't be cheap. We can cut corners that governments can't, and each prisoner brings in a fee from his home world. These individuals are violent, and their home planets pay well to keep them here. That actually makes sense. Yeah, I didn't even think about that as like a source for their income. I think I picked up an Omega. It must have been something like that. And if they don't pay? What happens if the home world doesn't want to pay? We explain that we can't maintain the prisoner without their help, so we'll be forced to release him back onto his home world at an unspecified place and time. He so does look kind of crusty. Racket. You don't have to agree with my methods, but don't question my motives. These are despicable people, and I'm keeping them locked up. That is fair. A colony that runs independently. <laughs> I love that somebody completed that. Thank you, Echo. <laughs> uh... Let's go to Warden, and then we'll go for Jack. You gotta ask last. You can't just run in with it. How'd you end up running this ship? 
I was in law enforcement on Palavin and got Next sick check. of seeing criminals escape out into the galaxy to carry on with their crimes. Bounty hunters aren't dependable. Eventually, I hit upon this idea. Keep the criminals in space, and the galaxy is a safer place. So it's principle. You do this because you think it's necessary? Every day I see the worst sapient life has to offer. Governments are soft, unwilling to make the hard choices. Someone had to stand up and make the galaxy safe. And that was you. Okay. I'm not quite sure about this. Igneal, have a good night. Thank you so much for hanging around. Um, I wouldn't say he doesn't pass the neck check, but I don't know if I like his neck. I don't know. It's something like... Oh. I don't think it passes. It, it's, it's something about it. Yeah, I think he looks crusty. I don't know exactly what it is, though. Oh, wait, I think I saw AJ's headed out, too. Hold on. AJ, lurking now. I won't tell you the game I'm playing with Virgo because you'll just roll your eyes harder. Does it have to be... Is it a game that you might be playing with London as well? Is London playing this game, too? This better. Is this the game I think that it is? His neck looks crusty? No, his face looks crusty. His neck is well moisturized, I think. Can you tell me about Jack? Cerberus hasn't told you. Jack is the meanest handful of violence and hate I've ever encountered. Dangerous, oh. crazy, and very powerful. You'll see soon enough. Okay. Let's get on with this. Have there been escape attempts? We're in space. <laughs> they have nowhere to go, and they know it. But still, we exercise extreme caution. These are dangerous individuals. Oh. Oh, oh, we have many so ways cool. to control the population. I'm going to confirm that the funds Don't from mention. Cerberus cleared. Out processing is straight down this hallway. Oh, Just who's been paying for him to be held up? Rooms and the Supermax wing. Supermax. Jack I'll has the best character. With you later. Jack, Jack. Next tier list when ME3 is done. Should we put the characters and do a tear maker for their necks? <laughs> Already with the 300 bits. Can you believe that no one has the neck snob username? <laughs> neck snob? I can't imagine why. Clearly there's not enough neck connoisseurs here. All right, let's head past this. Wow. This looks very trouser. Ryan, thank you for the hydrate. The helmet is pretty, I guess. It's just because it doesn't feel very Shep, though. That's the only thing that I think isn't. Somebody's getting beat up. We don't want king shame, okay? Inhumane. Unacceptable. Oh. Violation of basic organic dignity. Oh. Oh. Oh, the head. It's on repeat. Wait, can we talk to him? Oh, we can talk to him. Is there something I can do for you? Yeah. Is this necessary? There's no excuse for beating a prisoner who can't fight back. Mm -hmm. This is a massage compared to what his victims went through. A massage? This degrades you as much as him. We have orders. You're not important enough to make your own decisions. Ooh. I admit, I sometimes get tired of this. Does this really get us anything useful? Stop this. For your own sake. Yeah, you're right. Call it off. At least for now. They're gone action, at least for now. Tomorrow will be a different day. Anon, thank you for hey. the gift of seven hey months. Guy, welcome back here. in. Prisoner 780. Yeah, Anon, thank you, and Herb, hi. If you're buying prisoners, can you buy me? Man, I, I don't care where you take me or what you do to me. It's got to be better than this. Mm. We're here for Jack. Jack? Scarus Forget what I just said. I don't want to go nowhere with you. Jack? Oh, no, that's not good. Yeah, we got it. Well, we just met. So we just met. Um, uh, why do I want to say Morden? Yeah, we just met him today, and then we got the reunion was just yesterday. It was awesome. Yeah, I mean, I just, I know it's not gonna be like a long-term difference. That's why that feels like a little bit of a, 
I don't know. That feels like an interesting part to be able to interact with. The guy was doing his <laughs> buying prisoners. Interrogation. Jack. Tell me more about Jack. The worst trouble you ever saw, mixed with some crazy and way too much biotic power. That That's means all I I'm want saying. Him. I want him then. Life on the ship. What's it like here? Bad. And you gotta watch out. Damn, but someone's always after your stuff. Your smokes, clothes, your pride. I haven't taken Ooh. a shower in three months. Oh, gosh. Three months. I thought this ship was a prison, not a market. Sometimes people buy cons so they can do some punishing of their own, if you understand. Warden sells this to whoever can pay enough. <laughs> It's random, but look at the little eye darts between conversations. But it's really easy to do wrong. The little eye darts? Interrogation. Why are they interrogating that prisoner? He knows something? Nah, that's Bimmy. He don't know nothing. Just he for fun. someone in the showers yesterday, I think. Guy he killed was worth a lot oh. to the warden. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Sucks to be Bimmy right now. Right. You're a crime? So, what are you in for? I killed a few people. Only about 20 or so. And I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. <laughs> Reaper. I don't even know what to say anymore. I just... Reaper with another 10,000 bits. <laughs> is there, is there a rhyme or reason to it? Is it, it's during these conversations? Praise the Reapers, no. This does not change how we feel about Reapers, y'all. This does not change how we feel about that. The Reaper, thank you. Thank you so much. He <laughs> Wait, what herb? I think we're being indoctrinated. He's just admitting it like that. <laughs> Reaper, thank you so much. This is all in the sake of indoctrination. Er, Sandman, thank you for the follow. The Reapers are using Paragon choices to control you. I really don't know what to say to all of your generosity. Just thank you so much. Don't fear the Reaper. <laughs> thank you. We're not indoctrinated. We're just using technology against them. In Saren's voice. Er, Sandman, thank you so much for the follow as well. I don't want to fight humans. Reapers leave me no choice. Don't, don't. It's not an indoctrination. It's just. I really appreciate it. Thank you. The rapers just need more cowbell. I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. I feel like you are. I don't know. I don't. Thank you so much. The rapers just. Okay. Okay. The crime, and then we're back onto it. So, what are you in for? I killed a few people, only about 20 or so, and I blew up that one habitat. Small time compared to most of the guys here. Just 20 or so people? What? A, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I should go. Wish I could go. Sovereign did nothing. I want to know other names of the Reapers too. And it is interesting because Reapers aren't our primary villain in this one so i wonder if in don't actually answer this but i wonder if in me 3 it goes back to being against reapers you know what i mean yeah plant boy reaper is bananas but we'll see don't actually answer that total bait total bait another prisoner 403 lord hi welcome back in it was a mask i hear the screaming in my head it's nice yeah. Okay. 
Just a little bit of screaming. I hope Reaper sticks around for 12 games of Christmas to keep derailing Casta. <laughs> I'm gonna win. I don't know why you guys are acting like I'm not gonna win. You guys know I always... I have two for two, baby. Even if you guys get over 50 HR complaints and pick Quarry, I still will win. Through the door on the far side of the room. Out processing. All right, let's go down this way first. There will be no delaying the inevitable at 12 games of Christmas. Let me tell you this. All right. Caden comes back to ME3 and he's the main villain. This is the Supermax wing. It's off limits. Out processing is back down the hall on your right. They'll bring your package there after the cryo thaw is finished. Hmm. I feel like those are unnecessary. The lights feel unnecessary. He's the true villain in ME3. Huddle up for the game plan? No, 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 no. There's no collaboration on this one. There with the gifted sub to moving the goalpost. <laughs> we will have, we're going to have like a pre 12 games of Christmas where we will talk about the rules, okay? We will have to like draw the lines and the rules and the regulations and it will be official because I'm not going to be hearing words of me cheating when I win this year too. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. Yeah. What about serving the galaxy? Are you kidding me? Yeah, right. You talked up your noble intentions with this prison, but it turns out you're a criminal like the mm -hmm. rest. Activate systems. All right, you want to do this? Hostile! It's a good thing we didn't drop our weapons. He wants to lose all this. What is this? Incinerate? It's not a if, it's a when. Also, max that. Yeah. Disgusting. This person is really... I knew there was something sus about him. It's the whack. Oh! Already with the gift of to pumpkin eater. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. You say you don't know me anymore, already? You're not force choking reaper. One less to worry that is about. true. That is true. I feel like the force choke gets unlocked when it's like... It's like you've been here for a while and you're still a troll biscuit. Reaper still is on... Oh. What? Why is it so cute? Incinerate. Charge. Target. Nice. All right, there's one more. The neck check is now certified. <laughs> Charge it. I told you guys I didn't trust his neck. Guys, I can't move. I was, that is not a me. I couldn't move. Turians who don't have face tattoos, paintings are clearly sus. Is that what it was? Reaper is a fresh out of the oven troll biscuit. <laughs> Wait, I just feel like I broke it a little bit. I don't know. It kept me in the same place. Hold on. I miss this. I miss this. What if Jordan and Libra had to do some outside work since we're currently getting bombarded by storm? Oh, no, Victor, you're out there. Yeah, we were just talking about that at the beginning. I hope you guys are safe. My apologies, Shepard. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. There we go. Who's paying Drop them? Drop your weapons and proceed into this open cell. You will not be harmed. You talked up your nope. All right, do this again. Imagine thinking, who's out here trying to pay for us to be taken and out? Though. A ton of people, of course, but still. I, I knew it. I told you the neck check. Didn't trust him. And it checks out. Red Hood, welcome back in. Also, Lev, welcome back in as well. I'm not going to charge. I'm going to do incinerating shots first. I think when I charged the dog, it almost thought I was up on that desk. I think it thought I was up there and then it like kept me up there. F1, thanks for the follow, welcome in. Get him, get him, and get him. Dead. Oh. It's gonna be really hard to kill him. London, thank you so much for the gifted sub to herb, by the way. Vanguard is fun. 
Oh, it's so OP. Oh! Okay, don't do anything. Revive. Heal. Medja. My shields are still down, so I need to be careful. Dark st I guess when in space? When in space? Alright, put on all of these three. Wait, wait. You did get stuck in here and at me too? What's left to worry about? You've gotta be kidding me. Go shotgun. Charge. I'm back to doing my call outs. Alright, let's move up. Do this, do this, do this. Should feel the trick. Honestly, he is holding his own and I love it. I'm here for it. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, no, I'm gonna switch back to this. London, thank you so much. The alien, so much alien testosterone here. I wonder who would have been, I guess maybe he just knew that somebody, oh. There we go. He had to have known somebody would pay a high price for us. I pick up all the ammo for this weapon. Go, 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 go. Do, 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 do. Need to retrieve Jack from Cryo. I got yeeted and deleted. To the left! When they said the professor. Oh! When did they bring out more dogs? I would I I'd love to do um I think I'm gonna do a renegade sniper run in the future. And Rare goes, thank you for the hydrate. I'm dead. I'm dead. Did it save after that, though? It should have automatically saved. Please be kind to me. Please. No! Why? These segments. You're more valuable as a prisoner than a customer. These segments. No. Drop your weapons always put a price on this open cell. Hell no. Will not be harmed. Go to Let's hell. Activate I'll say. I know. Always get cover. It was on me. Don't charge, don't charge. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch back to this. I know. I need something to shred through their shields faster. Let's switch to let's just do this. That should there we go. Switch back to this. I gotta spam that F5, I know. Pretty. If it auto saves more frequently, there we change to insanity. <laughs> yeah. Pretty, <laughs> thank you for the 400 bits and the attempt to get me to turn to insanity. Congratulations, you played yourself. Mega HR. We need to revive our teammate. Unity, bring him back. Okay. Somehow it feels like once you complete it once, it feels like so easy to get it again. Nice. Surely, and don't answer this, but surely there's a class that tears through, tears through the shields faster. Need to from I won't deny that there was a second I- What? There was maybe a second. Get him! Get him! There is a second I'm gonna blame you. Don't call me Shirley. On insanity, you'd have to think out the squat. Yeah, you'd have to be really particular with who you take with you. Absolutely. Save, save, save. I can't. I can't! I can't! Okay, it's nice to know that it wasn't me. <clears throat> Alright, do this, do this, and do this. Oh, that is kind of a longer combo, though. What has to worry about? Oh, they're so cute saying the same thing. One less to worry about. They got it, they got it, they'll be fine. I can sit back here. All right, shields refresh. Shield to fail. 
Oh, it's because he's a legionnaire. That's why. But they've got this. Neutralized. The shockwave is max too, so it's doing the best damage possible. Yeah. Mm. To trap a specter. Do I still hold my specter title? Are you once a specter, always a specter? Shepherd is on the loose. Repeat. Retooled after I mean Get people down here. Oh, he just he just left. Oh, that might that might be a bait. That might be a bait. Don't answer that. Puddle Glum, what's up? Welcome back in. Yes, feeling super cozy. Brought out the headphones for today. The earphones. The headphones. Take some medi gel. All right, let's do this. What days do you plan on streaming next week? Elder. I am doing. Oh, nice. We got 500, by the way. We actually might be maxed for that. Or no, we're always collecting more. Um, Monday is normal. Wednesday is Ginger's birthday stream. So we're going to do like cat games. And I'll be live Thursday and Sunday. I'm off Saturday. Also, DG, hi. Once you go Spectre, Shepherd, never go back. if you hack that control, every door on the cell block opens. However, required if we want to get Jack out of stasis. I'm doing it. Be ready. I mean, they deserve it. Let's just cause a little chaos. They don't like that. I shot him into complete nonsense. <laughs> he wasn't that dangerous, Fuzzy. Wait, what? That's Jack. Jack? Rain Man, I know it's crazy. Hold up. I see so Come many HR in. complaints Come in the future. In. Hydrate. They're attacking Jack. Okay. There's something in my eye. Jack. Jack. All right, my corpse. I'll take it. Damage protection. We need to make sure we're scanning as much as possible. They made that Jack. so well done. Sector 7, 9, and 11 have lost life support. Jack and her no sister, Jill. Whoa. Oh, this is going to be crazy. Not going in the right direction. Yeah. Problematic on Normandy. Could be. Um, I'm in a bit of a pickle here. What's happening? What is what is going? No, the pickle's not floppy egg. Do I need to shoot it? Do I need to like... I can't tell if I broke the game or I'm just not looking at something right. I do believe I broke the game. Try vaulting. Is this a me or is this the game? I can't tell if it's like... There we go, there we go, that might work. Okay, I was able to vault over that. No, I couldn't even, no, but I couldn't get back up. Like, oh no, I could. Okay, I was not going the right direction. I don't wanna talk about it. The other way looked like the right way. Oh, I didn't mean to go that way. And it was just me. In my defense, I've broken a lot of games. I've found some ways that I shouldn't be stuck. So I'm always suspicious that I did it. Okay, he's gonna shred me to go up here. Woo! All right, here we go. 
He's shredding. My shields are down. This is gonna be difficult. Let me go arc. Yeah. So maybe it wasn't the best off. idea to run up into there. Diablo, what's up? Welcome back in. Nice. Completion is always raining, but it fit. Nice. Six Very explosion. nice. Good job, Morden. Love it. No. We baited him. As guard got swarmed by prisoners Shotgun damage. Weapons. Use the research on chance. Sure. See what kind of people these prisoners are. I don't agree with everything they do here, but it's in the galaxy's best interests. Mm. This guard kept maniacs away from innocent people. Prisoners helpless. Guard had power. Lockdown and Interesting. Morden's response to that. 4,500 credits. Medjo. Okay. Experience is best teacher. Granddaddy bags? <laughs> Where are you getting granddaddy bags from? Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, what? I went down so fast. I tried to duck back down. I think it saved right before. It should have saved after the mech. Yes. Okay. Woo! Yeah, I just got shredded. The granddaddy bags. Over here. Mm -hmm. ah! Skylin, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Oh. Yeah. Actually, the music. Okay, let's get back down. Oh. Okay, Garrus. Get after them. All right, Garrus. Do it. All right, check back down. Brand is in here. All right, duck down, duck down, stay down. Let me see if I can... Target's protected by shield, so I can't do it. That makes so much sense now. Okay, shred their shields. Okay, he's not protected by it anymore. Get him. Killed that one. Nice. All right, that guy doesn't have shields either, but he's dead. This guy, we gotta break the shield first. Looking like Samus out here. Wait, oh, he doesn't have shields. It just looks like it because of the blue. To worry about. Nice. Alert, what's up? Welcome back in. The hull has been breached in sectors 12, 14, I need more ammo. We 30. need to run over their bodies. No survivors. Nice. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. I'm sensing a new stream tag and <laughs> the granddaddy bags. Oh. Nice. <clears throat> All right, let me use this on them. Scratch one! He had a little shield left, just like an itty bitty shield. Tear through the shields, then do shockwave. Okay, let's move up. Shields. Oh! Where did you come from? What are you doing? <laughs> What's the noise on that? The grandpappy? Oh! Uh, sounds like. Oh. The death sounds are fantastic in this game. Ah. <laughs> you know what? Let's get Garrus to be sniping. Enjoy. I hate how you have to be specific in where you Yeah. Mm. Nice shield down. Shield Okay, let's just do this. I think the shields are down in them. Oh, sorry, Commander. Saw me I think the ammo no there. Shields. Running for the ammo. Okay, what do we got? Full send. Let's go. Whoa. Didn't like that. Oh, they have a mech. They have a mech. All right, Memphis. Okay, don't do anything. Commander, sorry, commando death sound. From last stream. 
I need to heal up. I need to break his shield down. Whoa. I'm gonna go shotgun for this. They have a cave mech. I gotta get that enemy first. Exolard. No, why did I stand up to do the shockwave? Oh, hardcore is not playing around with you. I know, you belong in a prison for all your HR complaints. Magoo. All the way back here. You've gotta be kidding me. And by the way, I cannot save during these segments. You can't save. Exor, let me hydrate. What? Not just a failure, a critical failure. Bad news failures. Okay. Sir? Sir, this is my cover. All right, let's try to tear through these guys faster. You know what, let's be smart about this. Okay, that's gonna blow. Nice. And they're not dead yet, so use shockwave, smack this guy's shield down. Oh, gotcha. The hull has been breached in sectors 12. Wait, reload, reload. And 30. No, sir. All right, do this and do this. These are long missions to get your crewmates. No saves coming for you. They knew we would. I wonder if. No, you probably still can't save whether you're on hardcore or not. Also, we need to throw a grenade launcher on next time, by the way. Oh, I'm using shockwave as much as possible. There we go, shockwave. He's gone. There we go. Put the shield. Okay, hit him with this, hit him with this. He's on the ground. Ooh, I really am not intending to do groin shots. All right, one forward. Yeah, progress, welcome in, yeah, second. First playthrough, second Mass Effect. All right, let's shockwave him. No. L3, what's up, welcome back in. I think this is better positioning than where I was before. Also, let's go ahead and do sniper for Garrus. You got it. Oh. And do that. Oh. That was actually a nice shot. Next. Is a m I'm wait, cast it with mass effect. Mass effect cause and effect. Let's see. I say this one. No, we'll go shotgun. The recap comic? Shepard narrates it and the art who So I didn't know and also God the work of the got them. I didn't know that Shep narrates it. That's kind of cool. Excel heart. It's been a while, but I think I actually remember this bit because it's frustrating and annoying. I love this one. Burn. Do any armor. All right, mech. Where's the mech? Let me see if I can grab some ammo. There we go. There we go. Run over the bodies. Everybody remembers the painful bits of a game. Let's be honest here. No salt. Here, grab these. Grab the ammo. Switch back over here. Switch to this. I'm just to this bit on insanity. I don't want to think about it. We gotta break down that shield first. I can't do it. Let me heal up. Other side, other side. Oh! Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm being shredded. Oh no. Caster, caster. Let's go for this guy. Reload. He's gonna roll up on me. Shockwave. Okay, he should be dead. The mech's rotating over. I need them to focus on breaking his shield down. Oh. Okay, I got an idea. 
so arc on him. Regenerate health first. All right, shield is gone. Break your armor. And then now some things can break through the armor. Nice. I mean, burn against him is great. And now he's 100% for your health. Send a shockwave. Also switch back over to shotgun. Ooh. I see we press him. Jack so much further up. Oi! Sir, sir, sir! <laughs> sir! Go, blow. Go for this person first. Let's get them with shockwave and this. Okay. Alright. I think they'd be able to hit us from here, but we're gonna stop. Oh, yeah. Also, why are there so many Blue Suns troops? Oh, oh no, 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 no! Oh, the where are the grocers? Please tell me no. It is, it is all of it, isn't it? No, oh, this is so painful. I can't remember the last time I've been this bad at positioning. It's unreal. The Zombie Land rules. Double tap, triple tap. The crosshairs. All right, JJ, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. I think also I really need to equip myself with better weapons. All right, get him on sniper. I'm on. I wasn't. I had strategically gone so far up there. I got right at the end. I think there were two characters left. All right, remember this thing? Get through my shield! Okay, that's gonna explode, and then we're gonna send a shockwave. Nice, shockwave. Yeah, I gotta go through the right side. I think, oh. I'm just a mess right now. I'm a mess, I'm a mess. Yeah, go right side, and then I can actually meet them up on the bridge instead of being underneath them. And I should have done that from the start, because that was the way the mech was going to. Lockdown in blocks four, seven, and eight. Now I'm- that was like an impatient run. You are everything you need. I am caught up in a hell of a fight. I'm here. Do not put a faint apart. Alright, that's gonna pop. That guy's gonna pop. Now get them to focus this guy. Rotate over here to shockwave. This line is not holding. They did have the high ground. Insert high ground here. Bowser, thanks for the follow as well. Not difficult. I need cover. I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going in. Sometimes you just have to smack him in the face. Call him a disgrace. No survivors. Nice. All right, grab this ammo. Woo! Woo! I really want to charge everybody. Nice. Okay. Hit him with shockwave. Okay, rest. Stop moving. Hiding behind cardboard for cover in case. Loosen, please. There's so much. Next. The shields are unreal. Get the shields. My shield. All right, there we go. Shockwave. Wait, 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 wait. Shockwave is risky. Shockwave is so risky because it puts you like you have to stand up and then you're you're exposed to fire. Cracks, yeah, first time playing the game. We switched to hardcore and I'm just still thinking I can run in all willy-nilly and smack them around a little bit, which is not the case. I like the slide into place though. Alright, take cover again. Let's switch to incinerary rounds. Okay. Crags, thanks for the follow, and I hope you enjoy this playthrough. Okay, welcome in. Incoming. Okay, I had a it's just a mess. Break his shield, please. Dead. And then let's shock with him. So we're gonna go up the right side, but I'm gonna wait for the mech to come out because I did like my positioning for the mech. Yeah, like I feel like this is a good spot to be in. And then do that. All right, now crouch down and don't move. These call outs, let's heal. 
right in the jammy dodger. <laughs> Let me switch to the arc section. Okay, that was bad. He's getting hit with that. Don't do it. Don't charge. I know I want to charge. Don't charge. Ren. Oh. Yeah, this battle is a mess. Excuse me? Ah! <laughs> Kill him! Ah! What is happening? Why did he get behind the line? My teammates do not hold the line. This looks like, um... This looks like the weapon from Halo every time it loads that. I know, and I thought I should do more damage against him. I should have sprinted him. Oh. I feel like I need a snack break. Reaper. Reaper. I feel like I'm being punked with this amount of generosity. Like, what? I do have brookies downstairs. Holy cow, you are bananas. Leave it to Maggie to make the oblivious the man. Reaper, you're killing me. Reaper proofs of your struggle. Don't lump Reaper in with y'all. All right, just because you guys enjoyed the struggle doesn't mean they do. Reaper, thank you so much for another 10,000 bits. This feels like I'm being punked. Um, all right, I'm gonna go grab a brokey. I think I need like a little bit of a sugar recharge here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave you guys with the ambient sounds of this. Also, I think Ginger's outside. Love all the chaos that's happening in the background and the prisoner and Reaper's just dropping bits. I don't know what to say. Time for a new cheer emote? Uh, I actually, I, th I think you're right. I actually have new cheer. I think I have new bits now. Yeah, I have new cheer bits being made right now. They're Taco Bell items, you guys. <laughs> They're actually being made right now. This is the white noise that I fall asleep to. <laughs> Reaper, thank you so much. The indoctrination is getting the best of you. No. The indoctrination is not working, you guys. Okay, give me one second. She's getting treats on her birthday. We're not doing treats until then. Plus, I have to hope that she's even gonna hang around during her birthday. I don't know if that's even gonna happen. Moogle, Moggle. Aries, welcome back in. London with the 300 books. <laughs> books. I read Brookie and I smushed it with bits. London with 300 bits for Brookie time. TJ. Bear Erdie. London. You guys gotta stop this every time I go. I can't. It's such a weird <laughs> French frog. <laughs> French frog with 50 gifted subs to the channel and community. French. Erty. London. Bear. Ooh, you, uh, you guys. What is going I don't know, Zara. I don't know what's going on. Fringe, I don't have the alerts on right now during this gameplay, but thank you so much. You guys, I'm going to probably eat a stale brookie because of this. I haven't gone to Trader Joe's yet this week, so I haven't picked up my new brookies. Czar. Czar with 10 more gifted subs. You can't say what's going on today and then add to the chaos. Once again. I, I don't know what's going on with the combination from chat trying to break me while I'm hearing screaming and killing in the background and the smell of a peanut butter brookie. We're giving you the adrenaline. <laughs> Czar, French. 
Guys, if you've gotten a gifted sub from anybody today or ever, please give them a big thank you. I can't cry anymore. You guys have already taken all my tears. General, what's up? Welcome in, by the way. What's a brookie? I should wash your mouth out with soap. All right, look. A brookie is when you take a brownie, you take a cookie, and you smash them on top. And then you get this fabulous contraption that is basically equivalent to crack, all right? And so just as uh, Morden is, that's how I get when I have a brookie. So all we need is a little bit of brookie, a little bit of hope and determination, and strategic placement, and me to stop running in with my quads in my hands, okay? I thought you had a friend named Brooke. No, they're no, they're literally Brookies. Uh, <laughs> I'm not making this up. It's become a wave. Everybody's trying the Brookie. Y'all, thank you so much. I'll go. <laughs> you gotta do the Brookie. It's especially if you have a Trader Joe's. If you have a Trader Joe's, I think I just flew crumbs all over everywhere. London with the hydrate, guys. Thank you so much. Like. Y'all are insane. When mommy brownie and daddy cookie get together and they love each other very, very much. <laughs> they make the goods. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Lockdown in blocks four, seven, and eight. I'm not addicted. Yo, I have to find my vices now that I don't have energy drinks anymore. All right, we got him. Enjoy. I'm gonna take Can't it one at a time. Nice and slow. Brownie loves multiple cookies at the same time. I haven't thought about a multiple cookie to brownie ratio. I haven't thought this through. Espresso. Mm -hmm. Some. Not hit it to save my life. Got him, shockwave. It would be a brownie sandwich. <gasps> oh my, guys, why haven't we thought about this before? The peanut butter brookie. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do with the last one. Vanilla ice cream, crumbled up. Oh, crumbled up peanut butter brookie and then drizzle chocolate sauce on top of it. Oh. The combination's gonna be deadly! The Brookie ice cream. Bear. Some people like salty Assault stuff, some people like sweet stuff. I like 12, both. 14 and 30. Bear with the gift no, of sub too. <laughs> Sugar addict. Also, I have not forgotten about that. Hold on. Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh. Low fat. It's gonna be Halo Top ice cream. I would not even do that disservice, okay? If you're gonna have ice cream, I'm gonna have real ice cream. All right, don't move. Add some Rice Krispie treat to it. Now you're getting, it's getting fancy. Mm -hmm. Don't move. Heal up. The light bulb. Mind blown. All right, everybody attack. The M and M's. That's a lot of chocolate. That's aggressive, but I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Ernie with the gifted sub to Mad Lab. <laughs> Neutralize. Now I can't get that song out of my head. Oh! She's so mean. She's in the light. Pop him. 
All right, this is it. Kill to me. M&Ms are the aggressive part of it. <laughs> Can we hold the line on this guy, please? Team? All right, here we go. Go for mech. Don't move, don't touch anything. Mech DC. Arc. I really should monitor how much sugar I'm having. I don't feel like it's that much. It's more than's probably good for you. Point consideration. Ah! Get down. Get down. Running hot. The walking is something. Okay, we gotta be careful of this guy. Oh! I'm gonna have to charge him. I'm gonna have to charge him. He's gonna pop over here and I can't do anything. Duck down! I gotta charge him. I gotta just knock him out for a second. I can't! I can't! Run away! Retreat! Woo! Hill! <laughs> this should slow him down. That was the power of the brookie. That one was the brookie. I gotta just kill this guy. He's ruining all my fun. All right, there he is, dead. All right, run up here. Go left, go right side. I got a shield back. All right, he's up there. Cookie dough plus brownie batter. Bosty. I did not think about that. We got so many violations that 2023 games will just be all fixed. It's only for one, not all. Okay. Firing eye impact shot. You guys only get to pick one. I dare say that will do. One more. Concussive shot ready. Mm -hmm. Oh no, there's two more up here too. This is a good spot. Good spot. Good spot. Okay. Find Jack. Amazing what a brookie battle boost will do. <laughs> Just give it a good little boost. All right, raise him up. Press forward, see what happens. See what happens. Gotta get the die shot. All right. Have them focus on... You know what? I feel like we can... I feel like I could sprint up on them, but I'm also terrified to do that too. I just don't want to lose this. General, I... I think two has really helped increase my love for it. I enjoyed one, but this has just become incredible. Like, this has elevated the entire series for me. Guys, we did it! Yes! That is a win for the brookie, okay? Mm-hmm. I know, Aries. I know. Also, Khalil, thank you for the follow. The Warlord mission, trying to convince it was Rex the whole time. You know, I've been in serious denial in a lot of games recently. FF16, massive denial. F uh, Mass Effect, insane denial. I don't know why I can't seem to accept the death of characters I love. I don't know what's going on right now. It's been really bad lately. Z Star, welcome back in. Did you get gifted a sub? Hey, Nod, thank you for the gifted sub to Z Star. I just saw it. Thank you. All right, go over here. This goes to here, and voila. Boom. Aries, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. 3,000 credits. I 
skip the scene. I didn't mean to skip the scene. Shoot. Uh, hold on. I I, I skipped the scene. I think it's this one, right? I think I just went in and I pressed X accidentally. We're just gonna have to do that again. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. I definitely want to be able to see that cutscene. So I wonder if there's a. Uh, you know what? This isn't the worst thing in the world. No, that would have been horrible. Uh, I'm gonna pick up extra ammo real quick. I'm moving at more than speed right now. <laughs> It's just like a memory game. That one's fine. I like the other one better though. There is a more enjoyable one. He lived in my playthrough. All guards to cell block one. He's alive in my, he should be alive in my play. Wait, are you talking about Caden or are you talking about Rex? Circles, circles, circles. Circle. Garris is just the Walmart Nihilus. Proceeds to cry though, Eternity, okay? I said it and then I regretted it. I said it and regretted it. He's more than that. The brookie, it, it's like a big old, it's like something smacks you across the face. She's so powerful. Who is this? Oh, the guy. Oh. You're valuable, Shepard. I could have sold you and lived like a king. But you're too much trouble. At least I can recapture Jack. Not happening. You're a two-bit slave trader and I don't have time for it. I do the hard thing civil governments are unwilling to. Mm. This is for the good of the galaxy. Come on! All right, so we gotta take him out first. <clears throat> Armin is. <gasps> Arminus, thank you so much for nine months. Welcome back in. It's already been nine months. October. Or no, 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 no. That would have been November, right? Okay, he's done. Shockwave him. Love it. Love to see it. Garrus wouldn't Next. have been dumb enough to turn his He's back coming. on Saren. <laughs> yeah, but I think that shows like how crazy it was. Because Nihilus didn't even think that he was. It was the indoctrination. The indoctrination Next. made it so you this wouldn't have assumed it. Down. Mm. No, 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 Creed. So it says Mass Effect Two, but it says Part Four, as in this is the fourth day that I'm playing it. I guess I could change it to day four to make it a little bit more clear. Cause I get the confusion. I think I'm so used to YouTube where I say part four or three or whatever. One down. Feeling woozy, what's up? Welcome back in. Happy Sunday. This is getting crazy. Shield generator, do I need to shoot these? Yeah. All right, shoot the other ones. One down here. Nice, last one. Need to get there. It is. Oh come on, really? Look out! Might be. He might be the target. Storm. I would say he's out. Ah! No! Get out of here! That? Ah! What is? Uh! <laughs> my body connects. I'm like, my body sticks to anything near me. What? Is... <laughs> Stop grabbing everything! What is this? What? That was not a. Oh. That's some bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. My body flies over the ocean. That's. I grabbed everything except for what I really needed to grab. My crew can attest to it. I stick. Okay, there does come a point where I have too much they of a brookie. Their armor. And it almost becomes like a detriment. It, uh, has, it backfires sometimes. All right, hit him with this. Hit him with this. He got him. I was playing God of War Ascension today, so I can relate. Sometimes I feel like we just have those days where I don't stop dying. All right, go over here. 
Broadway, what's up? Welcome in. Welcome back to this thing. All right, here we go. We gotta hit the uh, last one. Ah! Rookie has diminishing returns. It's true. I took one too many bites. Slide to the right. Slide to the left. Freeze crawl. I would say let's hit him with an arc. Shield's gone. Yeah, I need to start using the arc more for the shields. Burn nicely. Cha cha, real smooth. <laughs> Grabbing the thigh. Sorry, what thigh are we? Sorry, what? Kill him. This level is difficult. This is the most difficult time I've had in this at all. Like in the entire series. A9, thank you so much for the gift of sub to eternity as well. Alright, let's break down his shield. Maybe, I think it counted as him being... No. Stuck to the wall? Alright, I need to get shields back up. I appreciate you guys sharing how it was for y'all. Cause y'all know I can be so hard on myself. Let's do the weapon. I <sighs> actually let's go ahead and switch back to this. Get that oh that guy is shield still. Shoot. Ammo right there. Okay. I got the ammo. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Bad placement, bad placement. Duck down. Okay. Take cover, wait for the shields to regenerate, wait for this guy to press up. Where's the jetpack when we need one? Imagine how much easier this would be if we had a jetpack. Coyote, what's up? Welcome back in. Ah. All right, let's break this now. There we go. All right, now he is good to go. We've got a, two guys, three guys moving in from the left, right. Ammo right there. Shoot. This is uh, not good. Good morning. Um. Which I was standing down with. Maybe he won't see me. Right, 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 right. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that shocked his life. <laughs> I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it and run with it. I'm not even concerned. Oh no, he's pressing up. He's pressing up. I've got no shield. Such an unre yeah, underrated maneuver, knowing when to retreat. Biting me in the butt. I also need to bring. I think I need to start bringing somebody on my team that can override or break down their shields. I don't know which one it would be. Nice. There we go. All right, get him. Yeah, road. This is the the road, the prison. Oh, that! Oh, he dodged at the last second. Most to wear blue sunburn. <laughs> Kill him. All right, get the guy in the bar. I know I could hit the guy up here, but that's the warden, and I'm taking him for last. You want some dits, dudes? All right, grab this. Nice reload. I'm missing Liara's singularity. I relied on that too heavily in the first game. Toto, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Did you see no feeling in his cheek? His pride was wounded. Okay, he's moving in. Sir, ah. sir. I've gotta get- I've gotta start positioning myself better. Oh! Okay. <laughs> There's 
smacking a pot in my left ear right now. What's going? <laughs> what is this? I don't know, but I can't unfixate on it. <laughs> it's just somebody's kid got hold of the cowbell in this section and just started playing it unrelenting. <laughs> We need to retreat back and I need to find a better spot to shoot him from. All right, and we had to get away from that sound also. You know when you start, all you can hear is that one sound. Firing it, on almost sounded, shot. it almost sounded like an annoying, like if you took your blinker for turning and just maxed it and went as fast as possible. The rookies have taken control. You know when I fixate on sounds that I'm going crazy. I think that was an audio bug. I was like, dee, dee, dee. also, have you guys seen the roof? I feel like we're at a club right now. What's happening here? All right, press back up. The brookie blinker. Nice, slide in. All right, it is officially time to... It's back. It's back, it's back. The roof is on fire. <laughs> To my right ear. Deploying incineration tech. That incineration is. Like... Ah! What do you mean? Why did I point it out? Because I can't unhear it. And if I'm gonna be bothered by it, y'all have to be bothered by it too. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Ah! And already, thank you for the 400 bits as well. Hey. Tari, it's you, Tari. Thank you so much for the four months, and I'm glad you're enjoying the FF16 playthrough. It has been such an honor to get to play that and share that experience with you guys. I love it so much. It's done. Thank you for the continual support. Sensory torture, I know. Set up for the prisoners. Oh. Don't be getting ideas on my ship. Cerberus. Oh. Uh, what is she what wearing? What the hell do you want? I feel like none of the other prisoners were dressed like this. I <laughs> kind of confused. I don't know what's going on here. Um, she got the Princess Leia treatment, and it's just kind of weirded me out. <laughs> what? <laughs> I will take the HR complaint on that. What? You're welcome. I just saved your ass. He was already dead. He just didn't know it. Now, what the hell do you want? I'm Commander Shepard. What do you mean? You're in a bad Red situation, blow. and I'm gonna get you out of here. Shit, you sound like a pussy. I'm not going anywhere with you. You're Cerberus. <gasps> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm on Xbox calls from 2007 for sure. This is made in the early 2000s. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Being my enemies then. <laughs> Jack's best girl. All right. Um. <clears throat> And now that we're back to this, we're playing COD, not me too. <laughs> so what? Why does it matter if I'm with Cerberus? They've been on my ass for years. Anytime I get free, they put a huge bounty on me. That's why Warden Curl figured he'd struck gold when he caught me. It mm. isn't working out too well for him. I'm offering to be your friend. You don't want to be my enemy. Shepard's combat ability impressive. Determination oh. equally impressive. Morgan. Enemies don't last long. 
You show up in a Cerberus frigate to take me away somewhere? You think I'm stupid? Also, I'm just confused. Are they supplying mascara and eyeliner and eyeshadow in prison? I just... How long does that take to get ready in the morning? And uh, it's like, were they giving, were they shipping her head for her? Yes? This ship is going down in flames. I've got the only way out. I'm offering to take you with me. And you're arguing. We could knock her out and take her. I'd like to see you try. It might just come to that. You'll have to kill me. Look, you want me to come with you? Make it worth my while. You don't have to bargain. <clears throat> Join my team and I'll do what I can for you. Don't make promises you can't keep. I bet your ship's got lots of Cerberus databases. I want to look at those files, see what Cerberus has got on me. Uh, you want me on your team? Let me go through those databases. Oh, bluff. Oh. It could be mascara, but, or it could, it could be tattoos, but that doesn't explain the lashes. The lashes. Yes. Hmm. Damn, this actually does pose a problem because a lot of my favorite characters do happen to share the name Jack. Jack Blades. Handsome Jack. That's pretty much it. But I guess we're gonna add a third one to the list. It'd be pretty close. I, yeah. Okay. I don't see why not to trust her. Bluff. I'll give you full access. You better be straight up with me. I don't so trust her. So why the hell it. are we standing here? Move out. Da Vinci, bye. Have a good night. Jack Skellington. Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack Sparrow. I was thinking games, though. I was thinking games. All right. So... This kind of backfired on me because I went after the mission that said Jack because I looked at the other one and I was like, oh, I feel like that's going to be another female character and Jack ended up being the female character. So I kind of played myself. I was trying to look for another. I mean, I did find another romance option. I'm sure. I don't know. That's scary. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's, we're not going down that rabbit hole. And me too trolled me. You were also the first person I've seen to take on, wait, take an alien on a Morta mission, but it actually worked out. No, it's funny, it actually worked out. I kind of wish that they did force players to take humans on the mission because of the plague and yeah, it was interesting to see that that didn't play an impact in that storyline. Solid, by the way, hi. Um, and Anon, thank you for the gift of to outcry. I did play myself there, Jack. I think we're going down the rabbit hole. We're not going down the rabbit hole. I'm scared of, I'm scared. I'm just scared. Uh, recruited prisoner known as Jack for the team. Purgatory's betrayal of Shepard unacceptable. Fortunately, was able to reverse credit transfer. May have to take steps against Blue Suns to demonstrate consequences of interference. Yes, do it. Do it. Never put your romance dialogue in crazy. <laughs> hey, Mose. I feel like she is the embodiment of a Black Widow. And we know what Black Widows do to their mate. And I just don't want to end up on the other side of that, okay? I would be getting used. And my shepherd is the user, not the abused. <laughs> I just didn't know. So you say, <laughs> what if she's actually really sweet? Maybe I'm just, I don't know. First, she's my spirit animal. I love her as a character. I'm terrified to sleep with her. <laughs> like, there's no, there's no question about it. Use the wrist every... Okay, so we got ablative six. Squad bonus plus 10 to shields, barriers, and armors. I like that. <laughs> Synchronized pulsar. Increases damage by plus 20%. Improves shotguns, heavy shotguns, assault shotguns for your entire... Okay, I like that. I like it. Credits, we found 25,500 and 500. Nice. All right. Let's go talk to all of our characters, talk to Jack, and then we are also going to go after our, I believe, final mission of finding Welcome somebody. Welcome to the Normandy, Jack. I'm Miranda, Shepard's second in command. On this ship, we follow orders. Tell the Cerberus cheerleader to back off, Shepard. I'm here because of our deal. <laughs> okay, I kind of like her again. Yeah, maybe she bakes the best cookies <laughs> for orphans in her free time. No, I think she's going to have some awesome character arc. I think it's... um. We just got off to a rough start, but honestly, <laughs> I think all of my 
uh, m uh, Grunt choked me right away. She called me out. <laughs> First impressions have not been great with any of the people that I've added to my team, but that's okay. I'll give her time. Also, why is my neck so like... I've never seen... <laughs> what is this angle? I know. <laughs> Jack is the sexy god girl. Oh my gosh, Itachi. <laughs> she should help you more in combat. Ah, uh, yeah, I bet she has singularity or something like it, and I'm here for it. She might become my favorite. I'm not sleeping with her, but she might become my favorite. Joker put a kick me sign on you. I could offer it right now. Get settled in and I'll give you access soon. Right. Mm. Might want to hurry on that. You know the damage I can do inside a frigate? Do I need to put her in the holding cells? Just to be safe? Neck rating? Yeah. No thanks, precious. I'll find my own place. Somewhere near the bottom. I don't like through traffic. Don't keep me waiting, Shepard. I'm still waiting on that because I don't know how she's going to play out in this situation. So I am trying to keep our cards closer to us. I don't know. Renegade plus two because I lied to her, I'm assuming. Yeah, I probably that could come back and bite me in the butt for not truly giving it to her. Mm hmm. All right, briefing conference. Let's go talk to you. I'm not going to offer her a three cents. As soon as the combo's over. All right, let's see what Jacob has to think about this now that we have another person. Can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. Let's do this later. <laughs> that kind of... That... Uh, okay. We'll talk later. Commander. The new processing. The new Caden. Somebody should remind him what I did to my Caden. He's playing hard to get. Now all of a sudden he's playing hard to get after I told him that. Okay, Shepard, glad you're back, but keep an eye on that last one. We can only hold so much crazy. I know. Oh. Yeah? I assume everything's going well up here. We're just having an argument over personalization of my workspace. Cerberus regulations are clear, Mr. Moreau. Personalization does not include grease on my bridge cameras. <laughs> it's just mad that all its footage of me looks like a dream sequence. <laughs> That's it for now. See you, I Commander. love their kind of banter between them. All right, that's that conversation. They didn't have any good things to say about me. Let's start at the bottom level and go down, or go up from there. Got him. Kelly, what do we got? Jack's tattoos are beautiful. As colorful as her past, I'm sure. I have concerns with her temper. I forgot that she's an actual character that I can talk to. Did that happen to anybody else? Edie and Joker are so cute together. Edie and something about Joker reminds me of Claptrap, and that doesn't make any sense. Kelly is HR. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to avoid her. Are you kidding me? What do you mean? You have worries about Jack? I know Always she'll be solid under fire, but her attitude suggests deep personal issues. She pushes people away, yet approaches sex casually. I don't think she understands her own motivations. Just be careful when talking about personal matters. Wait, what? Are you sure she's HR? Are you sure? <laughs> also, how does she already know? What is what? <laughs> Why is that my first conversation with her? Ernie with the gifted sub to team Kelly. <laughs> I'll be careful. I'll do my best not to piss her off. Please warn me if you fail. I want a chance to hide. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Well, I want to know how you already slept with her this quick. How do you know? Let's chat. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Oh, well, that's cute. This organization has a dark reputation. I haven't gotten to know these. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. Hmm. Does Cerberus hate aliens? Sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. 
Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister's oh, we, we, we did do we did I do these. Yeah. I also love Asari, That's right. Orion, Turian, Solarian. Because I remember Anar, the dog and cat one, yeah. I don't know how I already forgot my conversation with her. I think a little bit of it is like, um, it's the, the short hair. I, I, yeah, it's the short hair for me. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. I don't think anything that's else, true. Commander? I don't think that's That'll true. All. If I go over here and there's no unread messages. Oh, there is. Also, he wants to talk to us in the debriefing. Yeah, I think the way that they kind of put her was that she, to me, seemed like she wasn't... She kind of seemed like a Presley to me, where we had, like, one conversation. I didn't realize that we could actually nurture something with her. She's really sweet, though. Did you hear her? She is She is adorable. I forgot our conversation. I don't know why I did her so dirty. I remember we talked to her at the same time because of the line. Yes. It was that specific comment where she talks about it. Ah... Wait, she had a different hairdo in the OG version? Uh, when do you guys had uploaded the difference between the two? All right, this is from Omega Clinic Desk. Commander, I wanted to thank you again for saving me from those Batarians. I thought I'd seen the worst of people's anger and fear at Dr. Solis's clinic. I had no idea how much anger his work was keeping in check, how bad it really was. If not for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. The clinic is doing well. You got rid of most of the plague, and I've been able to handle the rest without too much trouble. The Blue Suns keep offering to take over security here. I keep the mechs powered on. I won't make the same mistake again twice. Thanks, Daniel. Mm, the hair was bad in OG, me too. I gotta go back and see that image. Kelly was 10 out of 10 in the OG. I think she's nice in this one. I don't know why my brain's not considering her as a, uh, I think it's because she's not a like, you can't choose her to go on missions with you, so sometimes those characters fall into the, the background for me. If they don't leave, like, too much of a memorable moment for me. Like, the daddy bags guy, I'll never forget him, you know? All right, so down here, I think we do have... Wait, let me go back in here. Daniel. Is lighting... The lighting in the original was much, much better for her specifically. I think you guys said that she's kind of blonde in the original? Jack, Grunt, and Zaid, and I'm kind of scared to walk... I'm scared to see Jack. I feel like I Kelly didn't instill a lot of, uh, I don't know, faith in the fact that Jack's Lieutenant, did you know we've got a crazy here for the right reasons. Squatting down in the sub deck? What? If she touches anything, I'll kill her. Oh, and the only thing she wears from her waist up is tattoos. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I should go down and welcome her aboard. <laughs> and she's a murderer, has biotic powers that could crush you with a blink, hates everyone in Cerberus. Damn it, girl. Stop toying with me. Okay, Donnelly is hilarious. Donnelly is a Chad. All right, let's go over here. I love some comparison screenshots. That was you, Django. That's right, that's right. All right, I was wondering if somebody would be down here. She's down here like... Mr. Daddy Bags. Donnelly... <laughs> Falky's like the worst Scottish accent possible. Hey. Upgrades? Hold up. What do you think of our mission? I don't care. I'm out to survive it, then cut loose. I want to talk. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm still finding out about me. Thanks for letting me look at these files. Oh, I did let her look at them. What's in them? Your friends at Cerberus are into some nasty things. I'm gonna find something I can use. I just know it. Her tattoos are actually really cool, though. Tell me about service. Finding answers, next step. Finding answers. What if the answers aren't what you expect? I'm not looking for answers. I'm looking for names, dates, places. About? What happens when you find what you're looking for? I go hunting. Anyone who's screwed with me pays. Their associates pay. Their friends pay. The galaxy is going to be a lot emptier when I'm done. I'm gonna let her do that. I'm not gonna tell her I can't let her do that. The tattoos all have meanings as well. Huh. I'm gonna get some tats now. I already have tats. I can't. I, uh, I have commitment issues with tattoos. I can only get like tiny little babies. Yeah. Oh, that's so true. Her tattoos are so cool that it would be hard to do a cosplay of that. And no, I'm not shaving my head ever. I can't let you do I won't that. let you go on a killing spree. I'm here for your mission. 
After that, what I do is my business. Fair enough. She uh, really looks like she belongs in the Borderlands uh, universe. I think because she is giving me Psycho mixed with Siren, like a combination. That's her earpiece, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's the the whole look. It's giving Mad Max. Yeah, the earpiece is really cool. I had noticed that earlier. Yeah. You see Jack, it reminds me. What? <laughs> I jog for years and every time I see Hamilton. <laughs> I know this because of the people that do marathons and stuff talk about that. Hi, Jerry. Shadow, thank you. I think that's pretty much it for that, though. What's your history with Cerberus? They raised me in a research facility. I escaped when I was a kid. Thanks been so. on the run ever since. And they've been chasing me ever since. Oh. But soon, I'm gonna chase them. Okay, that's actually a really cool shot. I just got Jack, we ma. You don't have to live in this pit, you know. It's dark, quiet, and hard to find. That spells safety to me. Oh. 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 You know, this ship is a powerhouse. You could go pirate. Live like a queen. I could help. We have to stop the collectors. I don't have time for <clears throat> piracy. When this is done, we'll either be dead or out here in space with this ship. Think about it. Lots of creds. Freedom to go wherever you want. And all the mayhem and fighting I could want. You enjoy killing. What is it about killing that fascinates you so much? I figure every time someone S dies and it's not me, my chances of survival go up. Simple. Hmm. I have a feeling she's gonna have a really cool story arc. I should go. Yep. I want to know more about her past as well. Yeah, she's probably going to end up being one of my favorite characters by the end of it. Pirates, Jack Sparrow Fuller. All right, so after that, we talked to those two. I think we can head back up. Ultimate Strife, thanks for the follow and welcome in. I didn't like Jack much, but the older I get, I understand her. Yeah, I mean, I think she's a survivalist, and I'm pretty sure, like, we don't know anything about her history yet, but she definitely was probably raised in some intense situations and so she's done what she's had to do to stay alive and some ultimate thank you hi and turtle turtle thank you for three months i'm so glad to see you're still enjoying the channel community z i forgot i always forget about z because he's all the way back here in the starboard cargo oh and uh i need to talk to you, my boy my other boy grunt this mission takes me back he doesn't have well, that was our conversation with him. Jack, subject zero, whatever you call her. Hell of a girl. Could have used a destructive little bitch like that ten years ago when we dropped blind into the Krogan DMZ. Took out a lot of Krogan that day, but we lost way too many men. Hell of a... He, uh, somehow it kind of goes with his character that you only ever have, like, you have to interact every single time to get him to speak. Does that make sense? Instead of him actually having the cogwheel? Get a knife stuck in the right way, and you can pull that plate right off a Krogan's head. It's the best way to get a Krogan to talk. The threat of it drives him mad. Oh, it's because he's DLC. So it's not as integrated throughout the store. Ah. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. In fact, after it, did Ellie give him even slight conversation pieces while you progress through the story? Or did he always have it? Or no, because if he was DLC when it first came out, he wouldn't have had to have them. I should let you go. Talk more later. Okay. Well, that's pretty much that. But we do need to go talk to Grant. I thought it was a personality trait. Yeah, for Grant. <laughs> I mean, it kind of would have made sense, but both, yeah. Shepard. Just checking in. Making sure you're acclimatizing. I love Grant. I was just, just sitting here thinking. Picture. I'm finally starting to get it. 
There's yeah. a tank imprint, the battle at Canrum. A dead Turian, stripped. You don't see them out of their armor much. A Krogan boot on his head, and a claw hammer. It's under the brow plate, pulling it back, right? Eyes have gone black, and you see tension in the muscle. You can feel it ready to snap. I get it. Uh, context. room isn't ringing a bell. Death of Shiagar, female warlord. Turians killed her, so they were hunted down and made examples. Even if they won the war, it was the last push before the rebellions ended. Mmm. Maybe I had to be there, but I don't get the joke. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before, but now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. I thought you'd be glad. What about Karis? I think it's so cool how you're kind of getting to see him grow up. Like, it's hard to imagine that he's like this at two weeks. But yeah, he would start to be forming different thoughts and feelings, and it's almost like he had a blank slate, and it's so fascinating every conversation we have with him. Don't start anything with Garrus. I won't have trouble on my ship. I don't hate Garrus. I hate the Turians. Garrus is just one Turian, and he's your clan. No point in ripping his face off unless he turns on me. It's hate, but it's mine. Okir was blind, and he tried to make me the same. But I'm starting to feel what they did. To see why I should care. Mm. Anyway, I'm still figuring where I fit, but it made me laugh. Nothing else really on my mind, Shepard. Ryan, what's up? Welcome in. Yeah. Yeah, childish, I agree with that. And Aussie, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. He said he doesn't hate Garrus. Nobody can hate Garrus. <laughs> Nobody. Hi, Garrus is <laughs> Alright, let's see. Not going into the men's restroom because he can do that. Wait. Nobody stays in the crew quarters, but. It's low key overrated. <laughs> That is my baby. Okay, maybe Miranda won't reject me for once in my life. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. Right, I'll let's let you try. work. Of course, Commander. Girl's gotta try. The commander's put together an impressive team. I've never worked with so many aliens before. They're a small army. We might just pull this mission off. Every single time, she's as cold as ice. Mr. X, thank you for the stretch. I thought I did. Commander, I, I very much enjoyed sharing that ice brandy with you. <sighs> but I hope I wasn't too unprofessional. Please tell me brandy you can't sleep with her. To my head. I enjoyed it. It's nice to see you let your hair down. The chair. Yes, I hadn't realized how much those feelings needed airing. But I didn't give you much of a chance to vent. So tell me now. Mm. What do you think? Uh, oh, I gotta decide on that. Oh, I just saw something. Hold on. Ryan, what's your schedule you usually like for streaming in YouTube? Uh, so the, the archive channel, it fluctuates on when it, it's usually a couple days after the VOD itself, like after the stream itself. But for YouTube on the Let's Play side, it's Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays, which is separate content from Twitch. And Twitch, I normally am streaming like Sundays, Saturdays, Sundays, Mondays and typically Thursday, unless I have something like this week, it's kind of fluctuated. But the schedule always goes up in Discord or I'm starting to put it down below on Twitch as well. And again, welcome in. The good doctor is low key about it. We must save humanity. My feelings are my own. I want revenge. I don't think I'd want revenge, really. It is bait. Everyone's depending on us. You know, we won't let them down. They just don't make them like you anymore, Shepard. Well, promise me we'll share a bottle every year. The next one is on me. Ah, I like that. Paragon activities. Yeah, I gotta remember that even just talking to them for a little bit really helps. I do have to find this guy's stuff. He wants ingredients, so we gotta go to a grocery store. Miranda's is cold as ice. Next floor? Yeah. And now Jacob and Morden. <gasps> Let's go talk to Morden, get some upgrades before we go on the next mission. You guys up for one more mission? The elusive man wishes to speak to you in a brief Yeah. 
Which, oh yeah, I gotta talk to the elusive man. Um, do you come from the archive channel? Yeah. Trader Joe's is, Trader Joe's mess all run. Dragon Age party member mage. I do need to, oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Shepard, how can I help? Say less. <laughs> Next question. Uh, so we're done with that, let's do this. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, would like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie Weemo? of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Oh. Work on genophage was more than just study. I would. What was the special tasks group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Mm. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Savage. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. A Krogan scientist. Perhaps they weren't adapting. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike oh, caused by sorry, adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Okay. This was the best choice. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population, avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. Distribution of virus. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult. Few Solarians on Tuchanka. Mm. Team got caught a few times. Had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. Effects of modification. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Why not go all the way? If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. I still don't feel like it's great for them at all. What it, you did was wrong. You did the right thing. <sighs> this is such an, I, I'm really glad that this plays more of a heavy part in ME2 because that was one of the parts in ME1 that I wanted to know more about. Oh, absolutely. I mean, a lot of, there's a lot of missions and things like that that are very hard conversations. He's a smart, <laughs> I don't know if he's, I don't think he's really being a smart ass. I think it's like, um, it's kind of like when you deliver something and it's like, you're not wrong, you're just an asshole. It's just cause <laughs> he is just blunt. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morden. I appreciate you letting me know. So they Wanted did you to know one... I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Tissue synthesis, good for free time. He is very analytical. Yeah, so he said that they basically reversed the effects on one single planet. And that's what he was considering was righting the wrongs. He weighed all the options. I doubt he enjoyed doing it. Yeah, I don't think he, I don't think he does things, I don't, I mean, he enjoys science. I don't think he makes decisions based off of like any personal gain whatsoever. Yes, almost trying to convince himself. Huh. It's like you're talking to a robot. 
I feel like he has way more personality than just a robot. Also, Tay, Tay, welcome back in for 30 months. Did you just get off work? Oh yeah, it's 7.30. Justifying himself rather than Shepard. Yeah, does Ginger take care of spiders or bugs? No, not anymore. She used to. She'll like play with them, but she doesn't really kill them anymore. I think it's because she's like older. She doesn't, she's not as sharp. She's sharp, but you know. All right, we're gonna get the damage protection, which is squad bonus 10% to shields, because I think we just picked that up last mission, I want to say. Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Obi-Wan as well. Yeah, he's very mathy. I, I love how he is, though. We have a lot of supplies because we've been probing a decent amount of planets, so we're also getting increasing damage by 20%, improved shotguns, heavy shotguns. That's what we also, yeah, this the synchronized pulsar is what we picked up last time. Weapon upgrades, shield piercing. That's 15,000 though, that's gonna deplete our entire platinum resource, or a bulk of them. So let me see if there's anything else I can upgrade. Oop. Wait, what do I need for ship enhancement, by the way? Platinum, Oh, We should go digging for platinum. Broadway, thanks for the follow, by the way. I'm glad to see you've been enjoying the channel and your time here. I don't know if I want to get the collector stuff. I'm not going to use it, but I guess I have the resources, so I might as well snag it. I'll just get it because I can't leave it untouched when I get it. Ginger catches flies. Now she doesn't even catch the little flies. She likes to like follow them, but she doesn't attack. I don't know. It is a med bay upgrade, so it required, yeah, upgrades the Normandy's medical facilities with an advanced dermal regeneration unit. Using this unit will immediately completely heal your scars. Further scarring will not occur regardless of the actions you take. It basically is just if I want to not have my scars. I kind of like having the scars. I like it being reflective of my choices. So I think you're right. I don't think I really need that. But we could discover more that I'll actually want to unlock. Kiss, kiss, thank you so much for four months and welcome back in too. <laughs> thank you. The collector AR is pretty good, but you can't use it unfortunately because Vanguard class. Oh, you're you're right. I why am I sitting here thinking I I like Vanguard in the first I don't know. I like the You have to really like the uh lunge or the thrust or what is it? What is it? The charge? To really like that yeah it reminds me of fable it's a it's a sweet spot complete Z list i know you know that i have to unlock all of these requires one more heavy weapon ammo upgrade to unlock this heavy weapon ammo i don't think um we'll have to find that okay so let's go ahead and do the shotgun piercing then and with that we are all out of upgrades for this stuff But I did want to test something. I want to go into squad. I have two points. No, I think I should try to save for... I need to save for Assault Mastery. Ow. Yeah. Charge. Weapon Specialist. Fully upgraded weapon. Love it. Trust me. The elusive Thru man wishes to speak Thrust to me. Oh, briefing room. that's right, that's right. Sail on all the summer things this weekend? Dang! You got 12,000 steps in today, I bet. You probably had so many people popping in today. We have a few things on codex. No primary, secondary? Ah, planets. Purgatory, originally an arc ship, designed to carry agricultural animals. Okay, we read all that first part, I believe. Large scale skilly and verge, so it's the second part. Claiming to be in full accordance with Citadel law, the crew of Purgatory now regularly lands on planets or space stations, claiming that they can no longer hold their prisoners because of cost overruns. To avoid keeping prisoners under inhumane conditions, they will have to release them at the nearest port, dumping the scum of the galaxy directly into a local population. Faced with such a scenario, the government usually grants Purgatory's crew massive discounts in fuel, food, resources, as long as they go away. So, so is gummy. Some even, ah! some even offload their own prisoners to purgatory for a fee. Grateful to have a problem relocated somewhere other than their own backyard. 
Such unfortunates go into the dark depths of the ship, never to be seen again by their families or contacts. Purgatory is minimally armed with guardian defenses. Though a cruiser weight ship, it relies on the Blue Sun's fighters to prevent an attack bent on jailbreak or similar event. Which we pretty much knew all of this by going through that mission, but I just wanted to reread it. Because um, that kind of helped make it a little bit more clear of just how corrupt the whole situation was. Yeah, gasp. Bubamon, thanks for the hydrate. And AJ, I lurk a lot during Mass Effect, but I'm always here. Wouldn't want to be anywhere else. AJ, thank you so much. And yes, yes. I feel like these last two times have been so... Journal? There's one left, right? Stop the Collectors is our main mission. Citadel, yeah. So you guys ready for Master Thief? I say we do Master Thief and then call it an A. Travel to Zakara Ward in Citadel and input the password silence is golden in Kasumi's hacked terminal. So Zakara Ward on Citadel. Oh, I gotta go to the Citadel. I gotta go to the Citadel. This might be a longer mission than I'm like expecting, but whatever. We also need to go talk to our last two people. Wait, uh, we need to talk to, wait. I already talked to Jacob and didn't I get insanely rejected? Yes. It says Master Chief. I keep looking at it like that. You know I do. I gotta go talk to the elusive man. So needy. Good morning. I got super rejected. I talked to Garrus. Oh no. Yes, I did. He could rejected me too. Oh, here we go. Oh. Shepard, I think we have them. Horizon, one of our colonies in the Terminus systems, just went silent. If it isn't under attack, it soon will be. Mm. Has Morden delivered the countermeasure for the Seeker Swarms? Not yet. Let's hope he works well under pressure. There's something else you should know. One of your former crew, Ashley Williams. She's stationed on Horizon. What? Last I knew, Ash was Alliance. Why is she out in the Terminus systems? Yeah. Officially, it's an outreach program to improve Alliance relation with the colonies, but they're up to something. And if they sent Chief Williams, it must be big. Perhaps you should take it up with her. This can't be a coincidence. The collectors just happened to pick a colony with one of my former crew. I don't buy it. It shouldn't be a surprise the collectors are interested in you, especially if they're working for the Reapers. Mm -hmm. They might be going after her to get to you. Yeah. We should send a message to the Citadel. The Alliance can give us reinforcements. Not until you Smoking investigate. Moment. I don't want the Alliance getting in our way. Once you have the situation under control, I'll send the message personally. All right. Send the coordinates. We'll head straight there. Well... This is the most warning we've ever had, Shepard. Good luck. Maybe not straight there. We might take a little side detour real quick. Joker set a course for oh. Horizon. Oh. I've got to go see the professor. Oh, I, oh. I have to? That's not good. I I guess we know. <laughs> Tristan, hi. Tell me you have something. You got it. You I didn't know that I should Yes. I should have gone. Tim locks you into missions. Plot critical mission incoming. How long is this one? is a main mission. It can't be that long. This one is long. Lilith. Pretty we've long. We've got a problem. Still can't calibrate the targeting mean, matrix. Like an hour the defense two hours. are useless if we don't figure it out. Sorry, Chief. Getting our comm systems back online takes priority. Yeah. Okay. Surprised people haven't tried to blame that one on me, too. People out here don't trust the Alliance. It's nothing personal. What is that? Uh... She recognizes Get it. everyone to the safe house. Ash, not trust. Cover you. Run. The swarms. No longer than the Jack Ripper memos. 
Horrifying. Your eyes still moving during that? Copy tech, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Fly, you fools. They're truly terrifying. Also, yeah, Ashley was there when the Geth, the Geth attacked as well. Assuming control. He can't move, I guess. He can't leave the ship. We are the harbinger of their perfection. Prepare these humans for ascension. Doesn't seem like he knows Ashley personally. I don't know. All right, squad selection. Oh, it's done. We're ending this one too. Let's see, Morden, because I think he'll find this fascinating. Then Jack. All right, let's upgrade our points on our characters. So for Morden, let's go ahead and do. Oh, I do like his incinerate. Oh, cryo. Neural shock delivers a shock to the opponent's nerves, briefly incapacitating one organic enemy at a time. I don't know if I'm loyal yet. You should be loyal to me by now. Captain Thickrod, thanks for the hydrate and Ernie with the gift is of the Harbinger. Mmm. Okay, Brain Man, have a good one. Thank you so much for hanging around. Yeah, I know today's gonna be a little bit of a long pull. But you start a mission, you gotta do a mission, you know? It's a small but chilling line. Absolutely. I totally agree. And Reaper, welcome in, by the way. Different Reaper. I thought you'd choose Garrus since he was a part of the old crew like Ashley. That is a good point. Um, I guess I wasn't thinking about it like that. I didn't know if we... I wasn't... To be honest, I didn't know if we were actually saving Ashley or not or if she was already going to be gone by the time we got there. You spoiled it. Congratulations. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I want to test out this girl's powers and I also like Morden, so... Yeah, that's interesting though. Cause it's also, I'm the type of person that keeps the weapon as like a reference to somebody else just out of its significance. Sub-Zero. Unique abilities increase her health, uh, reduces the recharge time of her powers. Shockwave, she also has shockwave. She has pull and then warp ammo. Does extra health damage. I'm so, uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll do Sub-Zero. Adept or Vanguard? Oh. Uh, this is gonna be 2018 negative, wait, 2018, 25. Okay, so we're reducing, um. Adept. And then we're gonna put into Shockwave and then pull. And we'll save up for the rest. Yeah. Rat boy, I'm so far a joiner. We'll see. Jack is bay. Jack be nimble. <laughs> Everything about this feels terrifying. The structure of their ship to the way that they look, their voice lines. There's more than one rip reaper. They're uh multiplying. Anon with the gift of the ravens. Ravens welcome back in. Alright, Codex, y'all. A typical terminus colony possessing minimal tourist value. Horizon promises substantial economic opportunity, especially in providing new products for humans and supplying a Turian hierarchy. Surveyed 18 years ago, Horizon received pilot habitation four years later, 
The colony proper is now eight years old. Wow, only Blessed eight years. Blessed with verdant forests and abundant fresh water, Horizon maintains a colonial culture that thrives as a refuge from the increasing restrictions of Citadel-governed society. Mm. Horizon has attracted numerous dissidents, marginal people, and fringe dwellers from across Alliance space. That's actually really cool. Chris, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Gordon, you sure these armor upgrades okay. will protect Storms. us from the go, secret go, 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 swarms? Go, go, go. Certainty impossible, but in limited numbers, should confused detection make us invisible to swarms? In theory. In theory? Experimental technology. Only test is contact with seeker swarms. Have to test them in person. Should be exciting. <laughs> I think that's why I took him in the end of the day instead of Garrus. Well, one, I just picked her up, so I wanted to see what she's about. And he was the one that came up with the, the swarm thing, so I wanted him to be able to see it in action. Purple, but then I was already kind of posture checked, but now I get to relax. Great, thank you. Swims, I hope you have a good night. Thank you for hanging around. Yes, go before this mission captures you. Because I'm sure it will be a long one. Wow. I did want to switch the grenade launcher and I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Damn it. You're right. I got to remember that before the next time. All right, let's do this. They have massive barriers. Let's go ahead and bop them. Switch to shotgun. Whoa. All right, let's pop down here. Use nice. Those shields are gonna be more and more difficult to break down. I'm using Nice. Recharge. All right, he's down. Go ahead and shockwave, shockwave, and ooh, cryo blast. Destroy you. Reminds me of the first mission. Well, especially since Ashley's in this one too. You know, it just feels like that. She's always in planets that are getting. <laughs> She's always in the way. First it's the Geth, now it's collectors. She can't catch a break. That guy is stuck. No shield. He is a stuck. Leon, help! Alright, go ahead and break him down with this and this. Come here! And he's good right there. Not See, yeah, Morden also underrated is special ops, so I feel like you gotta bring him with you, you know? Alright, grab any extra stuff. Is that her signature line? I will destroy you. Cart, thanks for the follow and welcome in, by the way. Pyro, we're good! We got two new, wait. No, we just got Jack, right? No, we got more. Yeah, we got two people today. More, I need to start using the explosives, by the way. We got Morden and Jack today. And we almost got a third one, but then I got roped into another mission. Data pad. We're hacking. I actually just missed it right there. And then here. And that. That will do. It's like Ashley going for the planets that are about to get shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is why you don't leave Ashley in a place for too long. What? The way that they swarm like that. And me too, I'm loving. Absolutely. And also bread. Redacted. Collector ship disrupting communications. We're on our own now. Redacted, thank you so much for the 300 bits. My favorite game of all time. Hope you're enjoying this one better than the first. Yes, I am. Which I still liked the first one, but I just think that this one has increased my love for Heavy it. Fire imminent. Tenfold. Oh. Why are there so many coffee cups out here? Oh, oh sorry, you guys. Hold on. Oh. Hey, hold on. Cover. Uh, morning. Oh, what the heck are those? Huss? They're locking. Where are you? Where's the pass from? Oh. Nice. Oh my gosh. Run, 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 run. Run. Husk out, husk out. Oh. On target. Nice. Alright, there we go. Cryo. Nice. I want to show you a line was the inside joke. 
Because it was a one standard line of enemies from the first one. Oh, it was kind of like a callback to that. Gosh, oh my goodness. And this is why this is going to take so long. I'm just running out there. I also feel like personally, as soon as your shield breaks, you have two seconds to get undercover and then your health depletes entirely. Rattle, what's up? Welcome back in. Let's start out in the middle of the open. Hey. They're actually pretty weak, actually. Hold on. Once you break their shields, they're nothing. Yeah. Sir. Over here. Whoa. No, but you know what? It may be a long stream, but we're getting progress. Did I learn from watching Jenkins? Poor Jenkins. Jenkins is always the butt of the joke. Thought I was harmless, did you? Oh, Morden. Morden, sprinting in there. Thought I was harmless, did you? All right. Recovered. They are shieldy boys. Once you break the barrier, though, it's just not the best weapon. Not the bee's knees weapon. All right, let's go to this side. Get my shield back. Oh. All right, there we go. The thing is, is that shields are kind of OP in this game. I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Mm. All right. The shuriken's horrible. But I don't, I just got to find a different weapon that I can use in lieu of it. And I don't know when that's going to be. As soon as I can find more weapons, I will. Nice. All right, let's go. Sideways move one. Oh, wow, look at this nice bed. And the kitchen. I actually think these are really nice context boxes. I guess they're more than that. Huh. Good size pillows. Even a little plant. It's out back. All right, you guys ready to kill him? What have you guys been doing? Kill them. Come on. <laughs> They're happening. <laughs> Combat became Our more fluid like in this one. Sorry, I know this is important, but hold on. Prime. Husk technology came from Sovereign. Shit. Yes. So the it this did. man was right. The collectors answer to the together. Reapers. Me over here, focusing on the decor. <laughs> Smack dab in the middle of the fire. <laughs> I was walking past it. I couldn't walk past it and not notice it. It just is what it is, okay? It is what it is, guys. Mm. I don't, yeah, I need to find something else, but I don't know if anything will be. This There's gotta be other. Heavy skin weave. There's gotta be other ones that will be better than the shuriken specifically that still are that class. Don't actually answer that. Oh, was there something that was a spoiler? Looks half human. No, no husk creation spikes. I didn't Collectors skip that. brought husks with them, taking colonists alive. Some other purpose. Living victims. They look different. These aren't the same creatures I fought on Eden Prime. They're more advanced, evolved. They still die when you shoot them. Hmm. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? Sounds almost worse than what Cerberus did to me. Find out for sure when you stop them. I do want to know her history of Cerberus more. Let's go and save the colonists. The collectors aren't getting away with more victims. Let's move out. Take Whatever you home. say, boss lady. Boss lady. All right, keep heading in. Peaceful. Temporary trip. It really takes a lot of chemicals for me to get this kind of quiet. No Here we go. signs of resistance. Must have happened quickly. Wait, what? Oh, I was like so curious what was going on there. Well, let me just heal up. They weren't attacking. I guess they didn't notice that we were there. All right, let's grab this med kit. Oh. Are these like their coffins? Like vampire collectors? I just, I smacked him to death. Oh. 
I know that they're fighting them right now, but see, they're putting in work. They're getting it done. One up top. Going to the fridge for snacks. Why didn't I think about that? Lost shield. <laughs> that couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> you introduce them to eternity like Liara. Oh, Liara and eternity. Where's he going? Sir. There we go. He was he wasn't dead. I wasn't beating a dead collector. He was still very much alive. There's another one. There's so many. Also, who's up there? Is that a human up there? Looks like a human, right? There we go. Not enough damage. Yeah. There's something going on there. He's stuck. He's frozen. Oh. He is frozen. One down. Jack will be fine. Jack's nimble. All right, go this, go that. She's back up, see, we can already use her. All right, let's head into here. Oh, the bunk beds, ooh, ammo. Don't act like you're not dying to see Liara again. I wonder when we will find her again, but I don't know. Look, I just find it interesting that just because, like, you were with her in the first one, they give you a picture of her in your office. That just seems so weird to me. It was one time. Or maybe it was multiple times and we just weren't there for the other ones. I did say that I wanted to go a second round. Yeah, we gotta go save those people. Stasis colonists, yeah. Victim appears conscious, fully aware, trapped in stasis. Mm. Fascinating. They've been like this a long time. And they haven't done anything with them? They haven't grabbed them yet. Uh, sorry, that probably hurt me sliding that door on your back, but it'll be fine. You'll be alive. Computer hack. All right, let's do, ah, wait, this one. And, there we go. Sometimes it just takes a little while. Nice. It was one HR. 3,000 credits. It's really nice under different circumstances. I would maybe consider living here. I should have put a purple egg in your apartment. <laughs> Can you imagine? I would never hear the end of it. Never. Second helping of blueberries equals HR. Nobody gets seconds here. Um, well, they're in stasis, so they couldn't stop me. What are you gonna do? I'll use the money more. It's more likely to use it in a better way. Oh. That's not good. Assuming direct control. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. So he does know who we are. Oh, this is fun. This is what you face. Okay, it's regenerate. All right, I have the weapon that I have on. This hurts you. You are. Break the shield. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, okay. I might have maybe just a little bit underestimated uh, the Harbingers. <laughs> um, that was bad. That was really bad. Oh, that hurt again. Oh, I'm on fire. Everything's on fire. Everything's... Okay. Nice. Now I'm not, but I feel like, I feel like my characters have better positioning now. You know? Enjoy. Like, before they seemed like it was a mess. Like, he's gone. Yeah, try taking control of somebody else. I'll kill you all! This hurts you. I thought I was gonna say this hurts you 
And then I was waiting for the like, but, or the second part of that. But it didn't come. This time in an actual autosave. Plus we need to make sure we're looting everything. I feel like I've been doing a crap job at that before. Underestimating her adventures. Oh. Oh. I will direct this personally. You're directing? Oh, he's back. I see. You cannot resist. Oh, ow. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. Okay, burn him. And level shockwave level him. Level nice. Level okay, we need to keep Doesn't moving matter. up. Good job, y'all. Crushing it. All right, he's down. Cryo. Is that another harbinger? Not difficult. Morden. Not difficult. Let's go for this guy over here. All right, shockwave, shockwave, and fire. Snug and Judy, guys, thanks for the follows and welcome in. All right, I need to hop over here. And then, no! Uh, you probably have to start all the way back at the very beginning. Because they're cruel like that. Sniped. I think I should stay over on this side of things. It's going to be bad. All right, let's go with the arc. I was so close. I was trying to hop. There we go. All right, that should be good. Switch over here. We might have to do this a few times. He's not easy. Okay, he's gone. Oh, no, go faster. Ah! Shockwave, shockwave. Heal. The Harbinger's no joke. Okay, let's go fire and... I think I shouldn't press until this section's done. Like, I feel like this is a good spot to be. I don't know if we should be going forward or not. Or is he assuming control? Which one? Let's go arc. I think he has a shield still. Am I just not doing any damage to him? Okay, armor, use this. Go back to this weapon. I gotta pick up some ammo. Mm, let's go around this side. So tough. What is that, ammo? AJ, I hope I see you tomorrow. If not, have a great start to your week. Thanks for hanging around. Oh, oh. Nice. Liara's bay. What if we see Liara in this mission? Yeah, process their um their follower emotes. Okay, I guess I can take cover right here, and this isn't the worst spot to be in. Feels kind of flimsy, but it should work. Should do the trick. Okay, that's my favorite voice line she does. Lab. Hmm? My shots have been crap. I'm not doing well. She's like, move, get out the way. Okay, where is he? Fly, you fools. All right, let's pick up all this juicy ammo. Also, progress. Thank you for the follow, by the way. I'm glad to see you're enjoying the channel. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the emotes as well. Collector particle beam acquired. The following squad members are now able to use the weapon. Collector's particle beam. All right. I should save. Thank you. Thank you, Damon. All right, let's hack them all this first. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was it? Oh my goodness. All the way over here. Let me save after this. Oh, nice. And boom. 
Is Twitch messing up today? Shadow, were you saying that earlier? I think you were saying that, right? Somebody's- Oh, I didn't loot all the way. I missed some loot opportunities. No! I thought this was just gonna be- Oh! Who is it? Company. Get out here. Now! You're- Oh. You're human. I see, Star. What are you doing out here? You lead them right here! They knew you were here? You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought no. they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, oh, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. Hmm. Who are you? What's your name? What do you do here? Name's Delan. Mechanic. Delan. I came down to check on the main grid after we lost our comm signals. And I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Chief Williams here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. Okay, Chief Williams. Martin, thanks for the follow and Falky. Okay, that's good to know. And Jeff, hi. Tell me more about this Alliance rep. Chief Williams? Heard she was some kind of hero or something. That mean nothing to me though. Would have rather she just stayed back in council space. Why was she here? Any idea what she was doing on Horizon? Supposed to be helping us get the defense towers up and running. I got the feeling she was here for something else. Spying on us. What maybe. would her game be? Defense towers? Tell me about the colony defense towers. A Light gift from fight. the Alliance. High-powered guardian lasers. Supposed to keep hostile ships from landing near the colony. Had to build a massive underground generator just to give it enough juice. Mm. Only we couldn't get the targeting systems online. So the Alliance gave us a giant gun that couldn't shoot straight. Stupid sons of bitches. <gasps> Blaming the Alliance? Why do you think this is the Alliance's fault? We're just a small colony. Is he a New Yorker? Nobody bothered us before we started building those damn defense towers and Where's drew attention Boston? to ourselves. I left council space to get away from the Alliance. Nothing good ever comes from getting mixed up with them. It's not their fault. The Collectors are targeting remote yeah. colonies. The Alliance was trying to help. I don't are need you? their help. Too many strings attached. That rep said she was just here to get the towers online, but mark my words, there's more to it. We could use those towers, though. Already with the 400 bits, Ashley's legend is spreading. Now entire colonies know how much she sucks. Still better than Caden. If you have defenses, we can use them against the collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. Shouldn't be hard to figure out. Just need the location. Head for the main transmitter on the other side of the colony. Pretty hard to miss. The targeting controls are at the base. We might need your help. You know this colony and yeah. the equipment. You better come with us. Yay. Not a chance in hell. Fine, stay here. You're a coward. Ooh. I kind of want to be a renegade. Grey Wolf, thank you so much for the reset for four months in a row. And welcome back in. Calibrate. Why does that bring up horrible memories? You'd oh just yeah. Get in the way. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. All right. I'll let you out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any chances. I should just. Good shoot. luck. I think you're gonna need it. Frosty, thanks for the hydrate. Oh, but you can't. I mean, you can't. What they don't know, they don't know. Ah, uh, okay. Weapon locker. This is gonna help. Thank you for the hydrate. Mm. Hear me out. Shepherd. Stupid shuriken. Never get away from it. Missile launcher. Oh yeah. Also, let's go with the katana shotgun or was it the incinerator? The guest shotgun's pretty good, not gonna lie. This one. All right, and then Jack. Jack's gonna get the geth plasma. And then Morden will get the... All right, I think that's good. Can I loot his safe? Yeah. You can stay here, but I'm taking your 6,000 credits and your med gel. Is this the door I need to go? Is this the same spot? 
Uh, no, the missile launcher is going to be awesome. Are you kidding me? It's going to be so cool. And new shotgun. All right, let's save. I can't. So that's nice. I can't even do a quick save. Behind us. Look at all of these little mini. Is this cutting grass? No, these aren't little lawnmowers. I got excited. What are they? I want to know what they are. Okay, up here. Say Baltimore accent. You hear the bugs. Jack, move! Oh, hus, hus, hus. Oh, ow. 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 I gotta go. Making <laughs> contact. You hated the missile launcher? I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting bopped by the hus. There's a slap no off. Oh, it's the harbinger. They look like riding lawnmowers. That's why I thought they were. 100 credits. Ah. Some zip. Ah. I've got whoa, no whoa, shield. Alright. Oh. oh, relax. 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 Alright, oh. those guys are moving out. Harbinger is right in front of us. Our is oh, right there. Resist. Oh, that didn't feel good. I don't know. We're going to see how it goes. I haven't used a missile launcher yet. I have a feeling I'm going to get myself killed with this one. Where'd he go? I know you feel this. Why is this so... Why? How could you hate that? Do not die. See the way it's... Sending it. Launch me. Oh, oh, oh. Get him, get him, get him. Oh! I gotta run. One stray bullet can smack my brain open right now. Okay. Alright, let's switch out of this. I don't use all of this. I'm gonna save this. I know you feel this. Zion? Wait, he just tossed... No way. He can also throw... He's throwing shockwaves, I think. <gasps> Run! Nice, nice. There's a targeting system, kind of good. The fact that I never have to aim, exactly. <laughs> I can just fire it. Fantastic, although I don't like the Scions. I can already tell those are gonna be brutal. I need to find some ammo. They're a pain in the ass. I can feel like if they actually hit you or they get up close. Like, did you see how charging him did nothing against his armor? Maybe you're not supposed to like charge into somebody who's armored up. It's one massive cyst. It reminds me of the flood. I feel like everything that looks bubbly like that reminds me of the flood. Yeah, but there hasn't I'll been take anything. It. Oh, biotic damage. I love all the upgrades we're gonna be able to get. Oh, okay, I already got that. I wanna make sure we're not missing Surprise, anything. We haven't run across more frozen colonists. Why is Sir armored up here. like that? Alright, we should head up there, but there might be- Oh! Jack, you okay? I think we're gonna- Oh, bypass the door. You hated the science. If they give us multiple, I can see how they'll be horrible. Or maybe when you do it on- Huh. If you do it on insanity. It's a halo enemy confirmed. Halo's on my brain confirmed. Nobody tell Ryan. Everything's clear. Oh, wait. For the first time, it got very tough if you don't... Oh, that's why. 3,000 credits. If you don't know what you're doing. Keep your distance. Hide behind things. Pop your little head out. The only part that kind of bothers me is when you're taking cover, right? Okay, never mind. 
Like, okay. It's not doing it, but I'll tell you when it happens. Yeah. <laughs> Only hands. Jargon. I would have never guessed that. Oh, wait, it's right there. Hmm. Is it really coming down hard there? I'm surprised you still have power with that. It's like anytime there's been severe weather here, I lose power. Also, Anon, thank you for the gifted sub to Faisy and Wolf. Both of you guys, I hope y'all enjoy the sub and the emotes. Thank you. This is such a battle scene if I've ever, oh my goodness. Two, there's two. What did I tell you? Whoa, oh my, oh my, oh, oh no, oh no. Launch it out. Shield the fail. <sighs> so I can see why the missile sucks though because it's going to go after whatever's in its way. What's ever closest to you? <laughs> Oi! Alright. Bad news bears. We need to be using the incinerary as much as possible. There must be a husk next to me. Husk, husk, husk! Ah! Oh! Uh. Ah! Okay, I'm gonna stay behind here. I feel like this is a good spot. <sighs> My character's dead. I gotta bring her back up. Oh no. This just seems like it's the hardest. They're closer! Oh, run. All right, we need to get out of here. I don't know, Texas. I haven't looked at it yet. I haven't thought that far yet. Switch to these. All right, Take use that. Try to pop that. That should do some... That should do some damage. No, no damage. All right, we need to break down this armor as fast as possible. He's down, he's down. I'm gonna take cover inside of these. Jack being made of paper. Jack is, uh, Jack is falling down. Okay, Scion down. Nice. One more Scion. Uh, more? Are you gonna do anything? Damn it. I didn't realize they're 100% armor. He's looking at us. There's the transmitter. Right. Journal updated. Just rush him. If I tried to smack him the way that I've been doing to the husk, uh, I think he would smack me 10 times harder and I'd be tossed across the map. Not this one, that one. And, oh, it was right up there. <gasps> this one, nice. Yeah, I know we did that. I was surprised. Normandy. They didn't seem copy? as bad as some of the other here. parts. Signal's weak, Commander, but we got you. We need help with the towers. Edie, can you get the colony's defense towers online? Errors in the calibration software are easily rectified, but it will take time to bring the towers to full power. I recommend mm -hmm. a defensive posture. I will not be able to mask the of increased course. generator output. Great. We play piggy in the middle while she sorts out the batteries. Anything else? Got any other helpful tips? Just one. Enemy reinforcements are closing in. I suggest you ready weapons. Thanks, CD. Always, uh, always helpful. Assuming direct control. Oh no. On the left. Oh no. I need some ammo. You cannot resist. All right, hold on. What do we got? What do we got? We got Hus. Basically, I just need to stay alive. We need to hold the line. Our power is up. Hold the line. Matched. Your form is fragile. A sniper would work so well right now, and that's not gonna happen, is it? Attack. They dropped like flies. I gotta bring them up. You will no pain, Shepard. 
You will know pain. I might need to put a shotgun on. I am leaving my squad. I'm not gonna even deny it. Uh, don't feel great about it, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's hard times out here. Got the shield. We just gotta break their barriers, and then we can get him. That little guy. Did I run out of ammo? No, we gotta go find ammo. All right, I think it's time to use charge. We cannot resist. Must be a brookie. Staying alive. Staying alive. Uh -huh. Nice. Okay. I need that ammo. Hold the tower? Is this like, is this capture the hill? Dang it, he's assuming control. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Moving around this side. Attacks will tear you apart. We are unstoppable. Oh! Oh, that's Jack, that's Jack, that's Jack. Down. Shoot, 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 shield down. He's moving in, he's moving in! Okay, he's all armor. Fry him. Just Shotgun. Your form is fragile. That's for sure. Okay, grab this. Charge him. I should have been reloaded before I did that. Oh! Oh no! 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 Oh no! Oh dear. Okay, that was such a horrible spot for me to be in. Why? This is charge always gets me killed. It's always charge's fault. I <sighs> should have been something else. I can't charge properly. I can't charge properly. It's I know it's a problem. Assuming control. Blame Hello. charge. It is a charge thing. This hurts you. No. Oh, and you want me like I just think he's gonna say this hurts you more than it hurts me. Every time he does this. You will no pain, Shepard. Unlimited we power. Are your genetic destiny. This hurts you. I'm dead, I'm dead. The problem's not charging enough. I feel like the problem's bad positioning. Although we could charge these guys. That would be an insta kill on them. Is fragile. Who's rolling up on me right now? I know hey! This. It's me trying to smack a husk. Ah! <laughs> Vanguard is such a. I feel like it's the up close and personal and like smack you in your face a bunch, and I'm just not. It's not my playstyle. I mean, I do like to go up and stab somebody like 10 times, but. You will not stop me. Okay, we'll get this. Third time's the charm. Incoming. You cannot resist. I'm also relying on my, on my, uh, my co-workers too much. Taking damage. I repeat, the line is split. Hold the line. Your form is fragile. All right, here we go. The husks are just so annoying. Nothing stands against us. All right, he's killing the husk. And all right, barrier's ah. broken. Barrier's broken. Fire. Or inflammable. This Bring Doesn't matter. Hold the, husk. Hold the line. This hurts you. Does he have any other lines besides this hurts you? Ah. Asking for a friend? Got you. I need to run up and get some ah. ammo. That has to make this section hard. You want to stay in cover, but then they run up in Kamikaze, yeah. Did I not pick up that ammo? I thought I did. There we go. I feel like you have to actually be... Like, your playstyle... Matters a lot in this game. At least for your first playthrough. Killed that one. Bypassing fail-safes and attempting emergency power-up. 
Nice. All right, they dropped more. Grab that. Whoa. Whoa. I gotta sprint up here. Run away. Okay, here we go. Take over. Tuss. His three lines in the same order. It is what it is. We are the harbinger of your destiny. Ow, that kind of hurt. Ow, ow. Uh, teammates? Anybody? He's if moving. I must tear you apart, Shep, and I will. That really knocked me inside the head. Your form is fragile. Teammates? I gotta run. Our power is unmatched. How many rounds of this do we have to do? It will not stop me. My attacks will tear you apart. This is what nice, you Nice, face. nice, 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 nice. Also versus Executor Palin from Mass Effect 1. Executor Palin, I've gotta remember the. I'd have to see the picture. Executor Palin, this is a bad spot. Focus on positioning, get back over here. He talks to you. Says the same thing too often. There we go. He's exposed. Shockwave him. Morden's so cute. Morton? Wait, Morden or Morton? It's M O R D A D O N, right? Oh, the executor, not executor. All right, that's not bad. That's got to be it, right? Or there's a third face. I'm thinking Morden Salt, Doubtful and I think it's Morden. Reinforcements Morden. likely. This feels like such a classic early 2000s. The husk came from over there. Sequential power up initiated. Guardian anti ship batteries at 40%. More coming. We're not there. What am I supposed to do? I'll work. Hey! What the heck? Alright, we got some ammo back. It's the noise they make when they start charging you. Taco Bell ordered. Oh, I know what's going to happen is these are the late night degen hours. Your form is fragile. Yeah, well, be I'm not a big like I feel like the companions abilities in this one. I'm not I liked them more in any one, but also I relied on singularity so much. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Xaver, what's up? Welcome back in. I'm on fire. Continue. It's the only time you ran out of ammo? So you just ran out Oh! I know you feel this. Why is he obsessed with me feeling like that? Oh. Cooper, I. Nice. 60%. There we go. All right, boom, boom. Send it. All right. Flutter gen. Regen. Huss. Huss. Ah, I no! There we go. Just the thing to help. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, I will. This is what you Can face. I, like, can I actually... This hurt. Hold on. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Our power is unmatched. I forgot that you. if you're behind something, it doesn't target the 
character. Your form is fragile as he drops after a few hits. Nice. Okay. That's gotta be it, right? There, yeah, there's probably like... This feels so repetitive! No way that's it. Gotta be more soon. No. But I wish there was one other spot where we could grab some ammo from. Oh! Only 10 more waves, don't tell me that. But we do have more bugs. More bugs. That's not a bug. Edie, we need that system online. That's Steve! Don't know what that is, but keep back. The Praetorian? Enjoy. He's on the ground, he's on the ground. He just put up a barrier! All right, it's time to use something a little stronger. Not stronger, he's, Woo! he's shredding me. All right. Batteries and collector vessel. Nice, armor only, armor only. Flammable. Ah! Or Rhoda, I, uh, I can see why. This is horrible. Oh. oh. He's gonna come up overhead. Shield up, shield up, shield up. Ineffective attack. Recommend he's on the ground. Else. Nice, hit him with everything we got. Barrier up. I think this is a good, like, circle. Warden's joke in the fight. Okay. Yeah, the barriers are the most annoying part. You've done this on insanity? Star Nose, welcome back in. Right, he's rotating out of enough time. JML, what's up? Welcome back in. Okay. Alright, now have him do this. No, I need to hightail. Stop! Stop attaching to things. Just stop attaching to things. Multiple impacts. Okay. Damage. <sighs> okay, don't do enough damage. Good burn nicely. The burn is helping. Hold the line. Target for the view. Problematic. Mixing it up. Hus? What did he drop? Are this Hus? Did he drop Hus? My shields are down. I wish they could break down his shield more. Move, move. I need to not press A and crouch near anything. Woo! He's on the ground. He's on the ground. This is perfect. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Reload. No, he regenerated his barrier. He got it back. Ah, uh, when he goes in there. Okay. We are definitely ringing around the rosine on this. I gotta, I gotta tear that down faster. I'm also gonna run out of ammo and have to go somewhere else. And this is such a great position to be in. All right, he's switching up on me. All right, shield down, shield down. Incinerate. He's on the ground and goes back to... Don't you get that shield back. I know I could be greedy right now, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna do it. I'm not gonna do it. Nice, there we go. Maintaining fire on the collector vessel. Please protect the defense tower from collector ground forces. I was trying to be trying to be patient. Patience, patience. Woo! I almost did, and I probably would have gotten shot and died right there and I would've cried. You're pulling out. Thanks, Steeler. Steeler, welcome in. Anon, thank you for all the gifted subs. Erdy with the thousand bits, guys. Thank you. Woo! I think it was just because I was no, able to cycle. Don't let him get away. Thank you. It's too late. What did you expect me to do? It's There's too late. We can do. Erdy, thank you. Half the colony's in there. They took Egan and Salmon and Lilith. Do something. 
You are a coward. Why are you coming out here and yelling at me? You're the one that. <laughs> wow. I didn't want it to end this way. I That's did aggravating. What I could. No reason for regret, Shepard. Nobody else could do better. Shepard. So annoying. Wait. I know that name. Sure, I remember you. You're some type of big alliance hero. Commander <gasps> Shepard, captain of the Normandy, the first human specter. Wait, she didn't get taken savior on the savior of the Citadel. I thought they took some of the humans. They didn't. In the presence of a god, Delan. All of them. Back from the dead. Oh, the good people we lost, and you get left behind. <laughs> okay. Screw this. I'm done with you alliance types. Ashley. I thought you were dead, Commander. We all did. It's good to see you again. It's been too long, Ash. How have you been? That's it? You show up after two years and act like nothing's happened? I would have followed you anywhere, Commander. I thought you mm. were gone. I... You were more than our commander. Why didn't you try to contact me? Why didn't you let me know you were alive? Um, I just woke up and I didn't even know two years passed for me too. I have important things to do. Too much time has passed. I wasn't even conscious. Not my choice. I, I spent the last two years in some kind of coma while Cerberus rebuilt me. Oh, now you're with been... Cerberus now. I can't believe the reports were right. Reports? You already knew? Alliance Intel said Cerberus could be behind our missing colonies. We got a tip that this one could be the next to get hit. It's I went to Anderson, this. but he wouldn't talk. But there were rumors that you weren't dead. Worse, that you were working for the enemy. Cerberus isn't the enemy. No, I, it's fair. I mean, I think that it would be a normal response. After everything we did on the first one, it makes sense for any of them to feel like that. Solid, thank you for the 100 bits as well. Thank you. And yes, I hope you have a great Monday. I was hoping it was Caden. What if he walked out? <laughs> I don't work for Cerberus. Cerberus and I want the same thing, to save our colonies. That doesn't mean I answer to them. Do you really believe that? Or is that just what Cerberus wants you to think? I wanted to believe that you were alive. I just never expected anything like this. You've turned your back on everything we stood for. Look at the big picture. This isn't about me working for Cerberus, Ash. Something far more important is at stake. You saw it yourself. The Collectors are targeting human colonies, and they're working with the Reapers. I'd like to believe you, Shepard, but I don't trust Cerberus. And it worries me that you do. What did they do to you? What if they're behind it? What if they're the ones working with the Collectors? Too hung up on Cerberus, ignoring the real threat. You're too emotional. I would say that a lot of this, I, I think it's really important to remember that this would be incredibly emotional, that not only, like she probably denied it, especially when the claims were saying that I was with Cerberus. So I think it's like a combination of being too emotional. And then also she is very mistrusting of a lot of, like she just has trust issues. You're letting how you feel about their history get in the way of the facts. Or maybe you feel like you owe Cerberus because they saved you. Maybe it's you, doesn't matter. I still know where my loyalties lie. I'm an Alliance soldier. It's in my blood. I'm reporting back to the Citadel. I'll let them decide if they believe your story. Okay. Don't go join me. She's not going to, but I'm going to at least throw this one out there. And Storm, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row as well. Thank you. I'm glad you're still enjoying the channel. She's being too emotional, but saying that to her face. To be honest, I actually like Ash because she shows a different perspective and I like games that throw out multiple different like situations instead of just every character being on your side. I actually like that somebody's kind of going against it and not just like your antagonist or like the enemy of the story. So I think that she rounds out the story more even if most people don't like her. It at least makes it more interesting. Yeah, absolutely, Falky. And I'm not like taking any of that stuff away, but I just think that it rounds out the story more. I don't want everybody to be on my side. You're the most understanding person when it comes to certain characters in this. Most people just have set biases about her. I mean, I'm gonna look at her and I think I'm not in really the right place to judge her until I know her entire character arc also. I'm only in the second game. Same thing with like Caden and all of these things. I feel like I want to step back and like look at the bigger picture. <gasps> like look at her at the end of all of it. 
go on and kiss her. Okay, we're not kissing or anything like that, but I, yeah. I think that she, at the end of the day, was the better pick than Kaden. It was as simple as that. Trying to romance Ashley. I think you could only do that in the first one. All right, don't go, Joan, me. I'm going to throw this out because I just feel like we have some stuff there. She's going to deny it, but my pride will not be wounded. I could use someone like you and my crew, Ash. It'll be just like old times. No, it won't. I'm no fan of aliens, but Cerberus has a history of being extremist. I'll never work for a group like that. So long, Commander. Good luck. Also, I started to understand her character more when you, like, hear Joker, more of her send history. send the shuttle to pick us up. I've had enough of this colony. Mm-hmm. Here for all, welcome back in. Guys, that mission wasn't that long at all. I think you guys were expecting me to die a lot more at the very end, I'm assuming. <laughs> if only you had Garrus. I think that, um... Yeah, I don't know. I think she helps make... Like, every single person kind of has a different stance and they have different opinions. I mean, look at um, Presley's, Presley's opinion. Presley was really against them having aliens aboard the Normandy. And then at the very end, he had that, that little nod that said that he really regretted having that opinion about it uh, when we were recovering stuff on the Normandy. That's just the Ash. Because she's against Cerberus. Well, Cerberus also, like... There's so much complexity there too. I mean, from even what carries over in ME1, you know, the diversity of thought. The last area of Horizon is very difficult, no doubt. The, it's the covering, yeah, the covering, I think what uh, Ernie said, the husks make that super difficult. Stormtrooper, what's up? Welcome back in. Mm, Jonathan, thank you for the follow. I think that she probably gets done really dirty because you instantly are turned off of her just by her opinion on aliens right at the beginning and then she is a bit of a she, i'm not denying she's an abrasive character absolutely I, she's not getting warm feelings from me whatsoever yeah going to go against the grain the praetorian isn't the hard part on insanity the hoss are yeah i mean i think we can all agree that i when it comes to games when you're a one-on-one -on -one combat it's all about just finding your in and it's not that difficult it's when you're having swarms of people we finally have a break in the rain yay saint dreamer welcome back in i've kind of said my point on this multiple times um i'm not really trying to beat like a dead horse if you want details of ashley's romance options let us know <laughs> i'll probably go back and watch some of the stuff i don't know i think in my second playthrough i'd probably flip it and save Caden. Um, I think I've never been more drawn towards doing a second playthrough than on these games, but it would have to be ME1 again. I'd have to go back through to ME1 again. The Scions? The Scions didn't feel so, so bad. Some of their stuff wasn't getting through some of the coverages, I think. Um, also, excuse me, welcome in. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. I played through all of these like four times. Also, the collector beam rifle was the best weapon to use at the last part of the mission, but you switched it to the missile launcher. The collector beam? I don't think I ever had it assigned to Ares. I haven't tried using it, but it would make sense. A collector weapon against collectors, I'm assuming, would do the most amount of damage. I've replayed Mass Effect numerous times and I've never saved Kaden. <laughs> um, love her, hate her. I think it is interesting that I think a lot of you guys have admitted as well that even if you dislike her, you can agree that she has a better character arc than Kaden. I think it's surprising to see how many people dislike Kaden more than they dislike her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Broadway, yeah. That was why I was saying, like, there's a major part to her backstory that kind of makes her mistrusting of, of anybody and everybody. Um... Yeah, the human comparison, or the human companions on Mass Effect. Combined with militaristic loyalty, her being suspicious makes sense. Yeah, she has a well-rounded character, um, and it's just a different opinion. And I think you guys had said something about what the devs had said. That was never the intention of the devs, for her to come across how she's being portrayed now. Caden's boring. I think I'd rather watch you playing through these games instead of playing myself. <laughs> The combat's not for you. The combat is a, it's a little rough. It is a little rough. Mass Effect was originally set in Manhattan, but chose to move it to an empty blank space to match Caden's personality. Okay. 
Erty. Oh. <laughs> Another month did you get me anything. Erty with the resub for 15 months in a row. I feel like you've been here for all five years. This just sounds crazy. Bleezy, I saw. Uh, okay. The collector beam weapon automatically equipped when you picked it up. And then I switched off of it. So I picked, I see what you're saying. I'm sorry, yes. I picked it up, I went and talked to him and then I intentionally switched it off. But you know what? We still got through it, so uh, what? Mm-hmm. Kanan dies every time, always. Male, male or female chef, regardless of romance. Kanan must die. Uh, it is, it is already. Yeah. Mm. All right, I this conversation is coming to a close. I feel like it it happens every single time. All right, let's see. Mission complete. Collectors escaped with approximately one third of Horizon's population. Friend Corporation will funnel supplies, monetary aid to uh, col colonial survivors. Collector leader Harbinger demonstrates a personal interest in Shepard. Unclear whether his ability to pause. Oh. Is this coming from his perspective? Are these like his words or is this just a super shortened version of all of this? Are we not supposed to speak bad of the dead? It's the Caden Ashley dilemma will live on for forever. <sighs> yeah. Caden wanted to go out like a hero. Actually, I think Ashley wanted to do it at first. I feel like she wanted to do it more. Uh, I think he wanted to do it more. It's Miranda's report from her view. Okay, I'm glad we got that clarification. Unclear whether his ability to possess his minions is cybernetic override, uh, indication of hive mind among collectors and even Reaper technology at work. Salvage teams capture collectors' bodies for study. We got collector particle beam that I flipped off, but yes, we will try to bring it back on and use it again. Yes, we need to save. Biotic damage, heavy skin weave, and 52k credits? The missions actually give you so much. Colony defense. It's always a Shepard, cigarette. good work on Horizon. Hopefully the collectors will think twice before attacking another colony. I didn't save everyone. It's not a victory. We interrupted the collectors, but they still abducted half the colony. That's better than an entire colony, and more than we've accomplished since the abductions began. The Collectors will be more careful now, but I think we can find another way to lure them in. Are you saying putting a planet up as a trap? Ash said the Alliance got a tip about me and Cerberus. Was that you? I may have let it slip that you were alive, and with Cerberus. You risked the lives of my friend, my crew, and that entire colony just to lure the Collectors there? A calculated risk. I suspected mm. the collectors were looking for you or people connected to you. Now I know for certain. And that I told makes you I sense. wouldn't sit and wait while the reapers and collectors gather strength. Besides, they would have hit another colony eventually, and without a way to predict which one, they would have abducted everyone. No more colonies get hit. And that makes sense why Ashley was on it. It was too strategic. It felt too good to be true. Dream, thanks for the follow, by the way. We have to make sure they don't abduct anyone else. I want the Collector stopped for that very reason. That's why we're doing this, Shepard. I'm devoting all resources to finding a way through the Omega-4 Relay. We have to hit them where they live. Your team will need to be strong, as will their resolve. There's no looking back. The same goes for you. Can I assume you put your past relationships behind you? <laughs> yeah, it's None not... of your damn business. If it affects the mission, better you should leave it behind. Shepard, once you find a way through the Omega-4 relay to the Collector homeworld, there's no guarantee you'll return. To have any hope of surviving, you and your entire team must be fully committed to this. Don't worry so much. My team is strong. Mm, I still need to build my team even more. Let me worry about them. You just find us a way to the Collector homeworld. I just want to be upfront about your odds. You'll need everyone at their best. His skin. I've forwarded three more dossiers. Keep building your team while I find a way through the relay. Is it trying and to factor careful, in Chester? Shepherd. The collectors will be watching you. We're always watching. I feel like is that Chester? Like, I don't know what's happening there. It looks really dry. Like, really bad. 
Yeah, factor right now. Yeah. Way we can do it. Hit the Omega Four relay. Take the fight to the collectors in person. Looking forward to the action. After seeing what those bastards did on Horizon, though, makes you think. We can do this. They're powerful. But we've got a few tricks for I feel them. Like I progressed too far Anyone in the story. Can stop them, we can. No argument there, Commander. Horizon just made it hit home. What we're doing, what we're up against. Gonna go take care of a little unfinished business. Oh. I imagine everyone else is too. Getting some closure, you know? I feel like I'm far in the story. It's making it sound like this is the like no turning back point. Okay. What well, I probably should do as many side missions and getting the other people as well. Closure. What kind of closure are you getting up to? Commander, sorry I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't oh, affect my duties. No. no, 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 no. I just wanted to end straight. I didn't want to have to have this conversation. No. I always have time no, for my crew. What is it? As I said, it's a personal matter. I don't want to waste our time if it turns out to be a goose chase. Oh, okay. It's not our relationship. Okay. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. Okay. I'm listening. I was My private log got an update about the Hugo Gerns back, the ship my father served on. It sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and requesting a rescue. Oh, Shepard, cool. that ship went missing 10 years ago. I hadn't talked to my father for three years before that. Well. I buried everything but a body. I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. You don't want to find him? I think you'd be more excited that your father might be alive. He wasn't around enough for me to have bad memories. It's an old, well-healed wound. But if he's actually alive and needs help, I also want to note that it's not normal procedure for distress calls to be routed to the Normandy. This was mm -hmm. passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Investigate? The ship and mission? Tell me about the Hugo Gernsback and what it was doing. Privately held frigate. I looked over the mission brief when it disappeared. Nothing stood out. Typical research and grab operation. Find an uncharted planet, stake a claim, and establish as large a presence as you can as fast as possible to shut out competitors. Hmm. Already. <laughs> My mind wasn't in the gutter as much as just... Oh, Anon, thank you for the gift of some to battle, and battle, welcome back in. Yeah, you always like killer tacos. I know, no, 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 Jane. <laughs> you didn't get along with your father? He made no apologies, I'll give him that. You make a mistake, you own up to it. Even if you keep making it. Whatever problems we had were a lifetime ago. Mm. I've had 10 years to get to where I am. And as far as I know, he's still a ghost. Let's ask for about Cerberus connection. Any signs that this is a Cerberus front? Who passed this to you? I doubt the elusive man would let a direct operation stake hold this long. If there's a link, it's probably just about money. Cerberus needs diverse holdings to fund projects like, well, you. And whoever sent this my way covered their tracks. Someone could be fishing for favors, or thought it would get under my skin. Who knows mm. with that bunch? Let's go take a look. Uh... I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. Hopefully this doesn't automatically that, start it though. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but it'll be good to close the record. Yeah. Bear with the gifted sub to and daddy issues. <laughs> yeah, I'm still alive. Did you say yes, I'm getting loopy, Falky? Did you say yes and yes? <laughs> yes. Let's do a poll on which team member to recruit first. I think I already have most of my team members. The Praetorians. Hovering tanks resembling a cross Don't between I? an octopus and a giant crab. Praetorians are well armored killing machines of mysterious <laughs> origin. Praetorians employ redundant systems from the multiple humans encased within them. Oh. Armed with eye mounted particle beams and capable of attacks at close range. They teleport to evade attack while regenerating their shields. Mm -hmm. Within hours after death, the organic components of Praetorian corpses 
disintegrate into a denatured pus, oh. while their mechanisms turn to ash. One specimen, autopsied within minutes of death, reveals a clue. Nanomachines may disintegrate the Praetorian's organic and mechanical components before self-destructing. If correct, this self-rendering hypothesis could account for three documented cases of dead Praetorians apparently releasing or becoming clouds of neurotoxic gases, causing suffocating paralysis and nearly instant death. In one remote facility, 17 soldiers died from gas inhalation while assessing the Praetorian. Any personnel in the vicinity of dead Praetorians are urged to protect themselves with breathing apparatus. It's a good thing we got the heck out of there. Hopefully the mechanics still, hopefully the mechanics stuck around for a little bit there. Lovely, <laughs> lovely. All right, what did we just get? Sonia, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around. I don't know what we just got. Pause scions. Though the exact fate of the species captured by the collectors is unclear, the humanoid appearance of the scions give nastily, ghastly, sorry, this is how you know I'm getting loopy. Ghastly clues. The scion's frame and skull are similar to those of the human or Asari, but the bone structure is overlaid with metallic resin. Posthumous? Posthumous? Post, oh, posthumous, sorry. Examination of their bodies reveal a skin tone resembling that of Reaper Hus, but their transformation process seems more extensive. Like Hus, they are cybernetically modified on a nano scale, so they can operate even in a hard vacuum. Poses rather than veins and muscle tissue join major portions of the body together. One arm is replaced with a construct that fits a large rifle, turning the creature into a humanoid weapons platform. And fleshy sack is supported by the creature's back and head. Hmm. Reaper. Am I just like, I was just like so focused on this. I also, a warrior, thank you for the follow. I need to put an end to this insanity, you guys. This is a really good time to head out. Because Reaper is being insane. Reaper. When you say Reaper, that happens. That is not. I don't think that is what is. I don't think that's what's happening. Reaper. I cannot believe you. It's. <laughs> I didn't even say the word Reaper. Talk to the crew first, please. Reaper with another 10,000 bits. What are you doing to me today? Yes, save. Yes, save. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm getting loopy from all of this. Yeah, overdue is welcome back in. You're just like holy bananas. I just feel like it's good to the point where you gotta stop. Like, I appreciate it so much, but that is in the so much. Chat did Commander, nothing. You a new message at your private Chat gets punished for the reap the action of reapers. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what to say. Thank you. Just Incoming thank you. message from Admiral Stephen Hackett, Alliance HQ. Hackett. Commander Shepard, I need to discuss a sensitive matter with you privately. I'll take this in my quarters. Uh, I don't want to go to the quarters yet. Wait, I'm taking a private message to hack into my quarters? Thank you. Cause, no. Squad members, well, wait, this is really dramatic. I'm getting locked into something. Commander, thank you for your time. I'll keep this brief. We have a Smith? deep cover operative out in Batarian space. Name's Dr. Amanda Kenson. Dr. Kenson recently reported that she found evidence of an imminent Reaper invasion. So why call me? Just this morning I received word that the Batarians arrested her. They're holding her in a secret prison outpost on terrorism charges. First visual I appearance. I need you to infiltrate the prison and get her out of there. As a favor to me, I'm asking you to go in alone. Hackett asking me to take it in my private corners. <laughs> Terrorism charges solo mission, Batarian relations. Yeah, what? A Reaper invasion. Solo I mission. I have a hell of a squad with me. I'm sure they'd help out. Kenson is my friend. If the Batarians see a squad of armed soldiers, they'll kill her. 
This is serious, Commander. Go in with discretion, or don't go at all. Juice box. I hope you've been doing well. I've been patiently waiting for your spoopy season streams. Juice box. Thank you for 37 months on our way to four whole years. Thank you. I wish they made this one available later in the game. I feel like I just got forced into this. I've been bamboozled. But I feel like this person might end up being one of our crew members. I just get that feeling. Tara What's Dr. Touches. Kenson actually doing out there? She's a deep cover operative, Shepard. We talk I'm only when we have to. I'd heard she was investigating a rumor of a Reaper artifact in the system. Her last report said she'd found it. A Reaper artifact? Dr. Amanda Kenson. What else can you tell me about the operative? Amanda's a top scientist and an Alliance agent working in the Batarian space. It's a deadly assignment, and she's one of the few up to the challenge. She and I go back pretty far, Commander. I won't let her run away in a Batarian torture camp. Uh... The Reaper invasion. I thought the Alliance denies the Reaper threat. That must be some proof she found. Kenson's team found an artifact out in Batarian space. She believes it's a Reaper device, proof that the Reapers are indeed planning to invade. I've known her a long time. If she says she has proof, it's worth checking out. It's interesting that Reaper popped in right before this whole mission about Reapers invading comes up. I'm just saying. The Batarians won't take kindly to the Alliance breaking into a secret prison. This is not an Alliance operation. It's one person going in alone to save a friend. If it were an official mission, of course the Batarians would be upset. You keep this quiet, Shepard, and there's nothing to worry about. You should probably talk about this then. Ah! All right, I'll save her. I'll make this a priority. The prison is hidden underground in a Batarian outpost in Aratat. I'll upload the coordinates now. You guys Once she's secure, confirm her discovery. We'll debrief you when you're back. Got it. Hmm. Pack it out. Very interesting. Wolverine, what's up? We have to do something about the Reaper threat. I feel like I'm seeing a lot of people trying not to spoil, but saying that they do recommend this being last for multiple reasons. I look so tiny. <laughs> I look so tiny. I like this one. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it still has some carbon fiber on the helm, so I'm actually really happy with that. Oh. Wins, thanks for the follow and welcome in. So for continuity sake, is this like the one time that I should, you know, let you guys kind of dictate when we do that one? But just, or just recommend when we do it? I don't know, if, if you feel like it will make it, will it make me, here, here, let me ask this. Will you, will it make going into ME3 more exciting? Will it improve my playthrough of ME3? Chat never lies. Yes, 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 eh, much so, okay. All right, done. So I need to just remember that that's our last mission. Can you guys, um, hold me accountable to that just in case I might accidentally start going down that rabbit hole or I might forget it. Also, wait, what? Oh, okay. All right, top down. We will talk to our crew first and then we'll, uh, skedaddle. Let's just say you were not ready for ME3. I wouldn't understand anything. Let's, um, go see Walmart Rex first. Make a physical note to slap it under your monitor to remind yourself that actually Hollywood, that's a really good recommendation. I just need to, I normally have sticky notes. I don't have them right now, but I'm gonna do that actually. <laughs> Shepard. Shepard. Just checking in, making sure you're acclimatizing. Uh, humans talk too much, like the tank. Come back later. Fair enough. That's all for now. Shepherd. Get the notes going. I already have the notes going. The notes are already going. I'm just kidding. He's his own individual. He's awesome. Look, guys, I miss Rex, okay? I need to see him. Put down WD-40 as well. Have I shared with you guys my cute little WD-40 can? It's like yay big with like way big. He's so, it's like a tiny little can. What can we do for you, Commander? Wait a minute. No, that's all the same. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Are they gonna talk? I think I messed it up. I didn't get to... 
Dang, nobody's being funny today. I guess we can go try to talk to her. Grunty is life. Life is grunty. It just reminds me of Groot and Drax mushed together. Jack, Jack. Hey. Bye, Talking about you, Jack. What are you up to? Immortal, have a good Still night. checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. Hmm. I wouldn't joke about that. Maybe later. Parabell, probably not. I, I'm gonna be honest, it's not really my, I played them when I was a lot younger. It's not really my game. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so. Uh, I've oh. been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. <laughs> I learned how to survive and not be a victim. The it's cult? Hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread, and guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. Didn't give one shit about me. What happened to them? What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? You don't trust anybody. You must have met some good people too. Everybody Phil, wants something. And because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all. And that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. That was a good one. Theft of a military? Yeah, I want to circle back to that. Wait. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. <laughs> destruction of a space station? This is the background space I wanted to hear station? about. You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Eleven I had some up. people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Mm. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. The piracy? You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. If you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. And vandalism? I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's, That's so what true. They call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater, they really liked that moon. Okay, that 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 sounds more like it. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not going to change. Hey, you know Shepherd. why? Invasive thoughts. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. So fuck you. And thanks for asking. I feel like that's as much of a, like, thank you for trying to care about me as I'm gonna get, and I actually am okay with that. Erdy, thank you for the gifted sub to Parabell and also to Bronx. Guys, I hope y'all enjoy this sub and the emotes. Yeah, I feel like she's just not used to anybody caring for her. Like, at all. Uh, the groups that she, like, joined up remind me of, um... The... Is it Marauders? Or what in Galaxy of the Guardians does that girl join? The ba Or what, Scrappers? I guess Scrappers, maybe. Cryo. I feel like for a second conversation, that was a win. I totally agree. All right, we're out of this floor. Oh, except for you guys will never let me hear the end of it. This guy doesn't really talk that Ravagers. Scavenger, yeah, Ravagers. There we go. I Back was thinking- for another lesson. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. You weren't Some even on there. <laughs> took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Jeez. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Oh. The shave incident. That looks like a full-blown shark attack. Doesn't look like a shaving accident. You want to know how he got those scars. 
my least favorite in the game. I think because he's DLC, I'm just kind of waiting for, well, maybe he isn't awarded the same kind of character arc as others because you're just not with him from start to finish. Choco is Weren't probably, I keep wanting to say Chocobo. On Horizon? Yes, if I hadn't oh. joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the collectors right now. Wow, <laughs> you really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creep the hell out of me. Yeah, I also don't think anybody wants to be abducted, no matter who it's from. Jeez. Where is your uh, from Black Lagoon? I've never seen Black Lagoon. Oh, it's an anime that you used to watch. And also, let's uh, let's take our bets. Is Miranda gonna reject me again? Probably. Oh. Shepard, oh. I find myself in the unpleasant position of asking for your help. I don't like discussing personal matters, but this is important. Of course. Miranda, you're one of my crew. Tell me what's on your mind. You remember what I told you about father building oh, a dynasty? A... There was another reason I went to Cerberus for protection. I have a sister, a twin, and he's still hunting her. Cerberus has kept her safe until now. She's living a normal life on Ilium, safe and hidden from my father. I didn't do anything. I didn't, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Only not anymore. Why are you telling me this? So you think your father's tracked her down? Precisely, Commander. My sources indicate he knows that she's on Ilium. I've tried to keep her hidden without impacting her life, but I'm out of options. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister's family before it's too late. He's too close. I need to relocate my sister. Hmm. Investigate. What? London for the 400 bits. <laughs> we saw your eyes. I Miranda's sister. London, thank you. What do you know about your sister? She's my genetic twin. We're identical, but she deserves a normal life and she's going to get it no matter what. Relocation? Did your sister's family know about this? Are they okay with being relocated? They know nothing. They're completely uninvolved. Normal. I told Cerberus and they're coming up with a positive reason to move the family. Dang. Okay. This is one of the shots. We don't have time, I can What help. do you need me to do? My father is extremely persistent. I'd like to go to Ilium when Cerberus is moving the family to make sure none of his agents get too close. My contact's name is Lantea. She'll be waiting for us in the lounge near the Nurse Astra docking bay. Okay. All right, so we're gonna help out her sister. This was a legendary shot. Is this like the shot? They made her more skinny. I posted a meme in Discord about angles, like a couple days ago. <laughs> well, she's identical. Oh my goodness, you guys. Bear with the gift of sub two. Eyes up here, buddy, come on. Please, they nerfed the scene. That's interesting. Garrus! Fab, Fab, thanks for the follow and welcome. Or Fab, welcome in. My brain. Oh, the game is famous for this angle. Garrus. Baby. There we go. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? At least she finally talked to me. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Oh my goodness, you've been calibrating for days and I just want your attention. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, come on. I mean, too, is actually the game, which taught me about the existence of memes. Because you had to look up to see if you were the first one. Those damn calibrations. <laughs> he plays hard to get, and I hate it, but I love it. Uh, why do you think we all replayed it so much? Oh my goodness. Uh, there was a point where I was looking up on Pinterest because I was trying to find like a picture for this that I was gonna post that I was playing this game. And I quickly exited out of Pinterest because there were a lot of interesting, not, not friendly, safe for work things that I saw. Miranda cosplay, <laughs> no. That's why calibrations are such a meme. Oh, I didn't know that calibrations themselves were a meme. I thought this was, I thought I was taking this personal, to be honest. But this is just Garrus. Wow! Woo! 
Look how wow. Oh. Oh. Ow, I just got a little dizzy. I feel like I am dizzy from that. Mass Effect has a lot of interesting fan art. Yes. Yes. It has its own subreddit. Of course. Of course. I need to learn when to use incognito tabs. <laughs> it's Pinterest. Why was there NSFW on Pinterest? I'm just going on there to see my, like, ideas for my house. I know. I gave everyone a whiplash. Codex? Uh, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna read that next time. Moradin? Oh, yes, Moradin. Oh, and upgrades. Oh, and Kelly. I saw the reports on Horizon, Commander. What you did was amazing. The report just... mentioned that Ashley Williams was there. How did that go? I miss her. We've been through a lot. Oh. I wish we could have had more time together. I understand. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? She didn't like that. She didn't like that I'm missing somebody else. Like you say, I can't believe it's been only five months. I know, Boobamon, thank you so much for all of your support. And also London with the gifted sub, wait, London with the 300 bits. Garrus loving calibrations is like cast a loving side missions. It was a match made in heaven. That'd be an interesting idea for your house. Uh, Mass Effect NSFW art, please. How is the crew? Is there anything I should know? You have Probably unread not. messages. Anything else? You have me? unread be messages. All. I'll be here if Always. You need mm. That's really disappointing. They raise the camera. Uh, I was debating on if I was going to mention this or not. <laughs> I actually tried to do us all a solid, and I tried to add the mod, but I guess it didn't work. Uh. Yeah, I guess I, I really tried to add the mod to it, and it didn't stick. And there was no way to, like, test it. Wolf. <laughs> Wolf, thank you so much for the reset for two months in a row, and welcome back in. I'm so mad about that. <sighs> Screw a Rex body pillow. I want a full, I want a wall Rex mural complex. Or complete with matching statues and fountains. I need Rex fountains. No, Garrus fountains with Rex body pillow. Mm-hmm. I really did. It was the thump that counted. I think it was because maybe I didn't start it from the, um, the thing. Yeah. Mupster, thanks for the follow and welcome in. All right, we have that. Let's talk to him. I tried to do us all a solid. Shepard, how can I help? Anything? Have you got a minute to talk? Later, updating crew dental records. All Cerberus personnel have cyanide capsules and molars. Primitive okay. ocular nerve flashbangs harder to disarm. Anything else? Okay, never mind. I'll let you London. Work. We'll be here if you need me. <laughs> London, thank you for the thousand bits. You're now my hero. I don't know why it didn't stick. We did everything, and I was walking through it with Vert, and Vert had tested it, and he said it was fine for him. No messages for you, Commander. Okay. I know. He normally says a lot. Not this time, I think, because I've exhausted a lot of their dialogue, and maybe he's waiting for the next mission. Each of them have different things. Side-by-side -side compilation videos. If you're curious what was cut off. I don't know if I need to see it. <laughs> I don't think it's something I have to see, but it wouldn't be so horrible. Oh no. Yeah, I think Pinterest is based on your search history. So I don't know. I didn't, I wasn't looking up. I think it's just because a lot of people post like fan art on Pinterest as well. And so it had a ton of that, but. All right, guys, I feel like this is a good stopping point. It is, oh my goodness, it's past seven hours. I thought I was getting into the six hour mark. I didn't think I was getting past seven hours. Holy cow, guys, we gotta go to bed. I gotta go, I gotta go. Um, yeah, that was a abnormal long stream. Remember when I said I was like, oh, it's gonna be a long stream, but not like that long. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting this length. <laughs> Uh, purpose and also tug guys. Thank you for the follows. Hold on guys. We're gonna go raid. Hold on mm. Oh, I haven't raided her wait. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I feel like I gotta <laughs> um, Let's go right. I'm trying to decide on the game. That's what I want to uh, Play Mass Effect and being surprised at how much Mass Effect you played is a classic it is it just pulls you into this time warp guys i would say let's go raid sea cat because i've not raided her for a while um 
We're gonna go read Sea Cat Plays. If you've never seen her, she's incredible. Also, like I love her Instagram. She's super outdoorsy and she's actually doing Diablo 4, which I haven't seen her play a game like Diablo or anything. I wonder how long she's been playing it for. Reaper. Reaper. Y'all. Just what the heck, you guys. All of you guys, like this goes beyond Reaper, guys. Thank you so much. I just want to like say thank you for your time and being here on Sunday. Reaper, thank you for so much support and all of you guys for being so generous. There were so many gifted subs and bits and donations over zealous your bananas, bear, Erty, London, all of you guys. I know I'm not even saying all of it. It's just too wound. much. Reaper, yeah. <laughs> the indoctrination is not working. <laughs> um, Riley, we're headed out, but welcome in, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow, tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. You guys better behave yourselves tomorrow. No indoctrination. Trivial, good night, Lewis, good night. Guys, please go share some of this generosity and just positivity over with Seacat. She is so incredible. I love you guys. I will see y'all tomorrow. And yeah. Thank you for tonight. Bye.